everybody welcome back to the city life project youtube channel for yet another live fight companion if you guys are new to the channel smash that like button and subscribe don't forget to vote in the poll question as well if you guys are looking for the prelims they are free on the bfl youtube channel that's where i'm watching them right now we do live commentary reaction most importantly interaction with you all in the live chat here so don't forget to comment and like i said vote in the poll question because uh i'm interested i'm interested with, with the ufc just renewing their deal with unified mma and bfl and adding that other canadian promotion not btc but you know that one has an event coming up soon with all that being said with all that news coming out of fight pass i want to know which which canadian mma promotion regional mma promotion is the best vote in the poll question Gun Tone Granny, it's good to see you. Just stop by to say hi and hit the like button. Love you. Ish. Thank you so much for all the support. Appreciate you. Uh, hope you like the new Soda Pod upload. Uh, Z put together Yurov's uh, highlights from this season over there in the KHL. What's up, Hernan? It's good to see you, my man. And again, now, uh, yeah, Professor Pip. Professor Pip, I got you. What's up, Ethan? Good to see you, buddy. Good to see you. How's your week going? I know it's not quite Friday, but hey. There's MMA on Thursday, and look, I love BFL. I know there's boxing go going on tonight, and I'm, I'm pretty sure our boy Jay Smooth is going to be streaming some boxing, but uh, look, whenever there's whenever a BFL event is going down, me being from British Columbia, Canada, right? BC, born and bred, I, I got to support the local show, right? I got to support the local show. So if you guys are watching the boxing match tonight, I know Jay will be covering it, and like I said, for everybody who's new to this channel, commentary, play-by-play, -play, reaction, and hanging out with you guys here in the live chat. What's up, Phony Turgeson? Good to see you as well. <clears throat> oh, yes, it's already Friday for Ethan. That is true. That is true. Metallica fan. Oh, my God. So speaking of, uh, I just, I've been going down the thrash metal uh, rabbit hole again this week. Like one night I, I listened to Killers by Maiden, Rust in Peace, Euthanasia, you know, from, uh, from Megadeth. Uh, I listened to uh, you know the only 
good Metallica album, the one that Dave Mustaine helped wrote, Kill Em All. <laughs> no, but anyways, I uh, went down, I was just thinking of you, I went down the, the thrash metal uh, rabbit hole, and then Kyle and I on a membership stream uh, ranked our favorite Metallica and Megadeth albums on a tier list. And uh, yeah, I was thinking of you, brother. I was thinking of you. Asia, tonight is the night. Thursday has been goaded. I do wish Cage Fury FC was on Thursday and did not overlap with freaking LFA. Emotional damage. All right, guys. Um, I'm just bringing up BFL79. They made a post on their Twitter account that's the actual graphic of the belt orders because, you know, with smaller promotions, topology doesn't always get it right. So it looks like... Okay, let me get this first belt up on screen and then we'll... Uh... <laughs> it might not even be here. So let me actually refresh topology here. Bum, ba -dum, bum. Actually, no, so far, so good. So far, so good. Shout out to Tapology. All right. I'll bring this one up on screen here, and then we will highlight these next fighters as it looks like the broadcast is about to begin. Oh, and Mike Kies is actually on the broadcast for this one. I forget. Did he do BFL regularly? I don't think he did. But anyways, just up the road, just up the road from, uh, he's out of Tacoma, right? Or that area. Uh, what are you watching LFA or Cage Fury? I'm doing LFA this time. I mean, I've done I've done the last few Cage Fury events, and it sucks because it's actually like a well, that's a decent card. I, I was gonna say, yo, Kyle Dox is on that card, so it must be a good card. No, the last time Kyle Dox was on the card, it was it was a boring ass fight. Okay, I'll just say it was a boring ass fight. Yo, 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 what's up, fishing with H? Good to see you, buddy. Uh, Mike Kessa on the com. I think he's done the contender series a couple of times, hasn't he? Not contender series, but he's done like different. Uh, I don't think he's done contender series, but I know he's done other UFC like fight pass shows. Uh, wish I could catch ACA tomorrow. Great promotion. Dude, it's crazy how good it is and that it's free on their website. Shout out to ACA. Keep up. Uh, well, keep putting on free shows. Dude, yeah, it's 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 wild, dude. It's wild. Oh, how, how excited were you for the next two KSW events too, right? Unbelievable. Not the next one, which is 91, but the one after that, they have a uh, small gloves Muay Thai fight and another fight that's just straight up like Ryzen and pride rules. Like pretty much everything goes and the fight's gonna be judged as a whole. So I'm, I'm freaking pumped for that card. Dude, let's go. If you guys haven't already go subscribe to my man fishing with H finish fishing W T H underscore H Uh great fishing channel. He's been put in the grind. And uh, I mean, I me and Kyle watch this shit every single upload. What's in the cup? Just coffee. My last cup of the day. I've been nursing it since like four o'clock. So it's like super cold and kind of gross, but I don't really, I, I usually just, I just drink my coffee black, even though like I do really like good coffee. At the end of the day, there's caffeine in gas station coffee. There's caffeine in cold coffee. All right. So the, the broadcast has started, by the way, on their YouTube channel. First two fighters haven't made their walkout yet, but as soon as they do, we'll, we'll highlight them. I need to check out KSW. I've never watched a card of theirs for some reason. Oh, dude, KSW Coliseum 2 is hands down. It, 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 you know what it is? It was the best card in 2023. It was the best card in 2023. It was unbelievable. And Saladin wasn't even fighting on that card because he, uh, he was injured and it was announced like, I think like halfway through the main card that he couldn't do it. Yo, Dylan, what's going on, buddy? We got Chuck Norris versus Chuck Norris. What's up, Dylan? Good to see you. Gas station coffee. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Dylan, look at that exclusive member in the chat here. Hernan as well. Phony Turgeson, appreciate you guys. Uh, but yeah, guys, three title fights on this card. So once we once we hit the main card, it's going to be a long night of uh, BFL. Hopefully we see a lot of finishes. It, it could potentially be a long and like painful night or it could be a good one. That's BFL in a nutshell. It's either... Th there's either just madness in the cage, right? That, what, that one Persian fighter is fighting tonight as well. The guy who I, I believe his opponent threatened him with a buggy choke and he just kept slamming him to the ground. He tried to trade... He then tried to shift into an arm bar and he continued to slam him, and he knocked him out. Um, I believe we reacted to that in a membership stream, and I posted the clip. But anyways, um, let's see. Okay. Amateur super lightweight boat. 
Oh yeah, so even the broadcast had it out of order. So there you go. Mm-mm. Here we go. Michael Jabruk against Florian Dimitras is coming up next, ladies and gentlemen. Two amateur guys. Not much to say on either of them, but I cannot believe this. I love that. 74 people. All right, pick... The, 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 the MMA community is just crazy, man. 74 people. I cannot believe there's 74 people voted on this. 86% say Demetrius for what it is worth. Uh, both of them from BC, just outside of Vancouver. What do you want me to say? One, <laughs> one has one amateur loss, one making their straight up debut. Um, I'm, I'm going, I'm funny enough. I'm going with the guy that Tapology voted for. <laughs> Don't really have much else to say on this one, ladies and gentlemen. So let me know your pick in the live chat. Because I know I, I don't even know if these some of these amateur uh, fights are even on your guys' betting apps, but uh, I'm sure where there's a will, there's a way for some of you guys, right? Okay, so anyways, appreciate you guys. Smash that like button if you haven't already. Ring that bell for notifications and subscribe. You never want to miss an upload. You never want to miss a live stream. And the schedule for the weekend has been posted on the community tab. This is the first of many streams this weekend. We got a busy day tomorrow. Uh, we have our UFC prediction video that we pushed to tomorrow just because BFL was tonight and I was working on some other stuff for you guys. Yo, what's up, main card minute? Good to see you. I've been seeing main card minute in some uh, some of my homies' streams, some of my homies' chats. Good to see you, buddy. Who's your Who's your pick for this one? I know this is this is low level stuff. This is amateur, according to Tapology. I mean. She man, this guy's making his amateur debut. But hopefully they put on a show. Hopefully they put on a show. There doesn't seem to be anybody there yet, but hopefully they put on a show. They're in Vancouver. I was telling Kyle, he has to, uh, well, we have to reach out to those who run BFL and see, because Kyle's younger brother also has a YouTube channel. Um, The Cranky Barber. I'll, I'll share his info in the chat later and <clears throat> pardon me in the description of the video and I'll probably comment it as well. But uh, yeah, Colby, he's a really good photographer and videographer as well. And him and Kyle have been working on some stuff recently and uh, yeah. And if they could maybe go there for a day, interview some fighters, maybe on fight day and make like a little mini doc of it to promote BFL. I'm sure they would love that. Um, and that's right up with like Kyle's, you know, artsy fartsy uh, alley right now. So anyways, because it's in literally their backyard, it's a ferry ride uh, away there at the, I'm pretty sure the, the, they're at the friggin' Vancouver Event Center. Yeah, Vancouver uh, Events and Convenience Center. Or Convention Center. Convenience Center. Well, it is convenient. It is convenient. It conveniently hosts fights. There you go. There you go. All right, guys. Like I said, there's not really much to highlight on these first guys here. I was even debating starting this early, but I'm like, you know what? I got to support BFL from the start of the early freaking amateur prelims all the way to the main event. Oh, Canada, let's freaking go. Mikey P, yo, we stream BFL, let's go. Mikey P, like I just said, from the start of the amateur prelims, nobody in the stands yet. We're going to shout out these guys. We're going to support these guys uh, all the way to the end. And if you guys want to watch this, if you guys want to follow along, it is on the whoops BFL YouTube channel. Arnold Allen with a stash, man. It's greasy-ass Canadian-ass Arnold Allen. All right, like I said, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Michael Dabruk against Florian Dimitras. And uh, oh, Debr- uh, Dimitras is the underdog, but he's the one everyone voted for the, the most here. But again, 75 people, maybe, maybe there's just, just everybody he knows in the province of British Columbia. <laughs> All right. Well, the event has officially started, ladies and gentlemen. Let's freaking go. <laughs> Ryan Ventura and his weird ass mouth and haircut starting us off here. I mean, hey, the, the, the BC Commission is better than the Ontario Commission. I'll give him that. I, I'll give him that. Oh, he said Sal. I was like, oh no, not Diamato. He won't come up to Vancouver. Looks like a wish version of Aaron Jeffries. <laughs> I know, eh? 
God, I hope he stayed. Well, I wonder what he's going to do with Bellator. Actually, I should message him and ask. We're not like we've like exchanged a couple messages on on Twitter. I'm trying to get him on as a podcast guest, but um, I've been trying for a little while. But I should ask. I should ask, and may, maybe maybe he'll let maybe he'll let us know in the podcast. Maybe he'll eventually come on. Because uh, I believe his last fight in Bellator, he won. Uh, someone tell me to answer the poll question. I didn't study. I mean, I think it's it's between BFL and and Unified. Both of them are you know have hit and miss nights and shows. Three three minute rounds isn't the best. Yeah, I mean it's it's amateur. I'm pretty sure it's only two. Is it only two rounds? I think it's only two rounds. Oh no, three three minute rounds like you said there. One of the regionals uh, do uh, just two rounds, three minutes. So that's why I got confused. But anyways. Round one of these short amateur rounds. Let's get it on. I like Aaron. Really cool guy. Seems nice that uh, that Joe uh, Salter lost hurt me. Dude, it hurt me too. It hurt me too. In the Battle of Norris, Chuck wins, period. Yo, what's up, Shane? Shane, I picked Dimitri, uh, Dimitras, Dimitras to win. Oh, and Dubruk landed a big shot and Dimitras is on his ass trying to get back up to his feet. They're clinching. Two minutes and 35 seconds. Hey, at least it's kind of exciting right out of the gate. God, knock the fuck out. What's up, AJ? Good to see you. Is this main event five five minute rounds? Uh, I believe so. I believe so. Let me take a look here. Yep, it is. The co main and main are five five minute rounds. They're back up to their feet and swinging is Dimitras. Swinging a miss with that big right. Oh, nice right and left. Oh, Dubruk with a few uppercuts as well. Dubruk landing some big shots. Dubruk. Oh, with the tie clinch. Dubruk with the right. And Dubruk now going full Kelvin Gaslam, looking for the takedown, even though he's landing some big shots on Dimitras. One minute and 52 seconds. Remain in this first round. Three, three minute rounds, whatever. It'll go by quick. It'll go by quick. Again, guys, this is on YouTube. BFL's YouTube channel. Oh, a knee in the balls by Dimitras on Dubruk, man. Yo, Matt R. What's good? What's good, buddy? It's the it's the start of a weekend full of fights, man. And it fucking sucks the Cage Fury FC is overlapping with LFA. Money Moicano is going to be on the commentary with, uh, with uh, John Morgan, by the way, on Cage Fury FC, which is sweet. And big shout out uh, to the guy promoting the Sea Life Project YouTube channel. <laughs> Literally commented one um, on his last live, just said, hey, congrats, buddy. And hey, he, he commented on or he read all of our comments. So let's go. And actually told the chat, go support the City Life Prospect. So he gives us a shout out. We're going to give him a shout out. Um, but having said all that, Cage Fury FC overlaps with LFA. We haven't done LFA in a while. And uh, I really want to do that show. Oh, yeah. We're doing we're doing UFC Saturday. Like I said, the, the full schedule is posted. All right. The fight's back on, by the way. One minute and 16 seconds on the clock. And I'm just step back jab is by Dimitri. just because the Bruce applying the pressure here. And Honestly, Dimitri is barely landing and a couple outside low kicks by Dabruk. Oh, another one. And a straight left. Oh, Dabruk's gonna do uh, Dabruk's gonna beat this guy. He already is beating this guy up. Base money Moicano. Switch your live to Cage for your FC if Moicano's commenting. 50 seconds on the clock. To be perfectly honest, it's just not as good of a card as LFA. And Oh, high kick by Demetrius. You got to be kidding me. Dude, this is actually an entertaining fight. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I mean, both of them might be draining their gas tanks here in the first round, but so far, it's just it's just madness. It's absolute madness. And they're just swinging for the fences here. For whoever's watching, they're putting on a show. I will like tune in, like tune in and out to it for sure. Because I think Moicano is going to be streaming off his, probably on his uh, channel off and on throughout the event. So. So yeah, 10 seconds on the clock here. I can't wait for ACA in the morning on Saturday. That promotion's wild, man. Or they separate here from the clinch in a right hand by Dimitras. Oh, they're, they're just throwing here. Final three, two, one. And that is it for the first one. Holy crap. That was a fun round. Other than the break of uh, Dubruk getting need in the balls there. That was a great round here to open up the show. Damn. Dimitrius, despite 86% voting for him, 
Tabrug, better first round. Better first round. Let me know your thoughts, but I mean, come on. We can't we it's Tabruk's round. Um I mean, I'll probably watch it. I'll probably watch it. I mean, I what I think they did is they showed every like good part of the movie in the trailer. Or, or any of these, you know, like the, the, the McGregor scenes were there were so many of them. They should have kept it with like one quick one so people want to see it, right? I don't know. I have a feeling. It's either going to be trash or it's going to be good, kind of like uh, No Pain, No Gain was, you know? And that movie was a little outrageous, but it was good. It was good. So, yeah, I'll probably watch it. I'm not a big movie guy anymore. I used to be. Because I just watch so much so much sports that I just don't have time for... Like, the only other show I watch is Survivor, and, like, I'm that's my... You guys degenerate with your sports betting. I bet on Survivor, so... <laughs> Which this season didn't do... I didn't do too good this season. But I just wrapped up season 45. So there you go. All right. Two minutes and 43 seconds on the clock in the second round, guys. Let's get it all. No Pain, No Gain is a good movie. That's the movie with The Rock and Wahlberg, right? Yeah. Yeah. Loosely. And I, and I, you know, bold, loosely based on a true story. Yeah, bro, pepping, uh, peppering that inside low kick on Dimitras. Switching stances and going for a high kick, but dropping his hands. Dimitras tries to go for a high kick of his own. Okay, okay, yeah. Well, I mean, like I said, it, it looked, it, it did not look good. And it's like, I feel like every good part of the movie. Oh, nice right hand by Dubrook. He was just throwing big shots as Demetrius backed uh, into the cage, but Demetrius was able to get out of that and then resets in the center of the cage. But yeah, like I feel like they they threw all their good parts of the movie in the trailer and the trailer kind of was like, yeah. Woman in 47 seconds on the clock in the second round. Yeah, not a polished fight here by any means, but do you have any expectations from two guys just, you know, starting their amateur career? Nah, and they're throwing hands. They're throwing hands, so. Oh, nice step back left by Demetrius. Inside looking man, Demetrius again. Oh, outside, double outside on that knee. Oh my goodness! Oh. <laughs> now looking for the takedown, which honestly, Debrook hasn't been able really to get. Uh, Phony Turgeson, it's on the BFL's YouTube channel. But these are amateur prelims right now, but they're on the BFL YouTube channel. Uh, main cards on Fight Pass, which won't be until I think ten Eastern. Oh, he heard him. Debru uh Debruk heard him. Oh, right hand to the body by Debruk. Oh, tie clinch. Not quite a tie clinch, but he was pulling the head down there for a moment. Left knee by Debruk. Oh, and step back, swinging over the head with his right hand was Demetrius there. And yeah, he's just throwing that bit. He's trying to land that big overhand right. 35 seconds on the clock. All right, 10.30. There you go. Oh, man. Demetrius, he's slowing down. He's hopping and puffing, but he's not out of this. Short rounds, at least, for these amateurs, you know? 13 seconds on the clock. Oh, some big right hands by DeBruk. And that's the end of the second round. Man, what a fun fight to open this card. But yeah, they're both tired, as you can see. And I mean, I don't blame them. They're literally just throwing hands, man. And DeBruk, though, I'll give Demetrius uh, credit because DeBruk continues to try to go for that takedown. Not like he's spamming it by any means, but you can definitely see he's trying to at least get one, show the judges, okay, like I'm may maybe if they see it pretty even in the striking, that, that can be the tipping point. But credit where credit is due to Demetrius. He's taken more shots. He's been wobbled a few more times, but he is not allowing... Dabruk to take him to the ground. Having said that, Dabruk won the first and, and the second with uh, with flying fucking carpets, if you ask me. To throw out a Canadian term there. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Vote in the poll question. We'll check on the poll question here in a bit. We'll give it some time to marinate. We'll give it some time for you guys to vote in it. I'm, I'm torn between Unified and BFL. They both have good nights. They both have bad nights. 
Whereas the other two, it's like, yeah, there might be a good fight or two. You know, there might be one or two highlights that could pose the tweets from the promotion, but uh, some catching up to do. Oh, that's so weird. YouTube fixed that shit. Come on now. What's up, Chad? This fight doesn't make sense. It's amateur. You should be working on skill, not trying to have fights. But the nice skill is brawls. Hey, I, you're not wrong, but I ain't complaining, bro. I ain't complaining. Oh, another low shot on the Burke by Demetrius. Like, good point, Matt, but uh, like I said, uh, I'm savage. I'm not complaining. By the way, uh, yeah, third round just started. And right away, the Burke got kicked in the balls this time and kneeling on the ground. Whew. Ouch. Not even 30 seconds. About 20, was it 27 seconds in? Oh, step back, left kick right to the nuts. You just got kicked in the nuts. That was one of the craziest early YouTube things, by the way. Damn, it's going to be worse than last week with the low blows. Oh, knock on wood. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. All right, he's taking his time here, which I don't blame him for. I don't blame him for. Man to man. What's up, JC? Excited for the women card on this... Uh, on, oh, on one this coming March. Yeah, I just saw that it was announced. The last one that they had actually was really good, to be perfectly honest. I remember I remember it being like, oh, this is better than I expected. So they set the bar. Let's see if they can uh, continue to reach it. What's up, JC? Good to see you. Definitely was better than the last few Invicta cards we covered, I'll tell you that much. This fight hasn't resumed yet, man. Dabruk is hurt. And I don't, again, he got kicked <laughs> hard in that orange-haired motherfucker on early YouTube. All right. Um, is he going to continue? He's still in pain here, man. They'll reach you because kick, because it's kickboxing and Muay Thai. Yeah, I think so too. Because even if they don't all knock each other out, it'll still be an entertaining fight. Uh, you hear Glory got rid of the women's division, which Dana would take. Notes. Not only the women's division, but also, um, also a lighter men's division as well. Which, hey, one shots are salivating now. Only gal needed is uh, Smila Sundell. No, absolutely. And I hope they rounded that card a little bit more. And finally, Debrew gets the takedown as we resume this third round. He's in modified half guard side control right now. Looking to get that left leg over to mount. Two minutes and three seconds on the clock. Smila is my favorite. You're really though more talent for one FC. Absolutely. And, and I think their, their path to success is through Muay Thai and kickboxing. It's not through MMA anymore. MMA helped build their foundation, which they haven't profited on yet. Let kickboxing and Muay Thai carry it till the end. One minute, 30, 33 seconds on the clock. And Demetra still on his back end of the Almost the end of the third round here, like I said, with one minute and 20 seconds left on the clock and potentially looking to cinch up an arm triangle choke here. However, yeah, DeBrook's making no effort to either pass guard here or utilize that left hand over the shoulder. He's just attacking the body right now. One's woman in lighter division roster is going to get stacked. Absolutely. There's going to be like... There's gonna be a lot of opportunity for them, and all, and honestly, in in some of these other uh, Japanese kickboxing promotions too. Maybe Ryzen jumps on it as well, as they're trying to stay more local. As far as just the fighters that they sign, because it's it's just easier all around. Oh, and a nice reversal by Demetrius, and oh, never mind, it's Dabruk going for the. Oh my goodness, he went for. The heel hook, and he got it. He got it with what, like 50 seconds left? Let's go. Right at the end of the third round, he goes for the heel hook and gets it. Now, nah, it's it's all BFL tonight. It's a BFL marin, uh, marathon here tonight. I couldn't believe that there's overlapping fight companions that I wanted to do on a Thursday, but hey, when BFL's on, we'll support it, so... Matt, or that's pathetic.
A heel hook in an amateur fight. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my god. Well, there you go. A war in the first and second round. Slower third round after Buddy. Well, he's like, you know what? You kicked me in the balls twice. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking heel hook you now. I thought you said PFL, not BFL. This guy should be ashamed of himself. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, he gets his first win in amateur MMA. All right. So the order's already wrong on um, the BFL 79 poster that I have here. So let's see if Tapology has, has it right instead. Cavallari is what it says on their poster. So we'll see. We'll see who walks out next. These two just might not have been televised, so like I said, we shall see. All right, announced as the winner there, and I can't believe it, is Michael Dabruk. All right, looks like, yeah, the first two just weren't televised because we have Ryan Mozafari against Saul Calvari coming up next year, ladies and gentlemen. And they're already making their walkouts. Let's go. There's a ton of fights on this card. The amateurs ain't waiting for any of them. Let's freaking go. Um, we'll highlight the two fights in just a moment here. Uh, ones of MMA could carry them if they make the division active. Well, yeah, they're just running out of fighters too now. So, And honestly, like, if they want to just go the kickboxing Muay Thai route, I'll support them just as much. Maybe even more. So for majority of MMA champs are on the Qatar card. Yeah, it's just... They're 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 losing interest to, on the MMA side. It's it's evident, and it, and they've they've done it to themselves. They've done it to themselves. All right, I'm just gonna update the ticker on the bottom of the screen here to these next two fighters, and then we'll highlight them here. Um, 135 pounds. Another three round, three minute amateur fight here, and hey, that first one was exciting. That first one was exciting. War in the first round. They were just throwing hands. War in the second round. They're just throwing hands after getting kicked in the balls and taking like three to four minutes of time to recover. My goodness. Takes him to the ground and scores the freaking heel hook, dude. Imagine if they got rid of uh, the MMA side of PFL. Wouldn't be all over that. <laughs> yeah, just have a Bellator. <laughs> Everyone knows uh, how much I just love the PFL. Emotional. Damage. All right, Ryan Mozafari, one amateur fight, one amateur win, ladies and gentlemen. There's not anything else on him, all right? Oh, and he has one kickboxing fight as well. Okay, okay, there you go. He beat a guy with two losses, but hey, who already had two fights, so not bad, not bad. Um, Sol Calvari, one loss. Who do you lose to? The guy making their debut as well. Uh, 78 picks says Mozafari. I'll, I'll go with the West Vancouver boy as well. I'll go with the West Vancouver boy as well. I went with the Tapology majority last time and it didn't work out. But uh, I think he's gonna. I think he's gonna. You know, get another win on his resume. Shane's going with Mozafari as well. I'll lock it in, Shane. Shane, we got to support this event from the from the front all the way to the back. We have to from top to bottom. It's in our backyard. It's over the sail. It's just it's just a hop and a skip and a swim over the Salish Strait, ladies and gentlemen, from where Shane and I are from. All right, Mozafari making his way to the cage. And I was, I was saying, Shane, that um, Kyle and I are going to try to get in touch with those at BFL and see if they can work something out where Kyle goes in with with uh, his brother Colby and Co to record. Uh, a little mini doc, like a day just covering BFL fight day or maybe day leading up to it. Wayans or something like that. And, you know, maybe they get invited to uh, some, get some nice seats at BFL and yeah, make just like a little, uh, you know, Kyle artsy fartsy piece on it. So Shane, long the short of it. Um, if they do hook that up, maybe you can, uh, maybe you can ride with them and go hang out with them for the day as well. Because why wouldn't they want the promotion, right? Supporting, supporting local, right, Shane? That's why I'm skipping top rank boxing tonight, which honestly people probably care way more about than BFL. 
I don't care. This one's not about the views, Shane. This one's about supporting the best regional show in Canada. That's right. That's right. I still haven't voted yet. I'm still like torn realistically between Unified and BFL. The other two aren't just, they're just behind. They just don't put enough, put on enough shows either. Anyways, let me know who you voted for and we'll check on the poll question before the May. Eh. We'll check on the poll question and a few more fights here. We got a lot of fights on this card, ladies and gentlemen. 18 fights on this card, including a ton of amateur fights as well, but three title fights. That is right. Three tw- title fights in a super lightweight championship, featherweight championship, and bantamweight championship. That's right. There's a freaking super lightweight championship belt at 165 in this league. Let's freaking go. Only one person has guessed Calvary. How crazy is that? And it, was pro- it was probably him himself, to be perfectly honest. Shane, it was probably himself. And I wouldn't even shame him for that. It says that's it, that it's a pick em here on the freaking... Shane, this is such a British club. WPT Global Betting Odds. That's so fucking Canadian. Oh, my goodness. Uh, what's the most difficult submission to pull off on in a fight? Oh, I mean... I don't know. Twister, there's multiple steps to it. So I imagine like a real fight. That's not like the easiest submission to pull off. That's crazy, Shane. Well, and he didn't even get an extra one, Shane, because both of us voted for the other guys. So honestly, if we get proven wrong by this cat, I wouldn't even be upset. But the beer bets start now, Shane. The beer bets start. Well, I mean, they started in the last one, but I'm a degenerate when it comes to picking uh picking fights up against Shane here, guys, because we got a beer bets going on and we're tied right now in the Oh, uh, in our record. Well, in the record books, so I need to get back in the win column. All right, both these fighters are being announced in the center of the cage. And if you're new to the channel, we do live play-by-play commentary, reaction, and interaction. Most importantly, interaction. Really amazing folks in the live chat. So don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, and uh, yeah, hit that notification bell because we got a ton of streams and content dropping this weekend. All right, first fight was fun. Let's see if we get a finish in this second one as well. All right. There's a few more people in the audience now. There's a few more people in the audience here. Man, when uh, when LFA came to town, I was one of the only people in the audience for the amateur fights. I think I was there for like six and a half, seven hours. Thank God for the hot dog cart in the casino. Dollar hot dog that is loaded up on those motherfuckers after. I was so hungry. They ran out of food at the concession. There were so many people um, right, when the, uh, right after the amateurs, but when the prelims started. So shout out to the good crowd in Minnesota who comes to the LFA shows at Mystic. All right, round one, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Three minutes, three rounds, leg kick by Calvary and Mozafari. Or sorry, leg kick by Mozafari and Calvari takes him to the ground. Catching the leg, gets a nice takedown. Oh, by the way, any one news for this week, bro? Um... I mean, you kind of you kind of broke the only one news of the oh oh uh, the actually the Sage Northcut shit is pretty crazy. Sage Northcut kind of went scorched earth on one championship. Yo, what is up, Alpha Zeta Illustrations? What's going on? It's going good, man. Just watching some Canadian MMA, some amateur fighters right now. If you want to watch the amateur slash prelims, it is live on BFL's YouTube channel as Battlefield Fighter League. Go check it out, and then it will be on UFC Fight Pass for the main card. He's he's not happy with uh, Shaw Tree apparently lying about him. Um, here, let me find an article for it. Still in the top position here, by the way, is Calvary. Not doing too much damage here. Calvary's trying to get back up to his feet. And he's wall walking now, but Calvary still has the body lock on him and drags him back to the ground. One minute and 10 seconds left in this first round. Here, here's just one of the... Yeah, here's just one of the... There's a lot of articles on it. One minute and two seconds on the clock. And if you have Twitter, it's circulating Twitter as well. By the way, guys, if you want to follow me on Twitter... I don't make the best takes. I got called out for one the other night. Fair enough. But uh, I am most active on Twitter on 
Uh, uh, if you're most active on social media via Twitter, I should say. 41 seconds on the clock. Still in the bottom position. Here is Mozafari. Again, not doing a lot or much damage at all. In the top position is Calvari. He's just racking up the control time, showing muff and throwing muffin shots to the body here. So he's going to win this round, but it's not super impressive. Excited for the fight. Yeah, up the card. It should be awesome. This is BFL's first card of 2024. They've stacked it on the main card. Three title fights. It's going to be amazing. And the ref stands him up. Good job, ref. Even at the amateur stage. Good job. Good job. Outside low kick. And there's only 10 seconds left in this first round. And Moza Fire, he's just thrown. He's just thrown some big shots here. Oh, a nice shot to the body. And again, Kevlar tried to take him to the ground, but he doesn't here. And that is it for the first round. You can see Moza Fire, he wants to fight. He wants to freaking fight here. By the way, guys, how excited are we for Road to UFC Season 3 in March? I can't wait. I, I cannot wait. Like, it, it's as good... Well, it, yeah, I'll say it's as good as Dana White Contender Series, man. It just sucks that it's not, like, weekly. There's just such a huge gap between the episodes. All right. Again, we're... We're going all night with BFL, ladies and gentlemen. We are going all night with BFL. Main card starts at 10.30 Eastern. Thank you, Phony, for correcting me. 10.30 Eastern is when the main card starts here on Fight Pass. So we have a ton of amateur fights. And I and I believe there's like four or five professional, pre, or professional fights on the prelim as well. Don't quote me on that. I'm pretty sure at the top of the prelims, there's some pro fights as well. All right, round two coming up here. And again, we're totally interactive, guys, so get your comments in the live chat. Let me know your thoughts on the fights. Predictions, parlays, as I know there's some top-ranked boxing going on tonight, and our boy Jay Smooth is covering that event. All right, round two. Which the, I believe the prelims, uh, for those, have already started. Looking for the takedown again is Calvary. Oh, a nice slam takedown by Calvary. Trying to get into side control, but unable to... Oh, Mozafari looking for the armbar. Mozafari looking for the armbar. And a good job by Calvary getting back up to his feet quickly to slam Mozafari to the ground to get it loose. Tight guard from the bottom here by Mozafari. Controlling the arm of Calvary. So Calvary really just can't do anything but just push him up against the cage. Even the commentating or commentators are saying, like, wishing he was doing a little bit more damage right now. And they're right. He needs to be doing a little bit more damage right now. You can just see Calvary's annoyed, or sorry, uh, Mozafari's annoyed from the bottom right now because he's making it so it's not easy for, for Calvary to do really anything right now. And Calvary's, whenever he postures up and has the opportunity to throw some big shots, he likes just to show, throw, or throw, I should say, muff, muffin shots to the body. Not the most exciting fight to start here. Not the most exciting fight to start here, especially coming off that first fight. So maybe, maybe we're just spoiled a little bit. Just lay and praying pretty well, yes. Anyway, I guess I can't knock him too much here because Mozafari, I mean, he's got to scramble a little bit more. Trying to set up an arm bar again, though. I'll give him credit for that. And Calvary right back on top of him here. Guess Sage you're gonna go to PFL now then. <laughs> Probably. Probably. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if the UFC really want to get back in the Sage North Cup business. Not that he's like a bad fighter. It's just like, you know, he's not super active, and and that's more one's fault, I guess. Because what? He's only like twenty seven or twenty eight, right? He might even be younger. Fifty three seconds on the clock. I think he's twenty eight. Controlling the arms is Mozafari. Forcing Calvary to kind of slam him to get them free. And again, maybe trying to set up an, or trap that arm was Mozafari from the bottom, but Calvary just wrestling, just wrestling. Oh, here we go. Maybe triangle setup. No, he wants that arm again, but only 15 seconds on the clock. So Mozafari is working from the bottom, but Calvary just smothering him. Final 10 seconds. It looks like Mozafari is talking some trash to him from the bottom here. Well, I mean, hey, might as well. 
Bonnie's in the BFL chat. Oh, I bet he's pissed. Shachi gets opportunities like Amazon Lupini, but sucks at managing it to, to a success. Well, I'd say the Lupini is a success. I would say Amazon right now, I mean, ugh, they should just be putting on more shows. And I know easier said than done, but put on more shows. Put on more MMA shows. I don't care if they're weekly at Lupini as, as well. Do back to back. Oh yeah, he's he's probably pissed. He's probably pissed. Everyone go to the BFL chat and write I love wrestling. Please. Everyone in this chat, go to the BFL chat and write I love wrestling. I'm gonna do that right now. <laughs> That's <laughs> so funny shit. Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna write this is an awesome fight. <laughs> I just heard this is a great fight, eh? <laughs> Yeah, if one can fix their MMA roster within the year, then it's good. Then it's good as gone. Yeah, which again, if that's the case, I would rather them just go the kickboxing and Muay Thai route if it means they're still gonna be able to be an operational pr promotion. So it looks like there's a doc. The doctor's looking at Mozafiri's arm. Doctor's going to let him fight. Let's go. UFC news. Uh, Dana White keeps teasing everybody about UFC 300. Other than that, uh, this week's card is going to be... I mean, there's actually some sleeper fights like Joe Piper, you know, on the main event. He's always fun to watch, but uh, we're just gearing up for 298. I had a few in the chat. Nice, nice. <laughs> and right away going for the takedown here in this third round. <laughs> That's awesome. You guys are awesome. That's awesome. And you guys are awesome. Smash that like button if you haven't already, guys. Let's set the like goal at 20 likes. All you wrestler friend, uh, fans out there, smash that like button. <laughs> Two minutes and 29 seconds on the clock. Hey, one for one on exciting amateurs so far, eh? The, the first fight was good. The first fight was good. Again, scoring the takedown was Calvary here. Throwing a little bit more with ill intent in this round thus far. Two minutes and 14 seconds on the clock. Didn't keep teasing himself. It's failure. The headliner will be a downer. Yeah. Well, I mean, put it this way. Like UFC 200 was an absolute mess. I don't have any expectations for UFC 300. And if I did have any, they've been lowered based on all this bullshit and bullshit being Dana just bait and switching everybody. One minute and 50 seconds on the clock over and over again. And Mozafari trying to Get something going from the bottom here. He has, he's had some. He has had some good submission attempts from the bottom, but Kavai was quickly able to escape every single one. Honestly, at this point, no. People keep saying now that it's going to be uh, Tom Aspinall and Pereira at a heavyweight, which she it would be a crazy fight. I do think Tom Aspinall would probably win that fight. So Calvary looking for the back here. Mozafari scrambling, looking for the arm to maybe go for a Kimura. So I don't know, JC. I really don't know. I've, I've kind of just... Uh, where, where I sit on it is when we hear about it, we'll, we'll hear about it. But my expectations are pretty low now. Someone's pulling out of one of the good matchups. <laughs> But but overall, I mean, if the prelims are going to be like a high end fight night card on the road, the you know the main card, there'll be a few fights that deliver, and it should it should be a good card overall. I hope not. Aspinall will run through Alex easy. Yeah, I know. Not headlining going to be a women's bout. That'll be a twist. Oh god, <laughs> that would be a twist. All right. 15 seconds on the clock and Mozafari. Good scrambles from the bottom here, but Calvary right back on top position, lands some left hands. Oh, up kick by Mozafari. 
Another up kick by Mozafire. Some kicks in the top position, right back up to their feet, and unfortunately, too little, too late to end of the fight. <laughs> <laughs> it's a woman's fight. <laughs> Going postal. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Well, that does it for the second fight here. Fight over yet. I learned topology voters are not to be trusted. Shane, you're telling me I'm both I'm two uh zero two right now. And Kalvari just wins via uh, WrestleFuck. Chuck Norris is fighting his evil twin, right? What's up, King James? Good to see you, man. Thank you so much for watching the, the last upload that we had on the channel. For those who haven't seen it yet, it was actually <laughs> it was a fun and, and wacky story. Let me share it here in the live chat. I'll go head-to-head -head with your next pick. Oh, God. Now I'm scared, Shane. All right, all right. So next fight should be Let's see. Yeah, Roman uh Tason 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 and uh, against Michael T. Yeah, Calvary wins unanimous decision. to determine that ladies and gentlemen wasn't too hard to determine that it wasn't an exciting fight it wasn't an exciting fight we have a lightweight fight coming up here next though so we'll highlight them in just a moment Shane's going head-to-head -head with my picks Shane are you 0-2 as well I'm 0-2 right now in my predictions but 18 fights on this card ladies and gentlemen Shane I think we're only being we're only being shown 16 of them so there's a there's a lot of uh, fights to predict. Yeah, there's there's a lot of time to get back in the league, in the lead. It's amateurs. There is no good pick. <laughs> what a poopy fight. Yeah, I didn't pick the first fight. Oh, okay, okay. So that project is the best fight results compilations. I oh, appreciate you, buddy. So you're zero. And one. Okay, so the first one doesn't count, Shane. The first one was a good fight, though. The first one was a good fight. All right, let's highlight these next two fighters. Uh, Michael T. I mean, both these guys are out of Vancouver. Shout out, beautiful British Columbia. Uh, one and one as a pro, he did win his last fight. This is his second BFL appearance, and he's making his walk out right now. Um, he beat Valentin Sit, who is making his debut in his last fight. Um, he also fought in AMA, where he scored or where he lost in the first round. He got. Knocked out or TKO'd against Brett freaking Jackson. Where's Brett Jackson here today? Two and two is an amateur. And Sit sells zero and one. I believe Sit fought earlier on this card. I don't know if he won or lost though. I think that was the first fight. Or it might have been canceled, but anyways. Looking at his opponent, Roman Tassone. Uh two and oh as an amateur. Has not lost an MMA fight yet. Uh beat a one and one guy via KO TKO in the second round. And he actually fought a BFL 73 as well, where he knocked someone out in the first round. Damn, dude. Oh, but they're not to be trusted. They're not to be trusted. God damn it, Shane. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. Man. I don't know, Shane. This this is tough because you know, the, the voters here on Tapology, have, they've been fucking with us, dude. Hmm. You know what? I'll, I'll go with I'll go with the underdog, Shane. I'm going with C. I'm locking in C, Shane. Fuck the topology voters on this one. You hear me? Yo, what's up, Gino? Uh, I've gone full artistic on my videos. This card didn't look great on topology. How's it playing out? G guys, go subscribe to Gino's channel. Um, Gino's gonna start making a lot of content. He's telling me all about it. It's good to see you, Gino. How are you here today? Shane's got Tassone. 
Disowned by murder. Uh oh. God, I don't. I. No, oh, he does look. He does look more badass. I'll, I'll say that much. Oh my goodness, I think I made the wrong pick, ladies and gentlemen. Shane. Oh, I'm scared. This is what scared me. This is what scared me. I was 100 percent going to go with Roman Tassoon. But uh, the Tapology voters have done me dirty the last two predictions, so I'm scared for this one. There's a lot on the line here, ladies and gentlemen. There's a lot on the line here. All right, guys, don't forget to smash that like button on the video. What did I say the like goal was? 20 likes? There's like 14 of you watching right now. If all you smash that, we will be there. Phony, wasn't the last fight just like the best fight on the planet? Wasn't that the best fight with the highest pace and the, the best throne of hands? The last one was absolutely horrible. You'll probably enjoyed that and thought it was a great performance. Oh, yeah, it was the best fight on the planet, man. It was awesome. I think I even dropped in the BFL chat to tell everybody. All right, so Tassone is the favorite here, minus 150, according to WPT Global. Shit was bloody. C is the underdog. Not by not by a lot though. Not by this freaking amount. So we're still we're going with the underdog here. Let's see if C can throw some hands here at lightweight. One win, one loss, but coming off a win. Two and no as an amateur. Undefeated. Let me know your guys' predictions in the live chat. Again, Shane and I, we got a lot riding on this. Shane and I are tied in our overall beer bets. We go head-to-head -head on every card. And I got to get back in. Like, I, I, I blew a huge lead. I was up, what, like 15 rounds, Shane? 15 cards or something like that? Shane's caught up. This is crazy, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Fighters are just being announced in the center of the cage right now. Again, the prelims are on BFL's YouTube channel. They're streaming all the prelims there, all these amateur fights, and I think there's a few pro prelim fights as well. And then the main card will be on UFC Fight Pass. Yeah, dude, Shane's been climbing up the ladder here. Comeback of the century in sports, if you ask me. Oh, no, dude, Shane, your boy's mean mugging the other guy. Oh, my goodness. All right, round one, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. Again, live commentary. Play-by-play, -play, reaction, and interaction with all the amazing folks in the live chat. So smash that like button and subscribe. Inside leg kick by Tassone. Oh, nice body kick by Tassone. Outside low kick by T. High kick by Tassone. Keep that right hand up, T. Yeah, Tassone's just he's bigger than this guy, man. Tassone, good job keeping his hands up. Big outside low kick by Tassone. Straight left by Tassone. Tassone, is that what they're calling him? Oh, a slip there by Tassone. Took a couple shots there by C. <laughs> Thanks, Phony. Yes, guys, hit the like button. It's just fault the fight sucks. <laughs> that is true. That is true. Exactly that. Two minutes on the clock here. To Sony. I should have known. I should have known. There's a right hand by C. Body shot by Tassoni. Tassoni's shots just look like they hurt a lot more. You know what I'm saying? There's a nice left hook by C. And returning the favors to Sony, but some good head movement to step in right uppercut by C. The next weekend is so good, man. I thought it was this week as well. One minute and 16 seconds on the clock. There's Octagon this weekend, and whenever they hold uh, an event in Germany, it's always a fun time. Oh, nice right uppercut by C. Good guard by Tassoni, though. He's not getting tagged by those shots, but C, good uh, good combos, good technique, and he, had a, he tried to throw a knee there, but it was blocked by Tassoni. Good dirty boxing by C, but again, Tassoni, his guard is just up, but hey, and good adjustment there by C. Goes to the body. This is a good scrap, man. Oh, a nice body kick by Tassoni. It's a good scrap. Oh, nice left by Tassoni. Body kick again. C with a couple right hands. 
See throws the nice combinations, but just doesn't have the power in the shots like to Sony. Good scrap, though, like I said. Looking for that low kick, but see, but getting out of the way was to Sony. See with a nice right to the body. They both look fresh, though. 14 seconds on the clock in this first round. Let's see who slows down first, to be perfectly honest. They're both fighting at a really good pace right now. Straight right by Tassoni. Step in left uppercut by Tassoni, but countering with a four-punch combo to the body there with C. Man, good first round. Great first round, dare I say. Nice, dude. Nice. That was that was fun. That was fun. These boys are just scrapping here. Shout out to Michael C and Roman to Sony. Good scrap here. Good scrap here. Both these guys from Vancouver at a beautiful BC. I think C narrowly. See, I think to Sony narrowly. But C did land more shots. To Sony. Not quite the volume, but he tagged him a few times. I don't think all of uh, C shots are getting through. I think most of the shots getting through, if not all of them, let's be perfectly honest, are to the body. And Tassoni uh, is landing more shots, more body kicks, and and more kicks to the and more low kicks as well. Probably give that round to C, in my opinion. Okay, I'm. I think I think Tassoni deserved that round, but uh, it, it's it's close. It's close. Like I said, I I've, I've said this like four or five times. I think already now. It's a it's a good scrap, boys. It's a good scrap. All right, round two. Let's get it all. Oh, big step in left by Tassoni, and Tassoni slipped again there. That wasn't a shot by C, but C landing some good combos there, dude. Slip in left, right, and center. Tassoni continuing to slip. Swing with the overhand right. C went for the level change. Could not get the takedown. Cl clinching here and a couple right and left hooks by C to Sony. Trying to get him in the clinch there. Some dirty boxing. Another big body kick by Tassoni. And again, look at Tassoni's guard though. He's blocking at least 50% of those sh shots that C throws. Trying to sweep and take him down is Tassoni. It's a good takedown defense and balance by C. Uh, two amateur fights have been televised thus far, uh, and two of them were untelevised early. What's up, Funkmaster? C has them pillow hands. Hope Victor Curry will be one's guardian angel. Yes, yes. He's doing a lot of work for the North American side of things. And oh, to Sony Roxy. To Sony Roxy. Beautiful check left hook. What's going on here? Wait, apparently you're not allowed to do this in amateur rules. Wait, what's going on here? Hey, I don't know the rules in you know for amateur fights here, three three minute rounds. But that was a beautiful shot. Oof. So he stands it back up because you can't hit a grounded opponent to the head in in amateur. Oh, you can't finish on the ground. Got you. No ground and pound. Only the body. I got you. I got you. Hey, fair enough. They're amateurs. They're amateurs. Punches the body. No elbows. See, makes sense in amateur. Doesn't make sense in the PFL. Anyways, nice shot regardless. And another left hook and right by Tassoni. High kick by Tassoni. No, that's really soft, really. No, it's amateurs, dude. One minute on the clock. These guys getting ain't, ain't getting paid for it. Barely anything. I don't think you you don't get paid in amateur. This ain't no amateur Olympic boxing where you're you know you're getting some money. You gotta learn how to defend. 45 seconds on the clock. Oh, a nice right hand by Tassoni. Oh, and Tassoni knocks him down again. No, Tassoni knocks him out. Tassoni knocks him out. He is out. He is out, ladies and gentlemen. He is knocked the fuck out. Just coming to see. Oh my goodness, that was beautiful. Oh.
Ethan was right. He won by murder. Damn, let's go, BFL. This is on the amateurs. This is on the amateurs. These are the amateur prelims, ladies and gentlemen. And we see knockouts like that. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, my goodness. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. As an amateur, you usually get like 30% of your ticket sales. And there's no one watching right now, ladies and gentlemen. So they don't want blood, but they don't want blood, but KO is okay. Lol. Hey, again, I am a lot more forgiving for amateur MMA. If it's in the PFL, I am not forgiving as you know. But anyways, unbelievable. Great stuff. Great stuff. Wow. Wow. I'm sure Kaposa already tweeted that shit, eh? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Beautiful, right? Wow. I psh, What a knockout. What a clean shot indeed, dude. That was so sick. Uh, Lopez versus Ortiz is free on YouTube for me. I think the prelims are on YouTube, but then the, the three-fight main card is on ESPN+. Plus. Damn. That was awesome. That was awesome. All right, official decision coming up. Two sixteen in the second round with a big knockout. And UFC uh fight pass for the main card, I think. Yeah, for, for BFL it is. Yeah, for BFL it is. I was talking about um the the boxing fight. The boxing fight that JC uh, Lopez versus uh, Ortiz here tonight. That will be on ESPN plus the main card. But uh and good to see you, JD. But the the main card for, for this event, BFL seventy nine, is going to be, yes, on UFC Fight Pass. Whew. All right, well, we go to the next one, ladies and gentlemen. We go to the next one here. Wow, what a crazy, crazy fight. And this is for a title. Here we go. Here we go. We got a title on the line next, ladies and gentlemen. That is right. This is an amateur title. I. This is an amateur title. The Abbotsford native against the Victoria British Columbia. Let's go. <laughs> Let's freaking go. You know, fuck Abbotsford. Go, Victoria. Am I right, Shane? Am I right? We got Max Temmel, three and one as a pro, ladies and gentlemen. He won his last fight. He's fought in BFL twice before. Won his last fight. He gets a four and one guy. Lost, unfortunately, to a two and O oh guy. But beat a two and O oh guy before that in a MMA, and then a guy making his debut in AMA 37. He's also fought kickboxing in that league AMA as well. Looking at his opponent out of Abbotsford, boo, three and two as a pro, and he won his last fight as well. Fought in BFL where he beat a one and three guy, lost to three and O oh guy. Um, beat three and four guy. All right, our boy from Victoria, Shane. Our boy from Vancouver Island, he's got better wins. He may not have a profile picture on Tapology, but he's got better wins. We're going with the people again. We're going with the people again. <laughs> Let's go, Temo. Let's go. From Victoria. That's why I went to college, ladies and gentlemen. Shout out, Victoria, BC. All right. Isha, I see you. Hello. I see you too. All right, let me know who you guys have in this amateur title fight. Which, I mean, so far out of the amateur fights that have been televised, that we've been able to watch, two of them have been absolute scraps. Two of them have been absolute scraps. All right, both fighters are making their way into the cage now. Again, smash that like button and don't forget to vote in the poll question. <laughs> I got Bergen. <laughs> Bowing as he enters the cage. Look at that. Look at that. Finally, some people starting to trickle in here. 
Yes, yeah, smash that like button or I'll smash you. In one's case, bad publicity is still publicity. Eh, I feel like right now it isn't. I, th I feel like, you know, maybe like three, four years ago it was. I feel right now bad, like all the bad publicity is just bad publicity. All right, Derek Bergen. Making his walk out now. And Bergen very much looks like he's from Abbotsford. If you know Abbotsford, you know what I mean. All right, let me know your predictions in this one. Shane, are you going head-to-head? -head? Who do you got, JC? Or JD? I said JC because I looked at Chad's picture here. Who do you got, Chad? I can't believe we got a knockout that pretty here on an amateur portion of the card, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> you like my profile pick? It was you five minutes ago. <laughs> uh, Shane, yeah, you picked version. Okay, got you. So head to head again. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Bergen just getting looked at by the cup man. They'll make their announcements in the cage and we'll get right to it. Man, so many good fight cards this weekend. It sucks that cage for UFC overlaps with LFA, man. Mullet will win. Let's go. It's annoying because K uh K Cherry FC used to do shows on Thursday. Like what happened? What happened? Bergen out of Abbotsford. Oh, it's a catch weight for a title. I mean, it's the amateurs, bro. There, aren't, there ain't no rules. You make up the rules. But they're fighting at 160 pounds. Um, looks like Temel is the underdog, whereas Bergen's the or sorry, no, Temel's the favorite. My apologies. Bergen's a slight underdog. Slight underdog at plus 118 right now. All right, I guess it's just 160 pounds and they're going to have a title fight. All right. Last minute to get your predictions in if you're hanging out with us. I want to hear who you guys got. Again, the topology predictions, they've been whack here, bro. I don't trust them. I don't trust them here tonight. I don't know who those 80, 70 to 80 people are. Teme. I mean, Tamil. <laughs> I wonder what their amateur belt even looks like. I don't remember. Oh, dude, yes. The last fight. Dude, the last fight was awesome. Rewind that shit a little bit before you... You'll catch up to this one, I imagine. But uh, yeah, it was sick. Second, like, what? Minute... 30, minute 40 into the second round. Beautiful knockout. All right, here we go. Round one. Oh, bro, they know the rules. Let's go. Actually, I, I don't even know the rules. So maybe they don't here. These fucking amateur rules. All right, round one. Let's go. Again, big shout out to Dylan. It's good to see you, man. All right, two minutes and 58 seconds on the clock. Outside low kick by Tamel. Ooh, outside low kick by Tamel. Yo, what's up, Activate A? Good to see you. Dude, you just missed a huge KO on the amateur scene here. We had a heel hook and a beautiful KO so far as, as, far as finishes go. Kicking the outside leg and Bergen with the huge takedown right into side control. Catch, kick, sweep, and now getting into mount here is Bergen. Bergen looking for the arm triangle choke. It looks like now he's in half guard. How you doing, Activate, eh? Start to the fight weekend here with some BFL. 
Two minutes on the clock. Oh, he's not even going for the arm here. He's holding the knee with the left. Oh, beautiful up kick by Timel. And now Timel's going for the arm bar. Timel's going for the arm bar. Triangle choke. Triangle choke now by Timel. He just needs to put that arm across here and freaking squeeze. One minute and 28 seconds. And it is all over. It is all over. Timel beats Bergen and he is the... Catchway 160 fucking amateur champion in BFL. <laughs> Hard to top that last fight. Hey, we got a quick finish. And I don't know if you can have a belt at a catchway, but they do. They do in BFL amateurs, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, nice. Yeah, I turned. Oh, I turned into BFL. Didn't know you couldn't strike to the head on the ground at opponents. That was quick. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Up kick to armbar to triangle. That lanky ass mouth. He is a champion on the amateur scene. There we go. Honestly, the, for amateur MMA, they've delivered. They've delivered. Wow. Okay, so I think maybe now we go to... Okay, now I think we have actual pro mixed martial art bouts. I think the next four fights are pro fights. Yeah, okay, so the next, the next fight is going to be a pro fight. Noise. Oh, yeah, that looks like it's not the nicest belt, but you know what? It's an amateur belt nonetheless. So congratulations, young man. <laughs> As an amateur, let's see if he makes the jump to pro. Yeah, pro fights, no more CC rules. Yeah, no more PFL rules. No more PFL rules. It's crazy. I was saying on the amateur scene, it's like, whatever. I'll give him a pass. Then getting paid. But uh, for the PFL, it's like, bro. Um, I don't know who this guy is, but he's interviewing one of the fighters on the main card here. All right. There's pretty, there's a pretty quick turnaround here. So I think they're just going to do just like a quick 30 second or so interview. So it's either going to be Adam Posner against Brian Castro or, um, ba -ba -ba -ba, Aso Palani against Gerardo Aguillon. We shall see. We shall see. As the BFL poster has uh, <laughs> has it being Posner fighting next, whereas Tapology has it being uh, Polani. So we'll wait to put it on screen here until we see who's walking out, which we should see them here in just a moment. Okay, they're going to commercial break. Of course they're going to commercial break. Like I said, it's either going to be one of these two matchups coming up next. Do, 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 do. Yeah, just showing a little promo here. Okay, the actual BFL belt is not too bad. It's not too bad. Don't forget to vote in the poll question. I guess we, we have a few minutes here. Let's take a look at the poll question. Let's take a look at the poll question here. Where are we, where are we at with it? And don't forget to smash that like button while you're at it. Let me know who you voted for in the poll question as well. We already hit 24 likes, guys. You are amazing. Let's try to hit 35. BFL, and we've already hit 24 likes. That is incredible. Thank you, guys. I can't believe that it. That shit beautiful than a we've motherfucker. already passed our like goal. Let's try to get to 35 likes. What is that? That's that's 11 more. Easy. That That's easy money. Smash that like button, guys. Smash that like button. All right. Not a lot of you have voted, so if you haven't voted in the poll question, do that as well. What is the best regional MMA promotion in Canada? Is it BFL? Is it Unified MMA? Is it Samurai MMA? Or is it BTC Fight Promotions? Let me know in the live chat. And again, don't forget to smash that like button. Appreciate all you for joining. All right, the next two fighters are making their walkout right now, and it looks like it is 
Asso Pilani against Gerardo Aguion. And Ger uh, Gerardo out of Mexico against Canada here. Asso Pilani making his pro debut. He's had two amateur fights where he's had two wins. One and one coming off a loss is Gerardo Aguion out of Mexico. Uh, one and one as a pro, making his debut as a pro here. Um, sorry, I clicked to see where he's 27 years of age. Uh, he's fought in UWC and JFL as a pro. Polani, where is he fought as an amateur? Mamba Fight League as well as AMA. We'll see, we'll see a lot of fighters who've fought on AMA here on this card. And we already have uh, as as well and shout out to tapology they actually have the belt order right here and they've been uh they've been on top of it so shout out to them um dare i even look oh my goodness palani that's what the that's what the tapology folks are saying hmm i'll go i'm going with the underdog yeah i'm going with the i'm going with the mexican fighter i'm going with gerardo Locking it in. Let's freaking go. Let me know your thoughts in the live chat, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know your pick in the live chat. For those of you who are new to the channel, which I don't, I, I think we just have the regulars here tonight, but Shane and I, we got our beer bets going on. We go head to head on all these matchups, and I had such a huge lead. I even had a big lead on the last UFC card. Shane somehow snaked his way back to tying it. God damn, I got I got to get my lead back. Canada have been struggling building prospects. I see recently every time they get close, they lose. Think that Susie might get humped for 25 minutes. You ain't wrong. You ain't wrong. That dude getting interviewed had the most stereotypical Canadian voice. <laughs> Polani by Waslin up next. He's going to ragdoll the Mexican. Typology voters just base it on their record. Okay, I'll go head to head with you, Poloni. Not Poloni, the Jabroni. He ain't going to get this done. The Mexican fire is going to catch him on the way in with a knee or something. I'm praying. My fingers are crossed. I'm knocking on wood. Let's freaking go. Oh, God. I'm going to lose. I'm going to lose. I'm going to lose. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, at least we're still on the prelims. We're no longer picking amateur fighters here. So, I mean, I guess it's more serious now, right, Shane? Now that we're not picking amateur fighters. Anyways, the Canadian's about to enter the... I think it's the Canadian, anyways. Wait, what's going on here? Oh, the wrong fighter came out. So apparently the wrong fighter came out because they thought they were fighting, but uh, it was out of order. <laughs> I was wondering what they were going off about. Power slap tomorrow. What's up, sis? Good to see you. Double Chuck Norris is always sketchy. What the fuck? Ariel was hyping up this card. Don't lie to me. Don't lie to me. He doesn't give a fuck about Canadian MMA. I haven't listened to the the last of May. I listened to a couple of the interviews, but but I highly doubt he was hyping up this card. Really? Okay. Well, hey, good on him then. Good on him. I'll have to listen to the last show in full. Good. I'm glad. I'm glad that the biggest MMA uh, channel out there, as far as news and and whatnot and and following, is talking about Canadian mixed martial arts. They got the wrong guy walking out. <laughs> Metallica, not a fan of Ariel. Yeah, for me, I used to like him a lot more. And now, I feel like that's... He's a little too comfortable on that throne. Let's just say that. And it's like, you you know? I think Peak was when he came back after ESPN and like was just pumped to be back. And I don't know. Now it's... Now I listen to the fighter interviews and... and 
you know, some segments, but I used to listen to the whole show and I just, I just can't anymore. All right. Polani's actually walking out now. Let's go. That's true, sis. That's true. At least the guy isn't getting pulled for selling fentanyl. There was someone commenting on the videos and everyone's comments saying that he knows him and he didn't get caught for that. And I did see him post something on Instagram, so I don't know what's going on there. But, hey, I was just going off of what we had and it was like only like a three-minute video, so it's not like we made like a hit piece on anybody. It was like, that was just crazy and it was going down as, as we were streaming, as the event was going on. All right, the the correct fighter is making their walkout now. Aso Polani making his BFL debut, as we said, and <laughs> yeah, the correct fighter now is making their way to the cage. It literally has the charge online, but you never know. I can only believe what cop documents say. Yeah, exactly. So. We'll see. We'll see how the story plays out too. Because BFL, or sorry, BFL, uh, BKSC hasn't even commented on it. So, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, this guy looks like another just Persian, uh, Persian BC wrestler. All right. Now that the mix-up has been resolved. The 2-0 fighter coming off the amateur scene. Aso Polani is making his way into the cage now. Again, appreciate all you in the live chat here. You all are amazing. I appreciate you all. I cannot believe we already beat our light goal. You know, it's BFL. I don't expect too many of you guys join. I just expect the, the loyals here, uh, the junkies watching, you know, low-level promotions. And especially when there's some big boxing going on tonight. Um, on ESPN and Top Rank. I know our boy Jay Smooth is covering that here tonight, so shout out to him. Go subscribe to his, cha his channel if you haven't already. But uh, hey, when when BFL and mixed martial arts come to, comes to the lower mainland of British Columbia, Canada, that's my home province. We're going to support the, uh, this event from the start of the amateur prelims all the way to the main event. Three title fights, too, at the end of this card, so should be fun. Uh, Polani is a four-time national champion, three-time world team member, three-time Pan American medalist, and an NCWA national champion folk style. Okay, yeah, so he's going to wrestle fuck the shit out of this guy. Yep. And he's the huge favorite at minus 300. Oh, my goodness. Dane, you're going to absolutely fucking cook me here today. Oh my goodness. This is not good. This is not good. I should have listened to them. I should have listened to them. But I don't trust them. I don't trust them. <laughs> All right. Both the fighters are being announced in the center of the cage. Again, if you're new to the channel live, play by play, commentary, reaction, and interaction with all the amazing folks in the live chat. Appreciate every single one of you who've liked this video already. If you haven't already, vote in the poll question. Vote in the poll question. I want to see your guys's and hear your guys's opinion. Are right, both these guys making their debut in BFL? Drick has turned down UFC 300 main event. Said he wants to wait for UFC Africa. That isn't even a thing yet. Damn, why these so-called champs like to sit around and wait so long? Him, Edwards, Bilal, like fight Hamzat. Anyone here played the demo for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth? It's a video game. Is it? Is it? I don't know, Shane. I don't really play many video games. I wish I had time to play Counter Strike still because I just think that game is is one of the most beautiful games ever made. Um, especially with the new one that just came out. But I just don't have time to play video games. Like, I don't even have time to play freaking GTA for self care. All right, round one, ladies and gentlemen. As the prelims continue, first pro fight of the prelims here. We got through the amateurs, and honestly, there were some pretty good amateur scraps. But out of the four amateurs, three of them were fun. Two submission victories, one knockout, one snooze fest. Phony's favorite. <laughs> All right, round one, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. Shane, like, you got to start playing counter. If, if you start playing counter strike, Shane, I will, uh, I will definitely start playing it. Even my internet's bad. Four minutes on the clock. It's actually just, it was a Windows patch, which is why my streaming computer, why I've been shooting from my laptop here. 
Oh, it plays UFC Undisputed and PUBG. Yeah, I used to just be Counter Strike. Or I have Worms Armageddon as well, which shout out to the old days that you, you can play that on Steam. Four minutes and 28 seconds. Outside low kick by Aguion. Four minutes and 16 seconds. And the wrestler hasn't gone to the ground yet. He takes a right hand by Aguion. Worm slaps with a classic. Oh yeah, dude, you can play online now with it. So that that's fun. I had a buddy who used to play the game and he would post our clips on YouTube when I was like, I think in college too. And I didn't know about it till like a couple years after. And I was like, that's crazy. The best is when they, when someone tries to like drop the mic and poke you off the edge and they met, they mess it up. I was at the grocery store and I overheard the staff talking about it. So I talked to them about it for a bit. Nice. No, I never have and probably never will. I'm not a big video game guy, but there's a few games I just appreciate. Beautiful slam by Polani. Beautiful slam takedown by the national champion. Like when I was younger, Super Smash Bros. Melee, Mario Kart, Double Dash. I mean, I played a little bit of Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 2, but, and, and like UFC Undisputed 3 when I was in college, but or sorry, when I was in high school, but for the most part, Counter Strike was the only game I was really into. Pokemon Blue as well. <laughs> Grand Slam. What's up, Mr. Grant Gregory? What's going on, buddy? Good to see you. Go check Norris. I heard them say it was like 50 gigabytes, and I was like, Are you talking about Final Fantasy VII Rebirth? I'm like, yeah, Shane. I don't even think I could I could download that on this this computer I have right right now. That's huge. That's huge. Two minutes and 38 seconds. Back up to his feet is Aguillon, though, but Polani now looking for the takedown again. Looking for that left single leg. Using the cage to balance here is Aguillon. But just dragging him to the ground again is Polini. Some nice knees there. Polini controlling the shoulders of Aguillon. Looking to get into full mount here. Not quite over the hips yet. One minute and 57 seconds on the clock. See if he can do some damage. Looks like he's trying to work into mount though. So, One minute and 51 seconds on the clock. Again, this is a pro fight. So, no amateur time clock here. Almost over the hips. Almost over the hips. Into mount, and if he can get to mount here, oh, nice scramble from the bottom, but looking to take the back is Polani. Polani looking to get a hook in there. I think he's got the right one. No, not quite. Cage grab. Oh, come on, Agrion. I want. I wanted to root for you here, bro. But you just grab the cage. Grab the cage. I don't care if a fighter knees someone in the face when they're grounded. I don't care if they soccer kick them, stomp them. But if you grab the cage, you're dead to me. That's a more egregious cheating avenue if you ask me uh if only guys the great wrestling had great jujitsu it's always one or the other even with jujitsu guys i know right 44 seconds on the clock everyone is defending a takedown again he had good balance there for a bit but then Polani just drags him off the cage takes him down to the ground now in side control Let's see if he can land some more shots here. I thought maybe he'd fetch the arm. Still in side control. Ariel's too woke, says King James. 15 seconds on the clock. Oh, nice knee to the body by Polani. And again, Aguillon tried to get back up to his feet. Looked like he tried to reverse as well, but landed on the back and knees to the body again by Polani, and that is it for the first round. Not the most exciting round, but honestly, the Mexican fighter, I'm I'm impressed with his ability to get back up to his feet the last couple, the last three times, anyways. But with this pace from the wrestler, I don't know how much 
more he has left in the tank in the second and third. That's why guys like Islam are great because they actually have both. Yes, absolutely. And he's got a good high kick. Don't rely on the ground and pound. <laughs> the translator, I can't hear what they're saying. <laughs> Thank you, translator. Thank you. You really added a lot here to, uh, to the broadcast. Shut up with the high kick. Sorry, sorry. It, it's a normal kick. Volk's just that short. All right. Hey, some, someone's taking one for the team. Someone's taking one for the team and actually translating for them live. There you go. All right, round two, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it. smash that like button if you haven't already. Ring that bell for notifications and subscribe to the channel. We do live fight companions every single weekend. Check the community tab. We have so many starting tomorrow into Saturday, into Saturday morning, or into Sunday morning. It's going to be amazing. And I appreciate every single one of you who join us every weekend as well. And if you're new, welcome to the community here. All right, right away with the takedown is Polani. Four minutes and 30 seconds on the clock. The right side of Aguillon's body's up against the cage, though. Not a lot of room to scramble. Landing some left muffin shots is Polani. Just going to wrestle fuck him. I mean, act, that's what Activate A said. That's what Activate A said. You weren't wrong, Activate A. You weren't wrong. After great consideration, I think Ilya might beat Volk. How can you be that intensely confident he knows something we don't? I mean, some fight, some fighters are just that confident. I mean, I've seen it my whole life watching mixed martial arts. It's not every fighter, but there's some fighters who are that confident. I don't know. I'm going to lean Volk until he, until he disappoints me and until I see a decline in his weight class, right? I don't think the two losses to, to Islam suggest yet that he's like the down... The downward trajectory has begun. If Ilya beats him with even and and with relative ease, let's just say, then uh, then in his, and then in his next fight, it'll be a lot more critical in my pick. Ortega was confident. Max is confident. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, but most are stupid confidence. Well, I mean, I still think they're actually self confident. I don't know if one's stupid or, or the other. Some people are saying that Ilya's confidence is a little stupid right now. Three minutes on the clock, by the way, and it's the same. It's the same thing. Few, few right, a few left hands by Polani, but Aguillon trying to use the cage to get back up to his feet. He is scrambling here from the bottom position. Seems like one of the legit guys. I mean, he is. He's presenting it well. I'll, I'll say that for sure. Modified half guard side control, but posturing up and landing some shots here. Is Polani Polani looking to try to end the fight with some left elbows? There's some nice ground and pound here in the second round. Two minutes and 38 seconds on the clock. And Aguillon trying to turn to his right side here. Pushing his face down with the elbow is Polani trying to get out of half guard and get into either mount here or just a better or just in the side control to be perfectly honest. But he's landing some nice left elbows. Do Sissy could be a belt kidnapper? The UFC has to threaten to defend. Yeah, and if not at 300, then at least like the bit, the next numbered card after that, or, you know, 301. Two minutes on the clock. One minute and 54 seconds. Again, not even trying to pass into half anymore, but. Credit where credit is due. Aguilon is trying to scramble from the bottom, but can't can't get up like he did in the first round. I rewatched the Mendez versus Volk fight because I saw a bit of it on Twitter. It wanted to freshen my mind on that in the fight. And this might be the first time since that fight he's got a guy his height. <laughs> How crazy is that? Because yeah, Yair and, and, and Ortega were a lot more lanky than him. And shoot, so is Holloway. One minute and 17 seconds on the clock. And we're only in the second round, ladies and gentlemen. We're only in the second round. God damn it. This is going to be a long one. This is going to be a long one. Unless Polani can, you know, impress us and finish the fight here. Whew. And Zombie. Yeah, Zombie is a lot bigger than him as well. 
God, I always just try to wipe that fight from my memory because I was it felt so bad for the zombie. Giving up his back now is Agrion. Maybe you just get too much ground and pound there by Polani. Polani now gets the double hooks in and he's looking for the rear naked choke. Polani's looking for the rear naked choke. Doesn't have the body triangle cinched here as Agrion is scrambling, scrambling, and Polani gets full mount there for a second. Still back mount here, but he doesn't have the hooks in anymore. Controlling his back feet planted 25 seconds on the clock. Wow, so fuck. 20 seconds. Left hook in, right hook in. He doesn't have enough time to get the choke. Doesn't have the skills to sub. Oh, final 10 seconds. He's going to be saved by the bell. As he finally gets into full mount line, landing some ground and pound, that is it for the second round. Damn, Bill. God damn, they should just let him go. They should be like, you know what? We're just going to tack on the next the next uh, few minutes here because we need this fight to end. But that is it for the second round. Oh, we have one more round. Let's hope that, uh, I mean, not for my pick's sake because I went with the underdog here and I feel really stupid about that. But let's hope for viewer's sake that Agrion just got nothing left in the gas tank and Polani takes him down, gets full mount, and just lays down enough ground and pound to get the finish. That's right. I'd, forf I'd already forfeit my pick. I'd forfeit my pick. We got to see more knockouts here. Uh, this BFL card, they seem to get a bunch of Mexicans to fight their guys. I think they're in the same team. Okay, maybe there's a little like Canada team, Mexican team beef there in the West Coast. They did, uh, what was it, Canada versus rest of the world one time. The Canadians cleaned up on it. Let's go. That was the one Jesse Taylor was headlining. Which is crazy that Jesse freaking Taylor, two-time tough winner. Could never get in Dana's good books to get actual fights in the UFC. End up just rotting away on the regional. Any of your friends in the March Madness? Yeah, there's a few friends, Shane. Uh, the, uh, the guys who started Better Edge, uh, Jeremy. And, and honestly, even, even Joe and Hoppy watch it because, well, they bet on it. Four minutes and 50 seconds on the clock. And my boss, Shane, even though I don't think WVU is going to make it this year. Uh, third and final round. <laughs> That guy messed up his opportunities. Yep. Four minutes and 35 seconds on the clock. Remember the clip of him clouting? Yep. Yeah, wasted talent because he was good. He was good. He got absolutely smoked by some old Canadian fire. Oh, beautiful takedown by Polani. Gloating, not clouting, but gloating. But yes, I... Gloating and getting clout from it. Negative clout. Four minutes on the clock. Kick the window of the limo in. <laughs> in his first tough season as well. Second tough season, he was on better behavior, but... Yeah. Boy, did he air his grievances also online. Three minutes and 45 seconds on the clock. Inside control right now, but as uh, Activate A said, if he doesn't, if he's not threatening with the back take to go for the rear naked choke and or full amount, he ain't got the submission skills to finish this. So I think you know who I am. I'm in the UFC. And Dana kicked him out. Yeah, so he kicked, he kicked uh, through a window of a limo, walked into a casino, all drunk after like the end of the Ultimate Fighter, where Dana takes the boys out, like right, right when the season ends, he got a little too drunk, and then like went into a. Um, went into a lobby of a hotel and was like harassing some of like the female guests and, and those working. And, um, and he's like, and he was telling security, you know who I am? I'm UFC fighter. And he hadn't, he hadn't won the contract yet. So they brought back CB Dalloway to fight uh, a guy on team forest and CB Dalloway made the finals and lost to Amir Sadala actually. But CB Dalloway ended up fighting in the UFC for a little while. Another barn burner of a fight. Two minutes and 46 seconds on the clock. Yeah. I mean, I, Come on, Pal uh, Palani. Just end it already. Two minutes and 37 seconds. All right, now tr trying to trap that right hand of Aguillon. A couple left hands inside. Nice left elbows. Hey, at least he's landing some of these left elbows. You got to just keep peppering those, man. But again, Aguillon scrambling. 
Yeah, that guy been a journeyman ever since random promotions. Stevie got smoked by Yuri over in Rise, and that's true, he did. Oh, he's got the hooks on. Polani's got the hooks in on Agrion. Two minutes left on the clock. Yeah, here's the fight if you guys want to see it. Hey, what's up, Tommy? On my way to the fights right now. Let's go. Let's go. Tommy's going to go watch them live. Let's go, Tommy. We've been following the amateurs. Thank you for stopping by. Hope you have a great evening, man. I can't wait to hit up a BFL fight card the next time I'm home. Oh, look for the neck crank. Look for the neck crank. Is he going to tap? Is he going to tap? Nah, dude, he's not going to tap. He's tougher than that. It wasn't under the chin. He was just crack cranking the neck there. One minute and 28 seconds on the clock. Complete backpack right now by Polani. Does he have the skill to end this fight? Activate A says no. So far, I'd agree. He's got to pull him back here and attack under the chin, man. Okay, now he's just laying out some right and left hooks, but he's got to keep those hooks and he cannot fall off of them. One minute on the clock. Trying to soften him up here. Get your fingers out of the cage. Hammer fist. Now he's dragging him back. Now he's dragging him back. Front row, maybe you will see me. Let me know what color shirt you got. And we'll, uh, we'll see if we can spot you. Back mount there. 40 seconds. Trying to end the fight here is Polani. Polani pushes him now into... Not even to mount. Oh, he's going to end this. He might end this. No, still scrambling from the bottom is Aguion. Oh, man. He's blocking those shots, is Agrion, but Polani not even electing to go back into or try to force mount or anything. We're just pushing him up against the cage and just landing. Not landing a bunch of shots, but firing that right hand over and over and over again. Do that sweet. Shout to Tommy for going front road. BFL, he'll be there. All right, third round is about to end here. Statement ending there for Polani. He's going to win this fight. Easy. And that is it. <laughs> Yuri's ready to fight and could have fights about to be announced. I hope so. I hope so. I love Yuri Prohaska. All right. Yeah, I think the wrestler is going to take this one and he's going to win his first pro MMA fight. I imagine it's these guys coming up next year. Was that official? Make a poster saying hello, Isha, in my opinion. Dude, if you, yeah, you got a little piece of paper or just city life, the only way we'll truly know it's you. Remember we spotted Mr. Uh, or Mr. Big Wig Majig uh, at a Ryzen event. Yuri Ratchik. Uh, is that confirm? UFC 300. Okay, yeah. So that's one of the fights on UFC 300. Yeah, you guys got you guys got it. Yeah, dude, we spotted one of uh one of the guys in the chat at a Ryzen event. He was like, "Oh, that's me in the yellow shirt." And the camera went right to this one row that he was talking about. I think it was like four rows down, and they were the only person in a yellow shirt. Did a little wave as well. That's been confirmed for a while. There you go. Honestly, I'm just so out of touch with 300 because everyone just bitches and complains about it. So I just kind of, I've just tuned it out. I don't even care. I don't even care anymore. It's just another UFC card in my mind. Yeah, this is, this is going all in favor. We're just we're waiting the, the announcement of the winner here. And also Polani is going to win. Yeah, unanimous decision. <laughs> I'm not surprised, motherfucker. All right, we have uh, the first welterweight fight of the night coming up next year, guys. First welterweight fight of the night coming up here on the prelims. Three more prelims before we hit up the main card here. Main card starts in just over two hours. Or, yeah, just over two hours. These bums can't even finish each other. 
Mexicans going to get whipped today, unfortunately for them. Uh, whenever, what is UFC 300 date? Uh, UFC 300. April 13th. All right, guys. Next fight coming up here. We got Adam Posner against Brian Castro. Brian Castro making his first, or making his debut as a pro. Doesn't look like he's got any amateur fights. Screw it. They're throwing him up there against primetime Adam Posner, 19 years of age, who's been uh, ripping it up on the amateur scene. He's been ripping it up on the amateur scene. Five and no, and he's the BFL amateur welterweight champion. He beat a four and three guy, one and oh, four and one, and two guys making their debut. First round rear naked choke, second round rear naked choke, first round rear naked choke, first round knockout, first round rear naked choke. He's finished all his opponents. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Brian Castro, apparently he's Mexican. He's not Canadian, so uh, we're going with the Canadian here. Oh, Canada, baby. By the way, happy late birthday to Dawn Cherry. Was it 91 years of age? What an absolute beauty. We're going with Posner here. Posner locking it in. Let me know your thoughts in the live chat. They made this Posner guy walk out earlier already. He must have had to get ready again. Yes, he walked out. Uh, he walked out, was it two fights ago early? Oh my, or he walked out the last fight early. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. Yeah, because he's in the red corner too. So Castro gets to walk out before him. Shane, who you got in this one? Oh, Shane's going. Shane's picking Castro. He's going head to head. Shane, I don't know why you picked Castro here. 98 percent 101 votes the votes are getting higher shane the votes are getting bigger more people are participating speaking of polls though let's let's check on the city life poll here let's check on the city life poll why did i go there we go i just had to scroll up let's check on the city life poll here again guys thank you so much for vote or for voting in the poll question and liking this video if you haven't already smash that like button smash that like button because we set the like goal at 20 likes. I didn't think there was going to be a big crowd here today. And my goodness, we're at 24 likes on the video. Let's try to get to 35. That is the goal. If you guys are watching us here, smash that like button. We're trying to get to 35 likes. That's the new goal on this video. Again, appreciate those who support smaller promotions, much like that at BFL. It really means a lot. I know there's top rank boxing going on tonight. I know there's other great fights going on tonight. And you guys choosing to support BFL, you guys choosing to hang out with us and watch it, it really means a lot. Again, smash that like. I want to see. I want to see it rise to thirty-five. Let's go. Um, what is the best regional MMA promotion in Canada? BFL, Unified MMA, Samurai MMA, or BTC Fight Promotions? Forty percent of you say BFL, thirty-two say Unified MMA, sixteen say Samurai MMA, and twelve say BTC Fight Promotions. Again, appreciate you guys for chiming in. So many of these uh, Canadian fighters resemble Chuck. Posner looks bigger and more athletic. I haven't seen anything on them, and I already know he's going to win. Oh, yeah, he's going to win. At 19 years of age, this is a layup for the young Canadian fighter. Locking it in, locking it in, locking it in. Now, does he win inside the distance? That is the question. He's 19. Interesting. Five fight wins, you could guess. He's not just 4-0 in the amateur, and he's 5-0 in the amateur scene. Super young. Making his pro debut. Both these guys making their pro debut. He's the huge favorite at minus 330 as a well. Plus 220 for Brian Castro. All right, fighters are being announced in the center of the cage. Right after that, we'll get into live play-by-play -play commentary, reaction, and interaction with all the amazing folks in the live chat. This is a welterweight fight in the BFL. I'm going to guess, yes, Castro, don't look in shape. Ah. Uh, He's a little he's a little bit more doughy. He's a little bit more doughy. 
Uh, Chad, I want to know BFL's formula for determining grit percentage. Grit per 60? That is an amazing comment that is comment of the night thus far. Sign. That is a great question. I'm actually going to tweet that to BFL right now. I want to tweet that to BFL right now. <laughs> That's such a good comment, dude. So yeah, I'm going for the Canadian on this one. What is your formula for measuring grip percentage? <laughs> <laughs> thank you for that one my man thank you for that one that was my first comment on your streams i officially retire on top i'm out hey chad thank you so much for chiming in buddy thank you so much for chiming in appreciate you hope you uh join some more down the road we cover all fight promotions every single weekend all right round one ladies and gentlemen oh my goodness chad sunshine is an absolute beauty All right, and a beautiful takedown right off the bat by the young Canadian Adam Posner. I think Topology's uh, going through some glitches right now, ladies and gentlemen. Arm triangle choke, arm triangle choke. He needs to get that left over. He needs to get out of half guard. Oh, he's in mount right here. No, he needs to, he needs to go to side control. Never mind, he doesn't need to do shit because he poked him out. It is all over. He was in mount with the arm triangle choke. Was Adam Poser didn't even need to get into side control. I thought he had one of his... I thought he had his left leg still tangled. I thought he was in side control still, but quick and easy. Quick and easy arm triangle choke puts him out. <laughs> You're beautiful than a motherfucker. Made quick work. Made quick work. Submission and he's out. Trevor Peak is the meaning of grit. I mean, he is. That that fight was insane. That fight was insane. His first fight in the UFC. Easy victory in his first pro MMA fight is the 19-year-old primetime Adam Posner. All right, only two more. Yeah, only two more amateur or sorry, two more fights on the prelims here. Two more fights and we have two hours. Oh my goodness. I guess we could watch some boxing as we wait. I guess we could watch some boxing as we wait. Damn, dude. First pro fight. I know it's kind of set up against a can here, but excited to see. Uh, him against some legit competition in his next fight for BFL. Or better competition. If not legit. <laughs> better competition. Yeah, I think the prelims for the the box the top rank boxing card are on right now, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah, okay. So yeah, since there's probably gonna be a lot of buffer time between um between these next fights, because there's two more fights left on the card, and if they end in a quick finish, I mean, we, we got a lot of time before the main card starts on Fight Pass. So yeah, we'll, we'll watch some boxing. All right, being announced as the winner in the center of the cage is Adam Posner. First pro fight, and he extends his fight streak to six, if you include amateur and pro. All right, so Brandon Brogillo against Jose Rivero is next, ladies and gentlemen. Oof, he is not on a... Ooh, he's on a bad streak right now. Hoping to uh, <laughs> hoping to get back to the win column against a Canadian making their debut is the 40. Oh, no, he's losing, bro. He's losing, bro. Jose Rivero, 40 years of age out of Spain. Are you shitting me, dude? Are you shitting me? He's one and four as a pro. He's on a freaking four fight losing streak right now. Oh no. What are you doing, bro? Lost your one and no guy. Lost your one and no guy. Oh my goodness. Oh, never mind. Never mind. It is not this cat. I was going to say, I was going to say. 
Okay, so it's a different cat. It's a guy named and Tapology doesn't have it updated. That's okay. I was gonna say that, that that's mean. That's mean if that's the guy. Um, they do have Brandon Brugillo going up against a Mexican fighter. Last name Hernandez. I missed his first name here. Jose Hernandez. I mean, is it the same guy? Just his name's different? They're both Jose. He doesn't look 40 years old. I don't know. Regardless, I'm going with the Canadian. <laughs> what, is, what does that ball just say? Yeah, fuck it. We're going with the Canadian. <laughs> Ride or die, Shane. Ride or die. Yeah, there's, I mean, it's, it's, it's whack here on Tapology with this one. So, Jose Hernandez could very well be Jose Rivero here. Is he 40 years of age? Who the fuck knows? Okay. Hopefully, just someone backstage was like, bro, you're, you're 40 years of age. Do you really want to keep fucking doing this? And he was like, nah. And uh, Hernandez, who is, you know, quite possibly like th this cat's son, was like, you know what, dad, I'll just fight for you. Fuck it. That's what that's what actually happened, guys. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Again, keep the comments coming, ladies and gentlemen. Shane's, <laughs> Shane's going for it. Shane doesn't give a fuck. Locking it in. Shane, you got balls, brother. You got balls. All right. One more fight on the prelims. And then we have a two, four, six, eight fight main card ladies and gentlemen that is right eight fights on the main card and three title fights give jose the old shob talk i don't think this guy is is, is he doesn't look 40 and they said it's jose uh alvarez or sorry hernandez jeez here i go Brandon Briglio is making his walkout. Okay, right, Tapology has this wrong. Apparently, he was the BFL flyweight champion, and he's on a two-fight win streak. Am I just looking at the wrong fight here? Oh, okay. No, he was the amateur champion. He's the amateur champion. So he's making his pro debut. They just don't have it marked here on Topology. Fair enough. I'm still going with the Canadian dude. But yeah, I think I think he got the shop talk backstage, man. I think he got the, the shop talk backstage. Shane, you got balls. And you know what, Shane? If you win this one, I I'm actually I'm I'd I'd actually be happy for you. What's the score right now, Shane? What's the score right now? I haven't I haven't kept up. I haven't kept up. I wonder what his grip percentage is. <laughs> Let's see if BFL uh, gets back to me on Twitter. Hopefully they don't block me by LFA for promoting them. Um, bu -bu 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 no, so far they've not got back to me. So far they've not gotten back to me. All right, both the fighters are in the cage. They're announcing it now. I feel like phony too many wrestlers. <laughs> Shane was like, phony's in the BFL chat. And I was like, I bet he's pissed. And Shane's like, yep, he is. <laughs> All right, minus 300 for Briglio. He is the favorite. Hernandez plus 200. It doesn't, I mean, oh, maybe he is 40 years of age. 92 grip percentage for Briglio, 90 for Hernandez. Dude, what are, like, are these guys fucking Pokemon? Like, what is this shit? Grip percentage? The next time PFL is here, they're going to say the boys have like 60 HP. Okay, it is him. Shane, it is him, and he is 40 years old. Oh, my goodness. They just got it wrong. He's not from Spain. He's from Mexico. Oh, my goodness. This is a layup for Briglio. But he's going to have, like, 150 HP. One guy's going to have 40, and I'm going to pick the 150 HP all day, every day. Grit percentage, bro. What the fuck? 
Shout out to Chad with the uh, comment of the night. So far, so far. Out of Porco Quitlam, a Poco guy. Let's go. Hey, Chad's still around here. Let's go, bro. Looking nicer for you. No, that's why I thought it was a different guy, both because, you know, the name was different on Tapology, but the record's the same. And that's how I put two and two together. But no, that's why I was like, yeah, this guy's like 34 at most. Jose used tomato can. Poor Mexican fighters getting set up bad here tonight. Let's see if he can pull a rabbit out of the hat here. Round one, ladies and gentlemen. In this professional MMA bout in Vancouver, British Columbia. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. This is like the ACA versus Brazilians all over again. Yeah. Let's hope at least one of these Mexicans can pull out a victory. Four minutes and 52 seconds on the clock. Inside low kick for Hernandez. I can't wait for ACA this weekend, by the way, Activate Day. Tomorrow morning, to be exact. Four minutes and 38 seconds. Trying to land a counter right uppercut was Hernandez. Briglio looking for the entry in the takedown. Straight left jab by Briglio. There's three title fights in uh, the ACA on the ACA card. Tournament finals. Looking to land that counter left, and Hernandez just cannot find the distance yet. Four minutes and 11 seconds. Low kick by Hernandez. Faint by Briglio. Swing and a miss with that right hand. Haven't looked at the card yet. Hope there's more competitive matchups. Actually, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. ACA 170. Yeah, there's some good there's some decent matchups on this one, dude. There are a lot of Brazilians who who are being actually there's only like three Brazilians who are thrown to the wolves on this one. Yeah, and they're all the tournament finals. And it's for free on their website. Let's go. Two minutes or three minutes and twenty six seconds on the clock. Some kicks by Hernandez as he cannot find the reach slash distance. Oh, and just when I say that he lands an overhand right, dude, Hernandez is gonna get the upset. And Shane's going to dunk on me. Hernandez is going to get the upset here. He just landed a big right hand. He landed a counter right hand there as Briglio tried to enter. Briglio striking. I mean, he looks a little bit more polished with his like stance and everything, but like he he's not landing really any big shots either. Left jab by Big Briglio. Two minutes and 51 seconds on the clock. Dude, Hernandez for 40 years of age so far looks good. Needs one more win before he retires. Straight left jab by Hernandez. Now Briglio is looking for his entrance and he gets the takedown right back up to his feet. Hernandez with Briglio looking for those legs to drag off the fence. Hernandez trying to get back up to his feet here. Credit to him. He just wants to sniff them nuts. Right back up to his feet is Hernandez. Look at that left takedown is Briglio. Hernandez looking for the guillotine, but he slips right out of it. Does Briglio. Elbow from the bottom by Hernandez. Now to the left side of Briglio. Closing the guard is Hernandez. Let's see if he can play that jujitsu game. Briglio dragged him to the center of the cage, though. No wall to help him walk back up. One minute and 47 seconds on the clock. Did someone really com really compare this guy to Tony Ferguson? Someone on the broadcast lit literally compared Hernandez to Tony Ferguson because he threw some elbows from his back. I threw two bets on this card to make it interesting. One parlay and another money line on a dog. <laughs> One minute and 26 seconds on the clock. Close guard by Hernandez. Briglou's got to throw some shots here to make it entertaining for us, guys. Come on. That or this ref just needs to stand him up. Be like, Briglio, come on. Come on, man. I know you're on the prelims, but come on. You're a pro fighter. This is the debut. No more amateur shit. Looking to try to pass into side control is Big Briglio, but Hernandez. Actually doing a good job on his defense here. This Briglio wasn't able to pass with ease, but he does there into half guard, but no, kept his arms around the thighs. 
and actually prevented him from passing cleanly. Forty-one seconds on the clock. Brugio posturing up, throwing a left hammer fist, but I don't know why he's just glued to his legs here. It makes no sense. Like you already are in the dominant position. Keep throwing, keep throwing shots. Now trying to get into mount, but sitting up is Hernandez. His back's not flat to the mat. Fifteen seconds left in this first round. Oh, no, not in position to even try to get go for a triangle. Final 10 seconds of the first. Not the most exciting fight, but I cannot believe this 40-year-old's still in it. And that is it for the first round. Come on, Brandon Brigler. If you can't finish a 40-year-old, I mean, what are you doing in, as a pro? What are you doing as a pro? What's up, Bailey? Uh, so right the the last two prelims, so this fight and the next one are on BFL's YouTube channel. So go to Battlefield Fight League. Um, two more fights left on that, and then it goes over to Fight Pass at 10:30 p.m. Eastern. Thank you so much for joining, Bailey. Hey, if you don't mind, smash that like button. Maybe subscribe to the channel too. We do fight companions every single weekend, but we're trying to hit 35 likes on the video. All right. The favorite is uh, Briglio, ladies and gentlemen. 95% on topology as well. Amateur champion in BFL. Up against this old fart who wants one more win before he retires. Come on, Canada. Let's get this win. Let's get this win. All right, round two, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it home. Let's get it home. Oh. Okay, now 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 we're getting it on. All right, they meet center of the cage. Looking for that entry again is Briglio. Briglio with the left jab. Four minutes and 45 seconds. Double left jab, swing and a miss by Hernandez. He lost that round, I think. It's it hasn't been it hasn't looked good. It hasn't looked good. I'm not impressed by your performance, Briglio. Four minutes and twenty two seconds. There's a left by Briglio. Overhand left by Hernandez as he steps in. Oh, a nice right hand by Hernandez. That landed clean on Briglio. Beautiful right hand by Hernandez. But Hernandez with another right hand. Hernandez now looking for the takedown. Why? You landed two great shots. What are you doing, Hernandez? You landed good shots on him. Why are you going for the takedown? Knee by Hernandez. So they get back up to their feet. I don't think Hernandez is 40. <laughs> but let's just continue with that lore. Because if he is 40 somehow, that's just way more impressive. I'd rather, I'd rather continue operating under that uh, storyline. Ooh, a nice check left hook by Briglio. I mean, Tapology has where he's from wrong, has his name wrong. They probably have his age wrong, but they got his record right. Nice takedown by Briglio. Hernandez trying to get a right leg over. Maybe he can go for a triangle here. Elbows from the bottom. Boo, take down boo. Three minutes on the clock. Arm triangle choke, perhaps? He's in half guard. Nope. Doesn't look his, his arms are in right position here. Two minutes and 48 seconds. Yeah, halfway through the second round. Briglio in the top. Position. Oh, a nice right elbow by Briglio. Let's get him into side control here. Good guard work by Hernandez from the bottom. He's a wet blanket in him. Hey, that elbow made up for it. He, just need to, he needs to land more. On his feet now planted. Back into the full guard. Two minutes and 15 seconds on the clock. Yo, anybody in the chat. 
Jose Hernandez, how old is this guy? How old? I need to know. I need to know. Ask the mat back to the cage by Hernandez, continuing to smother him here is Briglio and, pa and I mean, Briglio really just tries to get into that side control. He can do more damage. Instead, he keeps getting cut in, or getting caught in the guard. Trying to pass into full mount was Briglio, unable to. Butterfly guard by Hernandez. Hernandez trying to push Briglio off him to get back up. Ask the mat back to the cage. Right foot planted. Both his feet planted here. Hernandez is back up to his feet. Briglio looking for a standing guillotine. One minute and 20 seconds. Let's it go. Knee to the body. Now looking for the takedown again is Briglio. Double leg. It drags him to the ground. Drags him. Oh, and right back up to his feet is Hernandez. One minute on the clock here in the second round, and they meet toe to toe. Center of the cage. Hernandez has to make this count with some big shots here. Oh, a nice combo by Hernandez. Nice left hook. Hernandez has landed the better shots on the feet. No doubt. No doubt. Body kick by Hernandez. Oh, man. And Briglio takes him back to the ground. This time, Briglio is inside control. And he's laying down some huge left elbows. Tried to pass into mount. Unfortunately, gets back into uh, half guard. The wet blanket begins again, ladies and gentlemen. 25 seconds left on the clock in this second round. Left elbow by Briglio. Final 10 seconds in this second round, going into the third. Late back take by Briglio. He's not going to have enough time to go for the choke. And that is it for the second round. A little bit more of an exciting second round. Let's see if it can just take that one more step up. In this third round, we can call entertaining. Any whiskey, Isha? Um, Not tonight, but tomorrow, probably. Not tonight, but tomorrow. It ain't the weekend yet, Hernan. It ain't the weekend yet. And actually have to go out and grab a... Something to eat for dinner here. Uh, after this event, so. Gotta stay level-headed tonight. Whew. Excuse me. I'm thinking quick trip. I don't go to quick trip often because it's like 15-minute drive, but it might have to be a quick trip type of evening. All right, third and final round, ladies and gentlemen. What are you sipping on, Hernan? What are you sipping on? Third and final round, ladies and gentlemen. Shane, I, I imagine if your boy knocks him out. The 40-year-old who's probably not 40, but we're going to operate under the assumption that he is. All right, third and final round. Let's Tequila and lager. Let's go. Actually, my roommate has some tequila. He's been on the tequila train lately. Gonna try to stay up for the main card. Out of boy. Yeah, it's so late for a Thursday night, but that's the thing. I don't want to cook. I, I I don't have many ingredients left. I actually like have to do a grocery trip tomorrow between ACA and the membership stream, or not the membership stream, the UFC prediction stream. Um. Oh, a nice Superman punch by Hernandez. I mean, it wasn't actually a clean Superman punch, but he did push off that left and. Jump forward with the right. Four minutes and 22 seconds on the clock. But yeah, I just don't want to do a big... The only ingredients I have is like I have to like cook, cook. I can't just throw something together quickly. So I'll probably just go to quick trip. Four minutes and 10 seconds on the clock. This guy ain't the same guy on, on topology. Tony is his name. No, it's Jose Hernandez who's fighting right now. They have the same records, though. One, uh, one and four. Maybe, maybe that's why Typology got it mixed up. And another takedown by Briglio. Again, it's better if, if we just pretend he's 40. Because then it's way more of an impressive fight, right? Three minutes and 37 seconds on the clock. And Briglio can't do anything on the top position against a 40-year-old. I mean... Jose Hernandez.
All right, let's see if I can find Jose Hernandez. Jose Hernandez is four and one. That's a different Jose Hernandez. There's so many Jose. Her oh, I think I found him. I think I found him. Two and two amateur record making his debut. I found him. Potentially setting up an arm triangle choke here. Nah, he doesn't even want to. Two minutes and 50 seconds on the clock. Come on, Briglio. All right, looking to get into full mount. Nah, landed the left elbow. He has had trouble passing to full mount from, uh, from half guard and even from side control. But yeah, this is, a, this is a boring one. I'd argue the most boring fight of the card so far. Let's hope the last fight in the pre on the prelims can uh, can be entertaining because then we have a little bit of a break. We'll probably watch some of the top rank boxing. Actually, we will watch some of the top rank boxing before the BFL main card starts in an hour and a half's time. 10.30 p.m. Eastern is when the main card starts. It's a pretty big main card too. Eight fights. Big event here in Vancouver here tonight. BFL 79. First BFL card of 2024. 1 minute and 53 seconds on the clock. Still in the top position is Briglio. Is he doing anything with it? I mean, he's going from half guard to side control to try to get into mount to half guard to side control. A couple shots to the body, a couple elbows. I mean, that that's it. That is the fight. That is the fight from Briglio in the top position. So is he active? Yes. Is he a dominant fighter? No. Especially if Hernandez is 40 years of age. He's actually doing pretty good if he's 40, but he ain't. Wrong guy, Tapology. Wrong guy. One minute and 17 seconds on the clock. I need some more coffee, dude. Only to get back up to his feet is Hernandez, and he does. All right, one minute on the clock here. Hernandez did land some good strikes early in this fight. Let's see if he can just tag Briglio, put him to sleep. And we have a crazy upset on our hands. Outside low kick by Hernandez. 52 seconds on the clock. You got to set up that big overhand, bud. You got to set up that big overhand. Let's go, Hernandez. Let's go. You're running out of time. 43 seconds. Running out of time. Briglio tried to do some fucking jumping shit and got caught by... Or Hernandez tried to do some fucking jumping shit. Little switch kick there, got caught and slammed to the ground by Briglio right back up to his feet, but now Briglio's looking for the takedown again. 23 seconds on the clock. I think this might be 2-1 Hernandez in my opinion, but they probably will rob him. Oh, absolutely. They're going to go with the control time. That switch kick would have been dope. Could you imagine if that landed and knocked him out? That would have been a crazy, crazy fight. Dude, Hernandez did in the first and second round, Hernandez did way better on the feet and was cracking Briglio with some big shots. So honestly, I agree, Activate A. That's what it should be. But we all know how the judges are going to judge this fight. They're going to give it to the hugger. They're going to give it to the grappler. They're going to give it to the wrestler. <laughs> Honestly, Hernandez impressed me a lot, but honestly, it's because I thought he was this 40-year-old man. He ain't. It's a different guy. I mean, the wrestling was on point, but he did not do any damage, and you got cracked on the feet by Hernandez. Are they going to show any Hernandez highlights here? No. This, could you imagine if the knee landed there? Oh, my God. That would have been incredible. I'm actually interested to see how the judges score this one. Again, we have our middleweight fight to close out the prelims next, but let's see how the judges score this one, ladies and gentlemen. Dude, the Mexican fighter doesn't even look tired. That's what the broadcast said, and it's true. Close fight indeed, and again... Jose Hernandez, he did more on the feet. He did more on the feet. 100%. Split incoming. Head movement. All right, awaiting the decision still. Hey, I picked the Canadian to win, but I, I actually want uh, I want the Mexican to win this one. He deserved it, in my opinion. First two rounds should go his way. All right, we have a decision. All 
All right, we're listening in, guys. Oh, man, 30-27 for Briglio. 29-28 for Hernandez. Yeah. Brandon Briglio wins this one. These commentators are such buffoons. We got to get City Life in the booth. <laughs> What's up, Mikey P? Appreciate you, man. Honestly, I'm going to start sending some resumes out to more regional shows. Um, I mean, I, I used to... So basically, like, hockey TV, which I believe now is just on Flow Hockey, they cover all, like, the junior hockey leagues, the junior A, the junior Bs, everywhere in the United States and in Canada. And I did work for a junior B team. So, like, I, I know I know how it all works. So that, that would be cool every now and then to, to be able to jump on a regional show. So we'll see. Embarrassing robbery 3020. The 3027 is disgusting. It's absolutely atrocious and disgusting. I'm glad one judge gave it to uh yeah, I'm glad one judge gave it to Mexican fighter though. Gave it to Jose Hernandez cuz he deserved it. He deserved it. All right, last prelim ladies and gentlemen, last prelim on this card before we move to the main card again in an hour and a half's time. Two of them. We need Isha for rising commentary. Fly him in. Get rid of Damian Clark and Joe. Dude, I've applied twice already. I've applied twice. The second time they told me I had to learn a little Japanese. So I, I've been I've been putting in, you know, when I'm at the gym, I've been putting in uh I know I have like a Japanese app and it it's it's supposed to teach you Japanese as like you're listening. I'm trying, I'm trying. Shane's picking Martin. Shane's ahead of the game. Already locking in his pick. Look at that. Look at that. All right. Well, let's get to it, Shane. We got Luis Guzman. One and five. Oh, we got the, we got the heavyweights, ladies and gentlemen. This is either going to be fun or it's going to be a, a snooze fest. We got Luis Guzman out of Mexico. 27 years of age. He's one and five in his last five fight, five five fights and on a three fight freaking win or losing streak oh my goodness oh my god one kotko is his only win three losses via knockout two via decision he's never been submitted zero and three in uwc got knocked out in his last fight decision the last one doctor stoppage in that one knockout knockout loss or sorry knockout win knockout loss god damn his opponent, Jaden Martin, the liquid steel out of Vancouver, British Columbia. He is one and one as a pro, but if you include amateur fights, he's four and one in his last five fights. He said one and one as a pro beat an eight and 27 guy in BFL. What the hell, man? He beat freaking Chester Post. Who the frig is Chester Post, man? That is a can if I have ever seen one. And then lost to a zero and one guy. On the amateur scene, he went undefeated going four and oh. Yeah, I'll go Martin too, Shane. I'm too scared to go head to head with on this one. Actually, you know what? I mean, Shane, what's the score right now? What, what's our score? Who's up? This might determine it, Shane. Joe and Damien literally say three Japanese words and stop. I know, right? I just need to I just need to learn four Japanese words and I can do a better job. Six have tried, only five have beaten him. Eight and 27. Shane, what's our score right now? I'm up one. Ooh. Do I risk it for the biscuit? Do I risk it, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, my goodness. Um. Yeah, I, I can not on this one. Not on this one, Shane. I'm sticking with my pick. We're, we're not going head to head. No, no, this is just the main... Uh, fight off the pre the last fight of the prelims, the featured prelims. That's the term I'm looking for. The featured prelim. Oh my goodness! Yeah, this Canadian's huge, man. Then I'm gonna take a quick break. Probably grab a little bit more coffee here, and uh, and then we'll come back, hang out, and watch some boxing until the main card starts on Fight Pass. Minus 700. Minus 700 is Martin. 
Oh my goodness, he is the massive favorite. Massive favorite, but he's only had but he only has 84 grip percentage. What the fuck does that mean? He only has 84 grip percentage to the 88% grit percent or 88 grip percentage that Luis Guzman has. What is that? What is grip percentage? I want to know. This is the last one on the prelims. Yeah, it's 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 a small regional show out of Van or out of pretty much Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. They don't travel anywhere; they stay in Vancouver. It would be cool to see a BFL event up in Prince George, though. Grip percentage. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have Luis Guzman. professional and and uh <laughs> bowing to the audience a little sus is it actually grip I, I thought it was grit grit percentage yeah dude look at this Jaden Martin guy's an absolute unit BFL amateur welterweight champion, and now he's fighting a freaking heavyweight. Yeah, grit. Okay, I just like I, I mean I tweeted them too. I said how how do you uh, measure this? I'm off the grid and wouldn't know about some of these regionals without the City Life Project. Hey, I appreciate it, and that's what I want to do. I'm gonna start highlighting these promotions to everybody. All right, round one is about to begin, ladies and gentlemen. I do not think this is going to go long. Don't blink, says the commentators. Yes, I agree. All right, round one, they touch gloves. Mexicans. Oh, nice big shots there by Guzman. Guzman landed some nice hooks and a right elbow in the clinch by Martin. There's already fireworks in this one. Nice right hook by Martin. And Guzman's hurt. That right hurt, hook hurt him. Elbow. Another right elbow. Guzman lands a right. Oh my goodness. They're just throwing hands. They're just throwing hands. Oh, a knee in the clinch. Another and a double right hook by Martin. Guzman throws a left and a right. But Guzman with a double right hand. And he knocks out Martin. <gasps> Martin knocks out Guzman. Martin knocks out Guzman. Double hooks left and right. Couple under hook, hooks there as well. And it is all over. Oh my goodness, that saved the prelims. That was tremendous. I couldn't even keep up with all the bombs that they were throwing, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god. Filthy indeed. Let's take a look at the replay. Let's take, they might as well just show the entire fight there. They might as well just show the entire fight. And I think they are. I think they are. That's some old school swang in the bedding. So let, let's just let's just watch this and call it the re playing the entire fight. Inside located by Guzman. Guzman just starts just throwing hooks, walking forward, left, right, left, right. Nice clinch work by Martin. He lands a couple of knees and hooks of his own. And then just swinging like a crazy person was Guzman. More elbows in the clinch, short elbows, knees to the body, more short elbows, tie clinch, knees to the face at this point, followed by right elbows by Martin. They break and Guzman's hurt. Guzman lands a left, doesn't land a right. Double right uppercut, left and a right, and Guzman goes down. Rest in peace. It is all over. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Oh my god, that guy a dog like he went for it. Jeez. That was crazy. That was so much fun. All of those who are coming in late who missed that final prelim. Dude, he's just waking up right now. He's just waking up right now, and his team just left him there. They just left him there. They didn't care. They're like, ah, oh, whatever. He'll wake up when he wakes up. Let me just put the stool next to him. They don't give a fuck. This is crazy, ladies and gentlemen. This is crazy. Good display of respect, but he doesn't even know where he is. He's like, bro, you're in Vancouver. He's like, Van, what? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What a fight. I mean, it wasn't really even a fight. It was just two, cr two crazy guys throwing hands. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff. Dude's got his nails painted. I just saw that black. M maybe he's like some emo, some emo dude outside of the cage.
So he said the fans were going to be the winner of this fight. Much better than 15 minutes of hugging. Absolutely. What a fight, ladies and gentlemen. What a fight. So we next have the uh, main card. But not for another hour and a half, ladies and gentlemen. Not for another hour and a half. So we'll, we'll switch over and watch some boxing here in a bit. But I'm going to take a quick break and we grab a coffee. And then we'll be back. But uh, let's just wait until this broadcast officially ends. Then we'll, then we'll take our first and, and probably only break of the evening. Let's be perfectly honest. What a fight. What a fight. Well, what a fun fight anyways. It wasn't, it wasn't a great fight by any means. But now three and one is a pro. Oh shit, you're right. 25 minutes. Dude, I'm so I, I just kept thinking I'm on Eastern time. Yeah, even better, Shane. Even better. 25 minutes. I kept saying 10:30 Eastern, and as a result, I just was like, oh, I just put myself in Eastern time. Yes. Thank you, Shane. That's why I need more coffee. It's been it's been a long day. It's been a long day. So I um I was going to do the UFC prediction video after this, but I was like, you know what? We'll do it tomorrow because I need to get some sleep tonight. We got a big weekend of streaming. But uh, okay, yes. Yeah, so quick break. Like again, I'm not, I'm not going to be... I'm not going to take a 25-minute break, ladies and gentlemen. Quick break, three to five minutes. I'm going to grab another coffee. We will come back. We'll throw on some ESPN boxing, some top-ranked boxing as we wait, and we'll continue to take your questions. We'll continue to take your comments, ladies and gentlemen. He looks like he's Aboriginal Aussie background. All right, guys, we're going to take a quick break. On the other side, we will be back to take your comments. We'll, we'll watch a little ESPN boxing as we wait for the main card on UFC Fight Pass. So the broadcast will end on UFC or on uh, BFL's YouTube channel here in a moment, but we will, we're going to stay live and we're going to keep covering this event. Like I said, starting with the amateurs on the early prelims all the way to the main card in the main event here showing some love to British Columbia MMA. So refill your snack bowl, refill your drink, ladies and gentlemen, because on the other side, main card, first BFL card uh, in 2024, BFL 79. And we're really excited to have all you folks alongside for the ride. Three freaking title fights, ladies and gentlemen, three freaking title fights at the end of this main card, eight, fights total they have not they have not hopefully they do it live here tonight because then we'll have some news going into next week um i'm gonna go hard boil some eggs and i ran out of eggs that's what i'm saying i gotta do good big big old grocery ship trip tomorrow i'm gonna get some more caffeine in me denial doing dad stuff so miss this gonna uh jump on theo versus ortiz i think dude the last fight was insane to now just rewind uh the the youtube broadcast quickly it was crazy that one is is worth watching my, my man that one is worth watching for sure it only lasted 35 seconds big old boys were swanging and banging um yeah, I'll throw in the boxing fights until the main card starts here because we got uh freaking navid uh zangani for I don't know if you guys remember, he was the guy who was uh, the guy from the bottom tried to get him in a buggy choke, and he kept just smash, smash, smashing him to the ground, freaking rampage Jackson style. So excited to see him fight next as well. Back in fifteen minutes, yes, I will be back in five minutes on the other side with some more coffee, and uh, yeah, we'll highlight the main. Well, we'll highlight the first two fighters in this main card. Mexican zero and four, four more to go. Let's see if they can get a win. Let's see if they can get one freaking win, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, denial. Let me let me uh, let me test that out. Let me test that out. Okay. And if I'm bubble fucking my words, you know that's just some good shit, man. All right, back here on the other side. Do not go anywhere. Stretch out. Refill your snack bowl. Refill your drink. BFL seventy nine. First card of twenty twenty four. Main card back here in three to five minutes live on the Say Life Project YouTube channel. Don't forget to vote in the poll question and like the video and we'll see you folks in a few minutes. I just bought a new way. Couple thousand just to cruise it. Shawty said she loved me, but it's question of approval. I 
never tell her, but I put it in the music. Well, that's okay. All I want to do is make the best of my whole day. Thank the Lord up above. Get the cream on the side. Make you laugh to know it. That's the stuff that I love. La, la, da, da, da. We can be friends if you wanna. We can just talk if you wanna. We can hold hands if you wanna. Hey, tell me what you wanna do. You could just laugh if you wanna Late nights on the stars if you wanna You could just kiss if you wanna Hey, tell me what you wanna do It's like the story of my life Best friend, but we rockin' all the same things Say you need me, but you really tryna change lanes Well, I don't even care In my life, I don't battle with no fear Fighting dragons, always been a real one. Hate you saying you're showing love, you a real chameleon. Get the facts freaking straight, always on repeat. Like, we could be friends if you wanna. We could just talk if you wanna. We could hold hands if you wanna. Hey, tell me what you wanna do. We could just. I just bought a new whip Spent a couple thousand just to cruise it Shawty said she love me but it's fresh and never prove it I never tell her but I put it in the music Well that's okay All I wanna do is make the best of my whole day Thank the Lord up above Get the cream on the side Make you laugh to know it That's the stuff that I love La, la, da, da, da We can be friends if you wanna We can just talk if you wanna We can all hang you wanna hey tell me what you wanna do we could just laugh if you wanna late nights on the stars if you wanna we could just kiss if you wanna hey tell me what you wanna do it's like the story of my life best friend but we rocking all the same things say you need me but you really trying to change lanes well i don't even care in my life i don't battle with no fear Fighting dragons, always been a real one. Hate you saying you're showing love, you a real chameleon. Get the facts freaking straight, always on repeat. Like, we could be friends if you wanna. We could just talk if you wanna. We could hold hands if you wanna. Hey, tell me what you wanna do. We could just. I just bought a new whip Spent a couple thousand just to cruise it Shawty said she love me but it's fresh and never prove it I never tell her but I put it in the music Well that's okay All I wanna do is make the best of my whole day Thank the Lord up above Get the cream on the side Make you laugh to know it That's the stuff that I love La, la, da, da, da We can be friends if you wanna We can just talk if you wanna We can hold hands you wanna hey tell me what you wanna do we could just laugh if you wanna late nights on the stars if you wanna we could just kiss if you wanna hey tell me what you wanna do it's like the story of my life best friend but we rocking all the same things say you need me but you really trying to change lanes well i don't even care in my life i don't battle with no fear Fighting dragons, always been a real one. Hate you saying you're showing love, you a real chameleon. Get the facts freaking straight, always on repeat. Like, we could be friends if you wanna. We could just talk if you wanna. We could hold hands if you wanna. Hey, tell me what you wanna do. We could just. I just bought a new whip 
spend a couple thousand just to cruise it. Shawty said she love me, but it's worse, she'll never prove it. I never tell her, but I put it in the music. Well, that's okay. All I want to do is make the best of my whole day. Thank the Lord up above, get the cream on the side. Make you laugh to know it. That's the stuff that I love, la, la, da, da, da. We can be friends if you wanna. We can just talk if you wanna. Get on hands if you wanna Hey, tell me what you wanna do We could just laugh if you wanna Late nights on the stars if you wanna and we are back live here on the City Life Project YouTube channel for BFL 79. It will be starting on UFC Fight Pass in about 15 minutes time. That is the main card and eight fight main card ladies and gentlemen for those of you who joined us throughout the prelims hey appreciate every single one of you that's your beautiful than a motherfucker right now what i got on in the background right now is uh top rank boxing we are in the sixth round of the acosta uh giron fight it's been a good back and forth fight actually in the what was it the third round Acosta got the count after he took a body shot there. So it's been a nice back and forth fight. So basically, I'm going to have that on in the background for a little bit here. But again, in 15 minutes, BFL's main card will start on UFC Fight Pass. Eight fight main card. Let's take a look here. But if you guys want to talk about uh, the top rank boxing fights that, that's going on, right or the fight that's going on right now, like I said, I got it on in the background. Happy to talk about that as well. Smash that like button if you haven't already. If you're new to the channel, we do live play-by-play, -play, commentary, reaction, and most importantly, live interaction with all you amazing folks in the live chat. We're trying to get to 35 likes on this video. That is the goal. So if you haven't already, just smash that shit. And let us know which promotion in Canada you think is the best right now. Now, Canada doesn't have any high-level MMA like PFL. I mean, PFL is actually not high level, so I take that back. UFC, former Bellator, it's kind of PFL now. You know what I'm getting at. It's all just regional shows. But which one is the best? Is it Unified? Is it BFL? Is it Sumo? Or is it BTC? Or Samurai, not Sumo. Jeez. I just said Sumo because I have Twitter up here and Ben Davis is doing commentary for Sumo event. Samurai or BTC Fighters Promotion? Let me know in the live chat, folks. All right, round seven for the Acosta Giron fight. They're clinching up right here. But uh, like I said, big card here. Three title fights. This is a little out of whack. The Bantamweight Championship uh, title fight is going to be in the featured fight slot. Um, Scotty Stockman up against the five and one Rodrigo Senziando. Anyways, this this actually should be a good one. Five and one, ten and two, 30 years of age for the American. And Maxime Susi, five and one up against Radley da Silva. He's he's good, man. He's good. Five fight win streak as well out of Quebec. I mean, I don't trust these, man. These 75 to 100 people who've been voting on tap Tapology have been a whack here tonight. But again, some good scraps here tonight. Interested uh, to see how these Mexicans do as so far. I mean, they want Nevi uh, Zangane, Zangane, I should say, to... They want him to be good, even though he doesn't have great hands. He's just very much a wrestler. Again, good boxing match going on right now, guys. I know only... A round and a half left, but Acosta, Giron, two Mexicans duking it out. Each of them utilizing their jab well. But anyways, what fight are you most excited for here tonight, ladies and gentlemen? Again, if you're new to the channel, we do live play-by-play, -play, commentary, reaction, most importantly, interaction with all you amazing folks in the live chat. we got a poll question here. What is the best regional show in Canada I'm still torn between Unified and BFL. I'm still torn between Unified and BFL as I do think the other two Samurai and BTC are, you know, of lower level. Not as consistent at, uh, either. Uh, BFL 79 will start on UFC Fight Pass in yeah, 10 minutes now so or so. And we're going to be watching and covering the entire event. Big shout out to those who joined us as we were covering the prelims earlier today. Again, only 10 minutes or so until the main card starts. Have you guys let me know in the live chat too? Have you guys been watching this entire top rank card or, you, or have you been tuning in mostly to the BFL amateur fights and pro fights on the prelims? Honestly, there were some banger amateur fights, man. 
But uh, yeah, no solid scrap here on ESPN. Yeah, it was a, it's been a rough night for the Mexican fighters on the BFL card, but the two duking it out right now in boxing are killing it. BFL's YouTube channel isn't even covering this main card. Yeah, like project is the only live. Well, I mean, hey, and, and shout out to BFL. They renewed their contract until 2027 or 2028 with uh, UFC Fight Pass, which, you know, it, it's good for BFL. There are a lot of viewers on Fight Pass here, but yes. We're going to continue watching. I think uh, I think Pick'em MMA is actually also hosting a fight companion. Let me check. Man, th this has been such a good fight, by the way. I, I fired it up at um at, in round three, so I caught most of it. But again, big shout out to King James. Appreciate that you watch all the videos on the channel that we post as well, man. And comment on them all. It really helps, guys. It really helps. Um, but, 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 but yeah, Pickham's doing a, a fight companion as well. I'm going to stop by the stream. Hey, if, if you guys are a fan of this channel, this is my boy Pickham's channel. He's, he's a uh, Pickham MMA. He does great work as well. I'm just leaving him a quick comment. All right. Just had to show my boy Pickham MMA some love. Anyways, let me know who you voted for in the poll question, guys. Because, again, I think there is a big gap. BFL, Unified, and then the rest. It's sweet that Samurai is on UFC Fight Pass now. as Their production is is actually pretty pretty good. It's weird. Uh, I feel like Unified, like, they have the tools. They just haven't executed it yet to get the production that they want. BFL knows what it is. <laughs> and Samurai, I quite frankly, haven't watched enough yet. Like, full show, front to back, start to finish live. All right, let's highlight the next two fighters here. Coming up on the card, Navid uh, <laughs> Zangane against Javier Cintora. Javier Cintora on a three-fight win streak as a pro. Let's see if he has any amateur experience. Uh, no amateur experience noted here on Tapology. But he has a... Oh, Kamara in the second round in his last fight against a 2-0 guy. Nice elbow TKO in the first round against a guy making their debut and a triangle armbar. Damn. In the first round against a guy who's 1-3. and three. But hey, three finishes. That's, that's pretty good. And he did get a respectable 24%. It wasn't like completely skewed where you know it was just the local uh, boys in Vancouver. Oh, man. Giro or Giro, I don't know how they pronounce them on the, the boxing fight right now. He's having a great eighth eighth round. Um, Cheetah Navid Zangane, Zangane, <laughs> Zangane, three and one as a pro. He's on a two fight win streak right now in BFL. Again, they're they're really pushing this guy. And if he if he gets two wins and knock on wood a knockout in in those like. You know, he might be one of those guys that BFL pushes on to contender series who might not necessarily deserve the contender series spot. Um, and I'd probably, I, I would put money on him getting starts because his stand up is just not there. But he's someone the promotion's pushing and he's a beast wrestler. So let's see if his stand up has gotten any better. 27 years of age, 3 1 in BFL. Yeah, against this guy. Yeah, he straight up got the win via slams. We covered this story in a video on this channel, ladies and gentlemen. He made one of our regional highlight of the week videos. It's because someone threw up a buggy choke on him and he just started slamming them to the ground. Then guy went for the arm bar and he continued to slam them and he knocked them out with the slam rampage Jackson style. It was insane. And that guy was okay. Four and three. Great boxing match, by the way, guys. Great boxing match. That was a fucking war. Um... Lost to a seven and five Xavier Nash. I mean, split decision. You just can't. You can't lose to those guys, bro. And I mean, this was his best win, right? So that's the thing. He needs two more fights. He needs to win them in impressive matter to ever even be pushed to that of a contender series. But and I joked about that in the opening segment there, just because there's been some. I think. I, I will say three out of the four BFL fighters that were invited to, to go to contender series, uh, they didn't look good. One looked good and he didn't get a contract. He lost. It was a three, it was a three round good fight. Went 
you know, the 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 clear winner and correct winner won. I think it was a lightweight fight. Um, but it was a good fight. Whereas the heavyweight that won, I mean, it was a coin flip at that point. He won via control, pushing up against the cage, and he looked bad in the UFC as well. The pre-BFL 79 show on Fight Pass is showing some awesome highlights. Oh, really? You know, I should switch over to that now that this boxing match is done. Let's see what it is, my friend. Let's see what it is. Some old school MMA highlights. Let's check it out. Because usually they like play a show. Like one of the UFC shows that's on Fight Pass. I I'm just going over to that right now. Since, uh... Oh, sick. Tyson Griffin versus U U Uriah Faber is on right now. That's cool. Hey, thanks for thanks for that, JD. Um, anyways, guys, honestly, like, uh, like I like I root for my, you know. Fellow BC and Persian brother here. I, I really do root for him. I just wish his stand-up was better. This guy looks like he's legit. Now, I don't know if he's going to be as much of a tank as a, uh, Zangane because he, he is huge. Hmm. But I might go against the grain here, Shane. I might go with Javier Sintora. Dude, these are some crazy highlights, by the way. Oh, my goodness. You know what this re reminds me of, JD? Like, remember, like, early UFC YouTube? Like, we're talking, shit, like, 15 years ago now, and maybe even longer. Hell, like, 20 years ago? YouTube's been around that long, right? <laughs> well, I'm talking, like, way back. Like, early YouTube, when it was just, like, random accounts would just post like so many MMA highlights and so many old UFC highlights, pride highlights in a row. That's what this remind, reminds me of. And some of them were just random fucking fight promotions too that they were fighting MMA with like full on boxing gloves. But the UFC, you know, they, they did get a good catalog uh, over the last few years. Oh man, these are some awesome highlights. They showed the Vitor Bell for Matt Linlin KO where Linlin's knee was twitching. Oh, here's a Rampage and uh, Vanderlei. Oh, that counter left by Rampage. Whew. Dude, that was like peak UFC fandom for me. Like, we're like the UFC. Like, I wasn't even watching hockey back then. I really wasn't. I watched more NHL after, uh, after this era, like during the Connor era. The Connor and Rousey era, I watched way more NHL than I did UFC. It was this era, Rampage. Right when right when they merged with Strike Force and 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 Pride is when I and, and when they got the WEC is when I was at like my peak fandom for sure. I mean Anderson Silva and GSP. GSP wasn't the most exciting fighter to watch all the time. He did have some good fights though. Like say what you want about the 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 Condit fight. He kept he kept coming, dude. Yeah, Rashad knocking out Chuck, man. I remember that too. Dude, these are awesome. Let me know. Uh, yeah, let me know your reaction to some of these knockouts as well, like JD. Oh, man. <laughs> Rashad was that textbook, like, wrestler from Tough who, like, when, it went, when he connected, he had power, dude. Oh, who's that? Uh, Steve was it Steve Salmon or something like that? The dude he leg kicked in the face. Good old Herb Dean, man. Gen like every generation of MMA, he's outlasted Big John McCarthy as far as uh, being a ref. The new Herb Dean would have let Rashad get in one more punch. Sean Salmon. Sean Salmon. Oh no, it's ending. Damn, now I just want to keep watching highlights, dude. Knockouts only is the show. Okay, so shout out to Fight Pass. They probably have that show on as like, uh, you know, something you can watch. Well, look at that. It's showtime, ladies and gentlemen. In about a minute or so, the, yeah, BFL 79. Let's go. I don't know if Shane heard me because he told me in the chat he's making some hard-boiled eggs. But uh, I am going Sintor here. That's my pick. I'm going against the grain. All this guy has are finishes thus far. Kimura, elbows, which I don't know if it's from the ground or on the feet, but either or, that's badass as fuck. <laughs> and then a triangle armbar 
Again, first round as well. All three are pro fights. Uh, Navid, my Persian BC brother. I'm obviously rooting for him, but I'm going to be perfectly honest. He has crushed cans, ladies and gentlemen. He has crushed cans. He's a wrestler. He doesn't have those hands. Now, I hope his striking has developed. I hope it's gotten better, but from what I've seen, he, has, he doesn't have it. He won this fight because Buddy tried to throw a buggy choke up on him and then an arm bar, and he slammed the shit out of him and literally won via slam. Again, that video is on our channel. We, we, we put a, or we included it in one of our regional highlight packages. Before then, he'd be a one and one guy. Like, that's his best win as a four and three guy. And again, you look at the guy he was fighting and you're like, oh, okay, yeah, you, you're, you're not on my level, son. You're not on my level. You got some nice jujitsu, but you ain't on my level. Seven and five guy beat him. Be a zero and two guy. You know what I mean? Like he just he, he's got the potential because of the wrestling, but he's gotta work on his striking. So anyway, Shane's uh got Zangane locking it in. Shane going for the local boy here. Yeah, I just and again, I haven't I don't even know what like what this guy looked at looked like at weigh-ins. It could be bad, but uh, this is gonna be the one Mexican that wins on this card. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> If you're new to the channel, smash that like button, subscribe, ring that bell for notifications so you never miss an upload, so you never miss a live stream. We do live fight companions every single weekend, ladies and gentlemen. And I know it's Thursday. I know some of you are staying up late here. I mean, everyone in my household is getting ready for bed, but we got a few more fights to watch. So, BFL main card here on the West Coast. It's not bad for me, Central Time. It's not going to be too late. But, uh, man, I wish Cage Fury FC was on Thursday instead. I'm not going to lie. Look, BFL, we're here to support you. There's some top-ranked boxing going on right now. We're putting on some good fights. But like I told the viewers when we started here, this, this is in Shane's backyard across the Salish Strait, where Kyle lives as well. From my home province, I'm going to support the local league. So we've reached the main card. Eight fights on this main card, ladies and gentlemen. So excited for that. But uh, we will be keeping an eye on the boxing fights as well, as I know a lot of you are fans of that sport too. Mikey P, Dan, the BFL background music was epic backdrop while you were talking. <laughs> Can you hear it? Can you hear it? It's coming through a little bit, coming through a little bit. It's actually not bad music. It's it's hype. It's hype. <laughs> what I like about the BFL too is they know what they are. They're they're not trying to be like the the most fancy broadcast. I'm watching it on UFC Fight Pass, dude. It, it's it's not a big enough promotion for the links that I have to to even have it. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry, but if someone can help out our boy in the live chat here, please do so. One of your Facebook friends is at the event. That's so cool, Shane. Yeah, we we had a we had a, one of our friends in the live chat here tonight. He uh, he's at the event too. Front row, front row. Activate A told him to make a sign to say uh, like <laughs> Isha or City Life or something. Ooh, nice nice shots of Vancouver. Look at these nice shots of Vancouver, Shane. Oh, reminds me of home. Reminds me of home. Beautiful, the west coast of Canada. Look, Vancouver is a beautiful city to look at, to live in. Oof. And uh, yeah, Mike Chiesa, just just uh, just up the road, just up the road. All right, guys. So we already highlighted the fighters. I already gave my prediction for them, but we'll quickly go over them again. Javier Cintora. A lot of Mexicans versus Canadians on this card. 3-0 and is a pro right now. Again, these guys are fighting at lightweight. Not as big as Zangane, I'm going to be perfectly honest, but has three first-round victories. That's right. Um, a second-round Kimura. A first-round elbow. Now, I don't know if it was from the ground or if it was standing, but regardless, like I said, that's badass. <laughs> and an armbar against a 1-3 and three guy. Now, has he beaten tremendous competition no but three finishes it trumps just a one-dimensional wrestle now i'm rooting for zangane I, I i hope that his striking got a lot better but every fight that i've seen it's like okay it's just a it's just a persian wrestler not a persian kickboxer three and one in bfl 
Again, he won via slam takedown or slam defense of a freaking buggy choke and armbar just because he's a beast. This was a good win, but the guy he beat was meh. Lost to seven and five guy. Now I know he's only two and you know we went into that one. He's only two and one. He's only three and one as a pro. So I shouldn't be super hard on him, but I know the BFL very like I know this for a fact. They very much want this guy to pan out. Um, I'm going Centora. I think that's going to be the only Mexican to beat to win here in BFL here tonight. That is my pick. Uh, what's up, foul one? Good to see you, buddy. Dude, the last fight before this, the last fight on the YouTube stream, you should check it out. It's it's only 35 seconds. So it was a a heavyweight who honestly looked like a light heavyweight against an old fart and they threw hands for 45 what was it 35 to 45 seconds and it was a good one. One guy went timber. It was good. Hope you're having a good Thursday foul one. And I hope everyone has a good Friday too tomorrow. I'm not waking up super early for one Friday fights because ACA tomorrow, which I'm honestly very excited for ACA. Should be a great card. Three title fights, um, tournament finals on the ACA card. And as always, ACA is free, ladies and gentlemen, on their website. Just look up ACA.com or whatever their website is on Google. Let me see if I can find it for you. Oh, yeah. If you just look up ACA 170 on Google, it's uh, ppv.aca-mma.com. Again, just look up ACA on Google. ACA is free, yet we'll still get dozens of folks asking for the stream link. <laughs> when When is Jubilee fighting? Uh, yes, probably. Probably. But maybe it's not free for Russians, which makes no sense. Though. Why, I don't know. Or, you know. Maybe it does make sense. Maybe they have a TV deal in Russia or parts of Russia anyways, and they want North Americans to watch it, so they put it for free for us. The eggs were good, by the way. A little seasoning salt and sriracha. Nice. That sounds really good, Shane. Yeah, I'm fresh out of eggs. I'm fresh out of everything. Like, like I said, I... I I got enough ingredients to like throw something together, but it's going to take too long. So, okay, Javier Sintora, he's in really good shape too. Okay, okay. They're just showing intros for all these guys. Ooh, some good highlights here. Some good highlights. I mean, so far for a regional MMA card, it could be a lot worse. There were a couple hug fests, but there were also some good knockouts and some good submissions. So prelims, what? For for rating out of 10, what? 7 out of 10? 6.5, 7 out of 10. And again, for regionals, I'll take it. I will take it. As far as watching amateur and meh pro MMA guys, I think 7 out of 10 is fair. I'm using sriracha on my chicken wraps that are in the oven. Mm. That shit on everything. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, and big shout to Pick'em MMA who's also uh, covering this event. Good Canadian boy. Uh, Giovanni, it's on UFC Fight Pass, buddy. It's on UFC Fight Pass. So they post the prelims on the BFL YouTube channel and then the main card, the eight fight main card here on UFC Fight Pass. Sriracha is a gateway drug. You could say that. You could say that. Giovanni, thank you so much for joining. Yeah, I'm not sure, buddy. I'm not sure. Joe Voss, if anyone can help him. I just, it, it's such a small promotion, dude, that I just don't think anyone is posting it anywhere else. You know what I mean? Because honestly, like I said, the only other places where you can find sports that I that I could suggest, it, it, it's way too low level for them to to show anything. Mm -mm. I think so. Yeah, no problem, Giovanni. No problem. By the way, guys, we do live play by play commentary, reaction, and interaction. Most importantly, live interaction. With all the amazing folks in the live chat here. So. Appreciate the interaction. Don't forget to comment your thoughts on the fight between rounds. 
let me know who you think won the round. All that jazz, dude. All that jazz. I know it's a late one for you guys out east. She, it's a late one for me out here central time as well. But uh, we got eight more fights left on this card, and the fights went by fast on the amateurs. So I predict we'll get through these ones pretty quick as well. Started with sriracha on pizza, then on everything, then stopping spicy, started eating habaneros daily. After a year of daily habaneros, I moved to the super hots. There you go. So it was a gateway for Mikey P. Mateo, yes, congratulations, buddy. That's good. I'm glad you found a new job. So that must have meant the job hunt went well. And uh, screw the last company, bro. You were too good for them anyways. Mateo, did you see the year all video, by the way, that we posted on YouTube? Now we eat uh, scorp scorpion pepper and Carolina Reaper, and I don't know what I'm doing with my life. It's fucking hot. Dude, Mikey P, um, on, on the last Soda Pot episode, actually, Hoppy, my co-host, we talked about his buddy went to a wings place here, and he didn't have to sign a waiver, but it was like he kind of had to sign a waiver. I think, actually, he did end up having to sign a waiver. But anyways... Um, it was like a 2 million Scoville units. Um, or like wings, four wings, 2 million Scoville units or something like that. And uh, and his buddy was like admitted that they were hot, but like took them down with relative ease. And his other friend there who, you know, claimed he could handle spice, like just took a little like dip off his pinky and was like, that is insane. I don't know how you're doing it right now. I was probably the first view and like, oh, thank you, dude. Appreciate you. Uh, it's the Benge. It hurts so good. You get insane endorphins. Honestly, I really like crazy uh, spice as well. But I'd have to build my way up to like those Scoville unit levels. Yo, what's up, Andrew? How are you, dude? How are you enjoying Florida? If you don't have a spice tolerance, eating two more Scoville units is easily taking 15 pockets with no weed tolerance. <laughs> Only started eating super hots after habaneros became not spicy. Habaneros used to kill me. Yeah, I'm. they still kill me. Some reason hot sauce by itself is way hotter than when it's on something. Well, yeah, especially if it's something like bread or that can soothe it, right, Shane? No, it's all good, Andrew. It's all good. I know, I know you're a diehard supporter. I know you're a diehard supporter, Andrew. Reaper powder was very good when I used to have it on food regularly. Nice and warm in Florida. By the way, the fighters are entering the cage right now, guys. Okay, so there's bonus incentives in this league. $1,000 bonus incentives, just like the ultimate fighter. That's hilarious. Drink milk if I'm you. I don't have any milk. I just have coffee. Mikey B. Ketchup used to be hot to me, but I have my game with sweet chili sauce, and now I'm living on the edge with sriracha. <laughs> All right, so this one's a pick em on the betting odds right here. Oh, wait, what the heck? Wrong fight. Wrong fight. God. Oh, my goodness. Sorry, guys. I wasn't even paying attention to who was walking out here. Um, geez. Of course. Of course it's out of order here. Damn. Tapology had a good run, man. All like Everything was in order on the amateur side. And then they messed this one up. All right. Sorry about that. Mitch Drizella against Victor Bordaj. And I should have known because I looked and I was like, is that a France flag? And I was like, oh, no, this is just another little intro that they're doing. But no, the intro to this one. <laughs> All right. So they're being introduced right now. We'll quickly run them down. Mitch Drizella, three and two as a pro out of Victoria, British Columbia, Canada. <laughs> Three and two in the promotion, one no contest. La lost to four and two guy, a split decision. Beat a one and zero guy, knocked him out in the second round. Lost to five and two guy. Ooh, nasty knee bar. No contest. Oh, he's from Squamish. He's from Squamish. Shout to Squamish. One of really really beautiful town, um, up in the mountains, near Vancouver. And he's up against a France guy who's from Quebec. Who has who fought in glory and lost? Jeez. All right. So hopefully it just stays on the feet and stays on the feet. And hopefully it's a scrap. 
Yeah, I'll, I'll go with the Vancouver Island guy. I'll go with the Vancouver Island guy. All right, three five-minute rounds here. <laughs> All right, here we go. OTMMA, what's going on, buddy? Good to see you. Oh, if it's hot, yes, uh, drink milk. I got you. Seventh Avenue Northland Allowance went up a bit too with the new job. Let's go. Shane's gonna go head to head with the pick. Okay, got boardage. Dude, Winter Drake. Yes, that's gonna be a good one as well. Thank you so much for joining, buddy. Appreciate you. The guy's the ex glory kickboxer. Yes, and look for the takedown of Strazella here early. He gets the body lock. He's looking to drag Bordudge off the cage. Oh, and a nice reversal by Bordage, and he takes Strazella to the ground. Now Strazella in side control. Three minutes and 57 seconds on the clock. Strazella now right back to where he was before. Body lock pushing Bordage up against the cage. Oh, the boxing? Three minutes and 41 seconds. Strazella... Double underhooks on board dodge. I was watching a little bit of the boxing too, Andrew. It was good. It was good. Good card here tonight. So yeah, there's just so much overlap with so many good fight cards. We had um, top rank and BFL overlap, overlap here tonight. Boxing and MMA. Tomorrow, Cage Fury, FC, and LFA overlap. Saturday's not too bad. Saturday's not too bad. Canadian MMA and bring up GSP. Name a better combo. <laughs> and he's we don't have we don't have many. Uh, I mean, people I, th I think bring up Rory McDonald as far as um the fight with Robbie Lawler. But anyways, back to your last comment. Sorry, I missed this. There's a Hulu documentary called Super Hot: The Spicy World of Pepper People, and it's crazy. One dude is like paranoid. People will steal his seeds. I won't send anything in the mail. <laughs> what? Got to look it up. That's crazy. Geo, what's up, buddy? Clinton uh, Principe. The main event's Lopez versus Ortiz. Yep. Can you call it the time so I can see if my stream's behind? Two minutes and 22 seconds on the clock. And they're still just fighting up against the cage, guys. Still just fighting up against the cage here. Two minutes and 13 seconds on the clock. Two minutes. Oh, they break. Bordage breaks in a right and a left by Strazella. Low kick by Bordage and doesn't land. There we go. Outside low kick. Double outside low kick. Couple hooks by Strazella, but clinched by Bordage. Bordage with a nice right elbow. Some good dirty boxing by both of them here, but now Bordage pushing Strazella up against the cage. Underhooks. He is shorter than him, but landing some inside knees. They break. Outside low kick by Bordage. One minute and 20 seconds. It's not bad. It's not a bad first round. Now that now that they've separated, they're actually throwing and mixing it up here. And even when he now Bordage pushes him up against the cage, like he's setting up those breaks to land elbows. OTMMA, I'm in the UK. It's currently 3:48 a.m. Trying to stay up for the fights this weekend. There's so many great fights this weekend, dude. Hey, at least the, the RWS card in Japan is a little bit easier for you to watch. But dude, you are a real fight fan. Just like us. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Appreciate you, man. Shout out to OTMMA. That is amazing. Damn, Andrew. That's super sad, man. Yeah, you, you can't just jump into the fire like that because your body, <laughs> some people's bodies and tolerance just can't handle it. Let's go. All right. They break each landing some decent hooks, but a good high god by Bordage, and now some body shots by Strazella, but knees by Bordage on the entry. 
Strizel looking for a late double leg, but not going to get it here. And now some nice knees to the body by Bordaj in the clinch. That's it for the first round. And again, other than the, what was it, like a minute and a half of clinching up against the cage. These guys were throwing hands, man. So let's keep that pace. Let's keep that pace. Uh, I meant Bedfordshire. All right, let me know who you think won the first round. Let me know who you think won the first round. Not all of Strazella's shots were landing. Bordage was picking apart the leg. I, I think Victor Bordage did enough. I was streaming since 8-ish. Yeah, uh, I think the fight card started at 7.30 your time. The boxing card. That's exactly when this card started. So that's why I said there's going to be some overlap. There's a lot of overlap this weekend. At, at least on Saturday, we got UFC and there's nothing really. It's Octagon and then UFC, so we're good. All right. Second round coming up, ladies and gentlemen. Again, let me know at the end of this one. Let's get it all. Your thoughts, your reactions. And let's see if this stays on the feet. Maybe maybe we get a maybe we get a finish. Right now, Bordage is the one applying the pressure on Strazella, trying to keep him outside that center line. I went on all YouTube, including my friends earlier today. Nice, Andrew. I mean, yeah, Andrew's a big supporter of the MMA and hockey community. French dude needs to lose. Ooh, outside low kick by Strazella. Uh, Nick, is it just me or is the stream on Fight Pass crashing? Um, it's working for me, but there was a little bit of a, there was a little bit of a lag, but it, it's working for me now. Big up from bring, uh, Birmingham. Dude, that's awesome. Couple hooks there by Strazella. Outside low kick by Bordage. Both of them have some kickboxing experience and train out of kickboxing gyms. Bordage is good, doing a good job though because he's the one applying the pressure point. He's the one forcing Strazella up against the cage. But each of them have good high guards, but a nice high kick by Bordage with three minutes and 38 seconds. Right hand to try to set up the takedown by Strazel, and he still cannot take Bordage to the ground. Great work there. Great work there. Bordage, like, in the pocket, though, he's got some good strikes. Oh, and Strazella gets the body lock and drags Bordage to the ground. Three minutes and ten seconds on the clock. Bordage trying to scramble here. Almost gave up his back. Not a lot of room as the left side of Bordage is up against the cage here and Strazella in half guard. Trying to push off the cage to scrambles Bordage here. Two minutes and 50 seconds on the clock. <laughs> Love the Chuck Norris picture for Bordage. Yeah, so on Tapology, if if the fighter or their camp doesn't post a picture, it's it's automatically this Chuck Norris. Like pro, uh, or make a profile. Dude, nice takedown by Strazella as he drags Bordage to the center of the ring. But honestly, good job by Bordage too. Gets back up to his feet, runs to the cage. Strazella takes him to the ground again. Ash to the mat, back to the cage by Bordage, but his legs are tangled here by Strazella. Two minutes left in the second round, guys. And Strazella taking the back of Bordage. Drop to your sub, bro. Enjoy your night, everyone. Thank you, OT MMA. Hey, we're doing way more streams this weekend. We're doing ACA tomorrow morning, buddy. So I hope to see you there. Thank you so much for all the support, man. Thank you. Thank you so much for subbing. Appreciate you. One minute and 35 seconds on the clock. And Bordage in the top position right now. Strazella asked the map back to the cage. 
I missed it there. I don't know if Bordage took him down or not. I missed it showing love to OT MMA. All right, it's Gisella. Trying to get back up to his feet here. And he does. One minute on the clock. Commentator a little... They're always way too quick to say, oh, he's got a nice guillotine, dude. Like, he literally just, like, controlled the neck there and let it go. It wasn't a nice guillotine attempt at all because it wasn't even a real one. Oh, a nice right uppercut by Strazella. They finally break. They finally break. And they're throwing some hands. 45 seconds left on the second round. Oh, what? And Bordage looking for a takedown. Strazella easily stuffs it and lands some good shots on the way back up. 35 seconds on the clock. Strazella with the left single leg and Great job by Bordage. Bordage landing some good strikes now. Bordage trying to land a step in left elbow. Each of them blocking each other's shots beautifully. Nice left uppercut by Strazella. Oh, nice head movement there by Bordage. He misses with his left uppercut, but he lands an overhand right. I wish these guys would just strike more because they, they're really good strikers. All right, that's it for the second round. 1-1. One, one. Absolutely. 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 Like, there's just a little too much clinch fighting up against the cage, and that was the that was in the first round, and there's a little too much just straight grappling here in the second round. But when they were on the feet, when they were exchanging, it, it was fun. It was a good fight. It, it, it's been a good fight. Hey, we're watching, we're watching MMA right now, buddy. We're watching BFL, Canadian Regional MMA out of Vancouver right now. Um, and it's on UFC Fight Pass. But thank you so much for stopping by Herbo, one of our exclusive members. Guys, we're trying to get to 35 likes on the video. Round two for Frenchie, round one for Strazella. Do I think Strickland Duplessis fight was a robbery? No, I don't. I think round two is a swing round and it should have gone to Strickland. But anyways. And I still do, Shane. I still do. But I think it was just because of the second round. I don't agree with how the second round was scored. But other than that, it was a close fight. So I thought you were streaming the boxing event. No, nah, Jay Smooth is though. Jay Smooth is. I was watching a little bit of it. Um, oh, round two. And they're, dude, they're just swinging now on the feet. Holy <laughs> shit. Now looking for a takedown of Strazella. Beautiful takedown. Picks up the torso and just slams him to the ground. Wait, I thought there's... Oh, in the morning? Oh, dude, yeah. Well, it, honestly, ACA is really, really good. And they don't do them every week, so... And ACA is free. You can watch it on their website. And, like, ACA 168 was one of the best cards in 2023. ACA 169 was I, but still some good knockouts. This one should be huge with three title fights. And I get to sleep in an extra hour, so. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Back up to his feet is Bordage. He tried to land a right elbow to his back, but Strazella continuing to look for the takedown again. Yeah, I think it's at eight or nine year time. It's on the it's on the community tab and and the Discord schedule. Yeah, if you just look on Google ACA one seventy, it's it'll pop up. Or I think he put Kaposa's link both in the community tab and in, and in Discord as well. Good job, Estrazelli. He gets the takedown again. Three minutes and twenty five seconds on the clock in the full guard of Bordage. I mean, Strazella's Str just done more so far in this round. All right, half guard. And now Bordage is giving up his back to try to get back up to his feet. Knees planted. But he is giving up his back here. And Chazelle is trying to get that right hook in. Two minutes and 55 seconds. Looking for a takedown again. Um, I mean, I guess Kansas City. Because they're they're the favorites, right? 
I wanted to see Detroit win. I wanted to see Detroit get there. But I'll say KC. But I I just want to see a good game. I really don't care who wins. My buddy's working, but he's working at he uh, he's the bartender part time. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go to the bar and watch the game there. I can't, Mason. I can't. It's illegal. That's fucking illegal. Again, <laughs> not a lot going on here at the midpoint of this second round. Estrella is still trying to chase that takedown. Wasn't able to get the hooks in when Bordage gave him his back early to stand back up. Yeah, they were fun. They were fun. Ken City's the underdog went big on them. Oh, shit. Okay, yeah, they're a good pick if they're the underdog. The winner will be Usher at halftime. 49 is favorite. Damn. So, see, that just shows how much NFL I watch. One minute, 31 seconds on the clock. And again, continuing just to search for that takedown. And can he get that left single leg? Nope. But yeah, Mason, it's on UFC Fight Pass. It's a late one for us here on Central and East and uh, Eastern time. Travis Kelsey love story was with Kent end with the Super Bowl loss, not in this universe. <laughs> Ooh, a nice knee by Bordage. They separate. Bordage is pushing forward here. Bordage with a nice left hook. Bordage with a kick to the body. Who are your favorites for Lord Stanley so far this NHL season? If Edmonton can win a playoff round or two, they could just run away with it. I think Canucks are a good dark horse as well. They've addressed some of their key areas. And then on the east side, I mean, the east is so stacked, dude. I mean, Tampa could still make a run. The uh, I guess the Avs don't really count as the east, but West, I mean, the, the Avs could still go on a run. Um, and Carolina, they still haven't popped in the playoffs, right? They could still do well. New York's looking good. All right, that's the fight, ladies and gentlemen. Not a lot of action there at the end, but uh, I mean, good display of mixed martial arts all around, but yeah, not the most exciting fight, not the most exciting fight. I had a bet with my uncle preseason. $100, we both picked one team. I was 49ers, he was Chiefs, and ironically, uh, we in the finals. There you go. There you go. And I got battered by the Bruins today for I know I saw that. Tampa got whacked by the Islanders 6-2. to two. Carolina Samat, Colorado 5-2. to two. It's been an interesting season. It's been an interesting season. But I mean, I mean, the East has been good. The East has been good as ex as expected. And like Vegas and Edmonton, I think everyone thought would do well. Canucks was kind of like out of nowhere, but I'll take it being from B BC. All right, we're listening in for the official decision. I mean, they could sneak in, but I don't think they'll make too much noise. But they've had a good season. Goalie situation, obviously, a little up in the air, but Winnipeg, dude, Winnipeg's all like they're tough. They're tough. All right, we're listening in for the official decision. But yeah, dude, um, Winnipeg's been looking good too. Thirty twenty seven. Who is this judge handing out 3027s like he's fucking Oprah giving out cars? All right, Mitch Drizella wins, ladies and gentlemen. Dude, who the fuck is giving out these 3027s like the candy on Halloween? You know what I'm saying? Hellebuck is hard carrying. Dude, I like the Sean Monahan acquisition. And, I mean, they have some injuries. I think every team has injuries at this point. My great English teacher was Adam Lowry's aunt. Oh, get out of here. That's awesome. 
Yeah, the the team I worked for when I did a junior B commentary, um, both the Ben brothers, Jordy and Jamie, played there. 3027. What is up, Strainy? Yeah, like, come on, this fight, like, there was no 3027. Split decision, but one judge has 3027. So crazy. That Sergejev injury was crazy. Yeah, I saw that. That's a big blow. That's a big blow for Tampa. All right, guys. <laughs> so that's it for the first fight on the card. It goes the distance. Again, I'm bringing up the BFL graphic again. Should be Ulet versus uh, Benuelos next. All right, we've got Nick Ulet two and two as a pro. He is three and two in his last five, if you include amateur, but on a two fight losing streak. Up against a 32 year old from Mexico who is two and one, and he won his last fight. Uh, let's take a look at him. Uh, oh, nice. He got a knockout in the first round, lost a decision in his only loss. And won his first fight via unanimous decision. Looking at Nick Ouellette. Um, Two and two in the promotion. Ooh, lost against the champion, Maxime Soucy, by knockout in the second round. Oof. Uh, lost a decision to Matt Vogel, or Matteo Vogel, who's five and two. Beat a four and two guy in his second fight via Renick Cho in the first round. That, that's actually really good. And, you know, won his debut. And two fights on the amateur scene. Looks like he was the BFL champion on the amateur scene. Um, I mean, I imagine he's the favorite in this one. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. God damn, this is the closest one we've seen on Tapology yet, ladies and gentlemen. Shane, who's your pick? Who's your pick, Shane? Factory broke his knee, bad bull tibia and fibula. Oh my goodness. I worked on my tibia two years ago. Yeah, that's what you were saying, dude. It's it's not an easy recovery. I'm gonna head to bed. I'm gonna head to bed now, but have a good night and see you at nine tomorrow, brother. Dude, have a great rest of your night, dude. The Mexican Luis Carlos is my teacher. Get out of here, really? He's making his walk to the cage right now, dude. My pick is the guy on his left. You're picking Jovas, Jovas Sonic VR. You're picking his teacher. You know, I'll pick the Canadian on this one. I'm picking the Canadian. Walking it in. Fuck it. Activate A's got him in a parlay. Shane's picking Ouellette. Let's go. All right, I'm picking the Canadian. Shane's going with the Canadian as well. This one is split on the Tapology votes, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck on your power lay. Have a good night, guys. Well, we'll keep you up to date, uh, Jova. We'll keep you up to date. And again, if I if I had a place, I'd share it, but it's too small of a promotion. Of course, I'm for my teacher. Yeah, of course, lock me. Peace out, Herbo. Have a great night. I didn't even realize how late it was. Like, we've been shooting for three and a half hours, and I just went by so quickly. And I'm like, oh shit, like, I gotta start <clears throat> talking a little quiet because my roommates are going to bed. And it's a freaking Thursday. No problem, dude. Appreciate you. Thank you for joining. I only put 10 bucks on this card. Went with Susie Stock. Uh, Stock Am and Strazola need one underdog and out of the underdogs in the main event. Didn't feel any would have a clear chance to victory. I'll go head to head with uh, Benuelos. I thought you wanted to know my pick so you could go head to head with me. Yeah, but Shane, you took too long. <laughs> so I, I made the pick. I, I made the executive decision. I'll hop on the Canadian train. Let's go. Um, I'm going with the Canadian. So after looking for 30 minutes on Benuelo's fight footage, I couldn't find anyone and went with the mystery underdog pick. Juice the parlay to like plus 2,500. So fuck it. Let's go. I'm confident in Nick Ule round one to sub. 
is this the fighter that got kidnapped or that you did a video on? Oh, was this the guy who got kidnapped? I don't think it was Ulette who got kidnapped. Was it Ulette? No, no, they didn't kidnap. They they just kidnapped a citizen and held him um, <laughs> GTA style. There's literally no footage on this guy. Benuelos, oh, Benuelos got kidnapped. What? That is crazy. I thought you were talking about Ulette. Oh my goodness. I've never heard of this story. That's crazy. What? I just like brought up an article about it. Dude, this shit's crazy. Okay. Yeah, Jova Song saying, yeah, that's true. Dude, that's crazy. Nothing too bad. Okay, that's good. I'm glad to hear. Oh my goodness. Oh, I thought you meant Nick Ouellette, not Louise. Oh, okay, got you. All right, both of the fighters are being announced here in the center of the cage. Again, we have Banuelos against Nick Ouellette at 145 pounds. Luis the King, Banuelos. Oh, dang, the odds are pretty even. It's extremely rare. I can't take up footage of a fighter, so I'm excited to see if this guy shows up. <laughs> Kidnapping is common in Brazil. <laughs> He's from Mexico. I thought it was like a pick -em. Oh, well, I got Banuelos. Uh, what's up with the weird bonuses in this promotion? I don't know. There's like, there's like weird incentive bonuses where it's like, here, it's like the ultimate fighter bonus. Hey, Dana's like, hey, you, if you knock him out, I'll give you a grand. He's like, all right. Yeah, they do. And I think it might be custom to, to some of the fighters, like one fight contract, or if it's just like, hey, in this event, we're going to give a thousand cash for Naka. Oh, we'll give a thousand cash for Kimura. Fuck it. Oh, you said uneven. Oh, okay, well, on topology, they even. Finish in the first minute, I think it is. It. Same here. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Round one. Let's get it, Let's get it on. on. And Ulette, a lot taller than Banuelos. Benuelos with a nice overhand right though, and it connects on Ulette. And Ulette drags Benuelos to the ground, but Benuelos ends up on top in full mount. Ulette with a beautiful reversal right into full guard. It's a custom in Mexico. <laughs> 30 seconds in, already Ulette in the top position, in the full guard of Benuelos. Feet are planted by Ulette. Four foot eleven max, dude. Yeah, he's tiny. Doesn't have these lanky legs here. His guard is closed. Trying to hold the right arm of roulette. Three minutes and fifty seconds on the clock. Still trying to work and get that right arm freeze. Ulet Ulet now is on his feet planted. Still the guard is closed by Benuelos. Benuelos now maybe he's fetching an arm here. Ulet now oh beautiful Benuelos beautiful counter there gets the single leg takedown lands right in the guard of Ulet but now Ulet is threatening with a guillotine. Oh this is this is actually pretty tight. Oh mount a guillotine mount a guillotine by Ulet. And he goes back to his, rolls to his back now, Zoulette. I think he's lost. It's it's not as cinched as it was when he rolled on top. 
He's out. He's out. Oh my god. Oulette. Oulette just took Choked up Banuelos. He kept that guillotine. He kept that guillotine. And Banuelos is asleep. Banuelos is asleep. Ulet with the guillotine. Ulet with the guillotine. It is all over. It is all over. <laughs> he looked out for a little bit there. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. <laughs> Who are these people? 52%. Damn, dude. Wow. So right when he slammed him to the ground, he cinched up that neck and he just did not let go. Very nice, very nice. Well, again, uh, what's the score now? Activate A for Mexican fighters up against the Canadians so far here tonight at BFL. Yep. Oh, Canada. That wasn't a minute activate, but it was close. Good call. Yeah, sorry about your teacher, buddy. He got choked out there, but uh, he did have a nice slam. He didn't have a nice slam. He landed one great punch and that good, yep, that good overhand right too. Unlucky for the guy, he ain't going to get the 1K bonus. Emotional damage. Poor guy, poor guy. Okay, so it looks like we have the... Uh, Planton and Castaneda fight coming up next, but we're just listening in for the official announcement of the winner. Technical submission due to power guillotine. And this announcer, hey, there's actually quite a, few, quite a bit of people here tonight. Shout out to Vancouver Convention Center. All right. This is 145 pounds. Just updating the ticker on the bottom of the screen, and we'll get right back to your comments. Again, appreciate you guys joining. We've been—I cannot believe we'd be—we've uh, been almost going for four hours here. But shout out to BFL. I said I was going to start right from the beginning, right at the early prelims, and we're going all night. We're going all the way to the main event. Okay. Better luck next time. Yes, indeed, brother. Thanks so much for hanging out with us, though, and appreciate you. We do these every single weekend, man. So anytime you want to watch or, or listen in, you're always welcome here. Zero and five for the Mexican fighters so far. That's emotional damage. See you guys later. Later, I got university tomorrow. Yes, go get some sleep. We'll see you guys. We'll see you later. Thank you so much for joining, buddy. Don't forget to smash that like button on your way out. All right, before we highlight the fighters here, let's quickly take a look at the poll question because I because I'm interested to see. I'm interested to see. I don't think everyone here was just going to click BFL. Oh, well, by the way, guys, we are so close to our like goal. Our like goal is 35 likes. We have 25 or we have 29 here, guys. Six more likes. That's all we need. Smash that like button if you haven't already. All right, what is the best regional MMA promotion in Canada? Battlefield Fight League, Unified MMA, Samurai MMA, or BTC Fight Promotions. 59% of you say BFL, 20% say Unified, 11 say Samurai, and BTC. Only got 11% as well. Come on, guys, smash that like button if you haven't already. Appreciate you all, and fighters are now making their way to the cage, so we'll highlight them here in just a moment. All right. What cards are you going live for this weekend? Um, I posted the full schedule on the community tab, but I'll quickly read them out here because we got a little bit of time. But I post them every week on the community tab on this channel. So tomorrow we're going to do ACA at 9 a.m. Eastern. 
And then we have my UFC predictions video at 5 p.m. Eastern. Um, LFA as well tomorrow, starting at 9 p.m. Eastern. And then Saturday, we have Octagon 53 at 12 p.m. Eastern. Then UFC right after that. What is it? 4 p.m. Eastern start. And then we're going all night. Then we have RWS World Series Japan that starts at 1.30 a.m. Eastern on Sunday. So a lot of great fight cards this weekend. Clinton saying, go Geo. Planting going to be the better fighter, shorter, so I think he's going to grapple his opponents is a horrible, or his opponent is a horrible grappler. I also put the link in the community tab, uh, Strainy, that uh, Kaposa shares that posts the full schedule for the week. Because there's a lot of overlapping um, cards this weekend. I mean, tonight is an example of BFL and top rank. No, but no problem, buddy. No problem. All right, let's highlight these two fighters quickly. Uh, Toro Reyes Castaneda, three and one as a pro, four and one if you include his amateur fights. He's out of Mexico. Can he be the one to get a win for Mexico, who's zero and five on this card right now up against the Canadians? Uh, he's only beaten guys who are making their debut or his first opponent who has one win. Okay, it's it's not the worst. It's not the worst. You know, I can't judge him. I can't judge a fighter on his opponents, especially if he's under four professional fights. So, Geo, uh, Jericho Platon, out of Vancouver, British Columbia, three and two as a pro, three, three and two in his last five fights. Duh. Uh, won his last fight. Um, beat a three and three guy. Lost to a 2-0 and, oh and 4 and 1. Oh, he, he lost to uh freaking City who had that absolute war um against the guy who he beat on contender series, but it was a like early stoppage. Sh uh Surrey City. He lost like a triangle took in the first round, but he's a good fighter. Um beat a one and one guy and a one and four guy. Four and one on the amateur scene, though. It, I mean, his record's better and what the fuck does Tapology know? Let's be perfectly honest. What what does Tapology know here? They've been they they've been off the rocker with their predictions here tonight. Um, we're going with the Canadian. Yeah, Geo got some submissions uh, down. Very versatile. Do you see the bonus he gets? A title shot if he finishes the Mexican guy in forty five seconds. What the fuck are these incentives? Dude, these are crazy ass incentives. Let's go, baby. Let's go. That's so crazy. We should start taking note of all these incentives. All right. I'm going to bookmark these. But I'm going to keep notice. So if you guys see them and I miss them on screen, because I probably will just comment them so I can bookmark them. All right. So Platon is the minus 200 favorite so far. Yeah, I kind of want to go into... My favorite was like the four suplex incentive. Oh my goodness, that's hilarious. That's that's actually, you know what? Imagine they're just trolling. Like they're all they'll obviously give the incentives, and maybe this is kind of mean to the fighters, but they're more just like you know this is something that the fans will remember watching. Shane's got castinated. If I lose one, I don't think I have a chance at today's beer bet. Well, let's go, Shane. We're going head to head. We're going head to head. All right, fighters are being announced in the center of the cage. God, I wonder if anybody on Twitter has put together a list of these incentives. I'm looking on Twitter. I'm going to tweet out, has anyone been keeping track of these incentives? <laughs> Has anyone been keeping track of these incentives? <laughs> oh man. Again, big shout out to everybody who's been joining us live here on the channel. You all are amazing. I appreciate you all. Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, ring that bell for notifications so you never miss an upload, so you never miss a live stream. 
And like you said, on the community tab, we have the schedule posted and uh, we got a lot of fights this weekend. The old check for safe passage across the border. <laughs> All right. Round one, ladies and gentlemen. Castaneda is the taller and lankier fighter. And as Activate A said, the Canadian, a lot shorter. Has more power in his shots, though. Has some submissions. Incentive. Inside low kick or outside low kick, swing and a miss by Platon. But nice counter right by Platon. Oh, nice right hand by Platon. Left hook by Platon. Oh, another right by Platon. He's hurt. Castaneda's hurt. Castaneda's hurt. Castaneda lands a right. Dude, they're just throwing, but Castaneda's still wobbling. Oh, big right hand by Platon. Knee by Platon in the clinch. Platon now. Look for the takedown. Huge takedown by Platon. Right into side control. What is going on here, guys? This is madness. This is absolute madness, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my goodness. The nose of Castaneda is mangled. Did Bandit fought already and who won? Who the heck is Bandit? What's the fighter's full name? Damn, he's cut bad. Oh my goodness, yeah, he started to leak. In the full guard of Castaneda is Platon now. Three minutes and 33 seconds on the clock. Big right elbow by Platon. Dude, he cracked him with some big shots. Oh my goodness. Oh my God! Body, body, face now in the full guard by Platon. Not doing really anything crazy. Ain't going to get that incentive, by the way. Oh, big right hand re-entering now half guard. Left elbow there by Platon as he repositioned on his feet. Easy fight. Exactly that. Dude, he's looking damn good in this one. That's what I'm saying, man. What the heck is Tapology fans on right now? They crazy, man. Still well, now back in the full guard here. Taking some elbows from the bottom, but seemingly just absolutely controlling this fight and doing <laughs> clearly enough damage here in the first round. Dude, the, the broadcast is saying you could have you could hear the first punch break Castaneda's nose. They just see records, wouldn't trust typology. I never do. I just think it's funny. I just think it's funny. Did Senzi, Senzi Nando fight already? No, I he he has not fought yet. He's not fought yet. Uh, four more fights until his. Thank you so much for joining, Kimberly. Appreciate it. Guys, don't forget to smash that like button on your way out. Castaneda never fights like that. Those 30 seconds were his best performance ever. Exactly that. One minute and 40 seconds here on the clock and Platon's still in the full guard of Castaneda. Just body, shot to the face, posture up, try to throw an elbow, try to throw a big right. The ref is saying, I need to do some more here, is Castaneda does trap the right arm of Platon. It's been a good fight, Andrew. It's been a good fight. The Canadian here. Jericho Platon landed some big shots when they were swinging on the feet, and now he's just been in the guard and ground and pound and casting it out here, to be perfectly honest. Platon, my two-leg of my three-leg parlay looking good. Oh, Platon's second two-leg of my parlay three. Oh, uh, looking good. 52 seconds on the clock. Forty-five seconds. Still in the full guard. Nice right elbow by Platon. Thirty-five seconds. Psh. Man, they were just going to town when they were on the feet there. Another left elbow by Platon. God, his nose. Oh my goodness, dude. That's 
That shot was nasty. It, his nose is mangled, dude. Absolutely mangled. Oh, my goodness. He's painting the canvas red, ladies and gentlemen. And that is it for the first round. Oh, my God. Look at his face, dude. Look at his face. Like, is this a slasher movie or an MMA fight? Are, like, honestly, that that's how much blood there is. Oh, my God. His nose is completely smashed in. Oh, Dr. Stoppage him coming. Oh my goodness. That's scary, dude. Cut on the bridge of his nose, but it is absolutely shattered. See you tomorrow night, buddy. They may stop this one. Oh, I've shattered my nose a few times. So like, I know what this feels like. Bringing out his Roy McDonald. All right, apparently the fight's being uh, called off. Looking at the replay there. Oh, my goodness, that was gorgeous. His poor nose, man. Oh. Oh, my God. It's over. 200 bucks he's going to get ain't worth it. That's true. Only fight I recall being stopped by Shattered Nose is Roy McDonald. Yep. And it wasn't a... Uh, corner stoppage between rounds. Right call. Smashed his nose, dude. Oh my goodness. Smashed his nose. Hey, props to him, man. He, he, he tried from his back anyways. Oh, like I said, I, I've broken my nose like three or four times and one time completely shattered. I, I know the feeling and the pain that just shoots up, <laughs> shoots up the sinus. <laughs> oh, ouch. Good win though by the Canadian. Good win. All right. Next we have, oh, a lot of people were talking about this Gil fight. They're saying it's a really good one. So that's the next one here. Uh, Gagan Gill against Caleb uh, Moctezuma. I thought this was going to be the featured fight, but I guess it's going to be... Huh. Oh, well, never mind. It's just a lightweight champion. So do we have four belts going down here? No, no. This, this is a mess up on Tapology's part. This isn't for a title. This isn't for a title, but this is the next fight. Ali Wasik to finish uh, in a three-leg parlay. Two to three so far. Let's go. Have you broken your nose before? Oh, yeah. Like four times. Like, that's why my, my older glasses used to just sit right on, like, the indented crevice of my nose. These new glasses are, like, old man glasses, so... I have to kind of re keep readjusting them. I know it says lightweight title, but I don't think it's a title fight because I'm on the... I brought up the BFL like fight poster that has the all the bouts and it just says featherweight bout. I think just, this is just a mess up on topologies end. But we shall see. All right, I'm interested to see what the incentives will be for this one. <laughs> what do you guys think? Yeah, Shane. So there's one, two, three, four, five more fights left, Shane. This is a long night of fights. This is a long night of fights. Never bled during three different nose breaks, damn. No, so my the first one. <laughs> the first one was my so I did like karate or um kung fu when I was a kid, Shaolin Kung Fu, but it was kind of like a mixture of kung, kung fu and Thai kickboxing. Um, because my Sifu got his black belt in Thailand from a Kung Fu and Muay Thai guy, Grandmaster. And uh, anyways, so <laughs> he was trying to teach us not to flinch by just like open palm, fist, open palm, like this. You know, just like little things like that in front of our faces to not let us flinch. 
but like he he was he was putting some power behind him. He's putting some power behind him, and I like lean forward right when he like just it just worked out perfectly. And I was young, right? So I had like a little frail nose, and he got me right in the nose, and yeah, it, it was broken. It was broke, but it was not bad. It was not bad. Um, it, I forget if it was Sifu or if it was it one of like the like one of the brown belts or whatever who was helping. But anyways, got me in the nose there. Uh, second was. Um, my first fight in school where I mean in Canada and you know in Minnesota and Michigan is probably the same even New York like if you got a, if you got a local rink around you a lot of times like in high school and even in elementary school and this happened in elementary school um, you go to like the ice rink for like your PE or whatever and you go and you skate around and whatever so you know Got in a fight there on the ice. It's as Canadian as it gets. No hockey gear though, and uh, got pushed to the ground and head slammed right into the ice. And so nose went right into the ice, completely shattered. That was the worst one. That was the worst one. Shane's down four in the beer bets. Uh, gonna log off for a bit. Have to get some stuff done, but we'll try and come back before the stream. And sounds good, buddy. Sounds good. Thank you so much for stopping by. Easy Sue or Easy Sue. Uh, Gagan is my coach. Got a gun for him. Let's go, Winter Drake. <laughs> what did your parents do? Because you'd be pissed about a kid that that happened. Yeah, but we like sparred quite a bit and stuff. And I don't know. I mean, put it this way. It wasn't like year one that I was that I was with him. I was like at that school the whole time I was doing um stuff. I mean, I'm sure they weren't happy, but. It wasn't it wasn't the first like <laughs> injury, not necessarily from him, but just like sparring other, you know, because I did point fighting competitions a lot. So I mean looking back on it, yeah, sure, it's kind of fucked up, but like I don't know. It built it built character. I'm sure he got it worse in Thailand from the Grandmasters. So <laughs> Oh damn, this Mexican Lopez and Costa uh in his team. He might not be a bum. Caleb Moctezuma is decent on his feet, but spends a lot of time on his back. Okay. Uh-oh. So we're going to see another one of those. All right. Let's take a look at these guys in the live chat. Gagan Gill, 5-2 and two as a pro in mixed martial arts. Three KOTKO, two submissions, zero decisions. Uh, beat a 5-4 and four guy, TKO, or KOTKO in the first round. Beat a 2-2 two and two guy. Beat a doctor stopper after the second round. Lost to John. Win. 3-2. <laughs> and two. Um, be to zero and one guy, be three and two. Oh, went eight and two on the amateur scene. Okay, you know what? This guy's got experience, bro. This guy's got experience. He's an instructor, he's our boys' instructor, Winter Drake. That's his coach. He's going up against a 10 and four Mexican, 28 years of age, like activate ace. He's got some good cornermen here, and he's five and oh in his last five fights. Four KOTKO, one submission, five decisions. He's fought in, oh shit, JFL. Fighting League and Extreme Fighting Mexico. Beat a five and six guy, 11 and five, five, eight, two, one. Okay, so he hasn't beaten the best competition. But he's got a lot of experience. He has a win over a nine and one guy, mind you, split decision. Beat a uh, eight and five guy. Damn, son. Hmm. Shane, I'm sticking with the Canadian on this one. This might be if this might be easy money for you, Shane. This might be easy money for you. But uh yeah, I'm going with Gagan Gill. Let's go. Is it Gajon or Gagon? Whatever. I'm going with him. Gotta be decent training in Diego Lopez's gym. No, that's true. This is I imagine he's the favorite. I imagine he's the favorite. I looked at this fight and was thinking of taking Gil in a parlay, but he's too reckless. He's entertaining, though. This should be a fun fight. This should be a fun fight. Mm -mm -mm. So, yeah, four more fights after this one, ladies and gentlemen. All right, Shane's got Moktenzuma. Locking it in. Shane, how cool is this? 
that it's in your backyard. It's just a hop, skip, and a swim over the Salish Strait. Yeah, you, you, Kyle, and Colby, you got to hit up an event. Gil is like minus 210. Really? Oh, my goodness. Gagan. Uh, 28 years old. Okay, they're both 28. So they're all they're both uh, relatively young. All right, so yeah, he's fought in the BFL quite a bit. So let's let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's freaking go. All right, round one coming up here in just a moment. Both of them have a lot of grit. That's right, they have a lot of grit. 95 grit percentage, whatever the fuck that means for Gag and Gil. <laughs> 90% for Caleb Moctezuma. What does that even mean? That is the question. What does that even mean? He's got the Indian flag on screen. Smart, easy way to UFC. They've been scouting Indian fighters. I was thinking the same thing, but that guy on Fury is really good. I forget his name off the top of my head, but he was not on the last Fury card, not the Challenger series, but the Fury 75, I think. Yeah, uh, Vancouver, there's a large Asian and East Indian population. Shoot, even Persian. Some of the best Persian restaurants in Canada are in Vancouver. Got that extra 5% grit, baby. <laughs> the Bular uh, is from Vancouver. If he can get a six and two record going, I mean, that's what I'm saying. He, he'll definitely be pushed into contender series <laughs> or road to UFC as a Canadian, I mean, Indian fighter. Yeah, I know who you mean. The guy with the jujitsu background, he had fights with Dylan Dennis. I saw, I saw his record. Yes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, round one is upon us here again. Smash that like button if you haven't already. Thanks for staying up with us. It's it's getting late, man. Almost midnight out east. Shoot, even out west, I mean, usually everyone's like washing the dishes, getting ready, getting ready for work. Uh, getting prepared for the next work day. Instead, we're watching fights this Thursday night, so appreciate you guys for joining. All right, four minutes and 41 seconds on the clock. Outside low kick by Moctezuma. Inside low kick by Gil. Gil with the body kick. Oh, and a nice counter left by Moctezuma. Nice left hook by Gil. All right, they're throwing hands. They're throwing hands. Outside low kick by Moctezuma. Oh, nice body kick. By Gil, a nice counter right by Moctezuma. Kind of looks like Polly, the ex-boxer, an ex-BKFC guy who does Pro Box TV commentary. Yes, he does look like him. Another body kick by Gil, but he gets rocked by a left by Moctezuma. Outside low kick by Gil. Gil with the high guard there blocks both those Moctezuma shots. But Moctezuma is that counter left, man. If that cracks him, that's going to hurt him. Gil with the right to the body. Gil with the left hook. Gil eats a left jab. Gil switching up his stances here. But yeah, Moctezuma's boxing is, is beautiful, ladies and gentlemen. Gil's continuing to stalk him down here. Nice straight left jab by Gil, but... Moctezuma in the pocket. He's just quicker. He's just quicker with his combos. Three minutes and 12 seconds this is a good fight. Moctezuma is a nice tight guard. Gil is a little bit more reckless in, in dropping his hands here. Oh, I like Moctezuma. Oh, oh, Gil's knocked out. Gil's knocked out. Gil's knocked out. Moctezuma lands that left hook clean. What did I say? What did I say? What did I say? He 
oh my goodness. I just said like um, not even a minute before that if he lands with one of those big shots clean, he's going to hurt him and boom, knocks him clean the fuck out. I'm sorry, Winter Drake. I'm sorry that you had to see your coach go down like that. I didn't mean to over-celebrate, to be disrespectful, but man. Dana, I'm watching on UFC Fight Pass. What a knockout. These boys got interesting going to the ground. Deleted. Yeah, that left hook, man. Right on the button. Right on the freaking button. That guy's all aggressive, no defense. Moctezuma got to go down to featherweight. Dude, he's got some good power. Mexico needed one, I guess. And their best representative joined here. And, and honestly, it was a fun fight while it lasted. Gag and Gil, I hope you come back strong, brother. Because you are fun to watch, as Activate A said. But Caleb Moctezuma, man. 28 years of age. 11 and 4. Shit. I mean, Dana White might be looking at him to go in contender series soon. I meant no interest in going to the ground. And then, booyah. Dude, that left hook was beautiful. Good win, Shane. Shane's going to come back and win the beer bet. He wasn't part of the other Mexican team. He's actually a decent team. So there you go. The lone wolf. The lone fucking wolf wins one for Mexico. Let's go. Let's go. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. That's what I want to see. I'm getting pumped here. I'm getting pumped here. My whole house went to bed. So sorry that I'm talking quiet here, but it's a Thursday. It's not a weekend. <laughs> All right, uh, Zangane is coming up. Oh, this one might go the distance. <laughs> this one might go the distance. That was such a good knockout. Wow. That was such a good knockout. There have been some good knockouts here on this card. Again, on the amateur side, on the prelims, and now in the pro fights in the main card. Folded him. Folded him like your fucking lawn chair on any of the 11,000 lakes in Minnesota. Or next to any of those <laughs> beautiful lakes on the beach in Minnesota. Or on your dock. He folded him like a chair, okay? God damn it. Got a slam KO yet last time. Yes, I have actually. I We made a video about it. He made one of our regional um, finishes. Let me see if I can find it and I'll share it with you guys. So yeah, we will uh, we will highlight the fighters here next. Let's see if I can find that video though. I'm pretty sure it's this one. Yeah, he made a regional uh, regional knockouts of the week. Yeah, here it is. Here it is. Which we'll start getting that going again. Uh, Arriba. Let's go. Javier Cintoro de Mexico. Let's go. Let's go. Maybe he's the one to get Mexico's second win tonight. All right. Let's highlight these fighters, ladies and gentlemen. And don't forget to let me know what the incentive is. I'm, I'm taking note of all the incentives because that's a funny... That's a funny... Uh, that's a funny thing to note. Anyways. We have Navid. I have a cousin named Navid. Zangane. Three and one as a pro. Only 27 years of age. He's a he's a big wrestler. Right? He's a big wrestler. Doesn't really have the hands. Although I'm rooting for my Persian BC brother. I don't know if his striking is... Couldn't improve to the level where he can stand toe to toe. Oh, I guess his name's Jose Centor with Jose Centor. Sorry for calling him Javier. 
Um, but the cheetah, Navid Zangane, three and one, like I said. Beat a four and three guy slammed his ass. Rampage. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Someone's going to clip that one. Um, absolutely destroyed him as his opponent was going for a buggy choke and then going for an arm bar. He got the slam knockout Rampage Jackson style. Uh, then beat a one or beat a one and one guy before that lost to a seven five freaking Xavier Nash for split decision. Won his first fight against a zero and two guy via rear naked choke. And Jose Centora, as it says on the BKFC, BKFC on the BFL broadcast, three and O oh as a pro. And again, we highlighted these earlier because I thought this was actually going to be the opening fight of the main card, but I was wrong. Um, won his last fight via Kamara. Fight before that via elbows. I imagine on the ground. It, it doesn't specify, but if it was on the feet, that's even more badass. And then also arm bar in the first round. So three pro fights, three finishes. That That's more than you can say about Navid Zangane. So I'm going with Centora. I think Mexico is going to get another one here. As much as I'm rooting for um, Zangane, Centora is in good shape as well, and I think he's going to take this. No, he's not. He hasn't, Chantel. He hasn't. He's another guy with a wrestling background. Yep. He looks in good shape, the Mexican. But he's on the loser team. But yes, Chantel, no. He, uh, he'll he fight in two more fights. All right. Fighters are now being announced in the cage. Oh, actually, sorry. Navid's making his walkout now. The Mexican fighter, uh, Jose Centaur, just entered the cage. All right, I'm just going to update the ticker in the bottom of the screen. Guys, don't forget to vote in the poll question if you haven't already. Yeah, not yet, not yet. Yeah, big freaking wrestler for the division is uh, Zangane. But has his striking improved? That's my question. Because if his striking improves and, and say he finds that technique to be able to land a big strike, I mean, he has power, but we just haven't seen it. We haven't seen him throw hands and anybody who he's tried to throw with is way better than him and he immediately resorts to just trying to wrestle them. All right, let me know who you are picking, ladies and gentlemen. I think Shane picked Zangane earlier. Where are we at with the beer bets now, Shane? I, sh I should know. I should be taking note of that, not these crazy incentives. What Zongane is? Uh, slam KO in the first minute, 1000 bucks. Is that his incentive? <laughs> these incentives are crazy, man. Um, four suplex incentive. Um, the bonus, which is you get a title shot, you finish one guy in 45 seconds. Jeez. Shane's down three, so you're really hoping Zangane gets the win here. Shane, four more fights. Four more fights. You could you could definitely come back here. Three more after this, but four more fights, including this one. Zangane is the huge favorite at minus 580. Are you kidding me? And Zangane's got a 95% grit rate, guys. I keep saying grit rate over anything else they have here because it's just hilarious. What the fuck is grit percentage? Sorry, not grit rate, grit percentage. What is grit percentage? <laughs> it makes no sense. All right, fighters are being announced now in the cage. Iran versus Mexico. Usually you see them matchups in soccer, not in the cage, but here we are. In Canada, no less. Oh my goodness, the announcer, the announcer's pissed. The announcer's pissed. The mic's not working. The announcer's not happy. Dude, the announcer's like, what the fuck? Oh my goodness. The mic died, dude. The mic died. I've been working on the equation all night. Nothing. <laughs> Chad, I know. What is this? They didn't even reply on Twitter. Okay, the, the mic's working now. 
Lopez Ortiz is a snooze fest. Damn, there was a the two Mexican fighters, Acosta was fighting early. That was a good fight, that eight rounder. Shane, well, your fighter's the huge favorite on this one in Zanganu. Oh, as I said, that Ortiz big flurry. Like I said, guys, fighters are being announced. Now that the mic is working in the cage, sound tech forgot to check the mic batteries. <laughs> okay, finish within 20 seconds of round one. What the hell? $1,000 if he finishes in 25 seconds. That's hilarious. Dude, this is hilarious. And, and honestly, I, I have now incentive to watch more BFL to take note of all these crazy incentives. Hopefully Lopez loses. He, uh, he beat my favorite boxer. David looks a rainy and giga chad. Yep. I think Theo took round one though. Three, even though neither really did anything, but Ortiz took round four. Yeah, that's unrealistic as fuck. <laughs> For a wrestler. All right, round one, ladies and gentlemen. Again, smash that like button if you haven't already. We're trying to get to 15 likes on the video. Centaur, though, he's he's bigger than him. Centaur with the left jab. And the 25 seconds is about... Oh, my goodness. No joke. Zongane... I don't know if it was a slip or if Zongane landed a left hook, but could you imagine if he got... That was literally, like, almost at the 25-second mark. Oh! Centaur with the high kick. Centaur with the high kick just drops Zangane. Zangane's hurt. Full mount for Centaur. Full mount for Centaur. Dude, Zangane looked like he was out there. Centaur looked for the rear naked choke. Oh my goodness. Zangane just got tagged with a head kick. And then when Centaur was in full mount, was landing huge shots. He was knocked out there for a bit. One minute into this fight. This is crazy. This is absolutely insane. Now Zongane is in the top position. Centaur maybe looking for an arm bar here. Zongane now. Controlling the side, but Centaur is scrambling. This is absolutely insane. Zongane with a big right hand. Zongane with some big shots. Zongane's in the top position. Zongane's lands some big ground and pound here. Zongane landing huge ground and pound as he's controlling the torso with that right hand. Oh my goodness. I mean, he was literally knocked out. I swear to God, ladies and gentlemen, he was literally knocked out 30 seconds ago. Or sorry, a minute 30 ago. And now Centaur is getting absolutely thrown around on the ground. He's back on the feet. Zongane just drags him back to the ground. This is insane. Side control for Zongane, or uh, sorry, half guard for Zongane right now. But they are kind of tangled in the corner of the cage. Full mount. Zongane has full mount. Zongane has full mount. Zongane laying some big shots here. Centaur was able to cover up a few of those, but still in the full mount. Good job by Centaur for rolling. He rolls and scrambles out of that, but only into his guard. Nice right hand by Zongane as he re-enters the top position here. Again, Zongane was knocked out earlier in this round, and it wasn't even because he took a freaking kick to the face. It was when Centaur was landing ground and pound. Man, 2 minutes and 13 seconds on the clock in this first round. Just seeing the replay on that head kick. Dude, that's not what even knocked him out. It was some of the shots on the ground by Centaur that knocked him out, dude. He was out for a second. He, you could see. He was like, oh, this fight's still going on. Got to get in the top position. And he's still in mount here looking for the arm triangle choke. Zongane's looking for the arm triangle choke. And he taps Zongane. gets the submission. Zongane gets the submission. Ah. What is that? <laughs> 
Oh my god, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? What a win, ladies and gentlemen. I don't care if he was the massive favorite, okay? Centaur is no joke. What a win. Great mental. What a win. Snatch the victory from the jaws of defeat. Dude, he was knocked out. He was out in that first round. You've got to be kidding me, man. This has been an awesome BFL card. What a comeback. This guy gets the most ugly wins. You know what? You ain't wrong. That was some old school fucking UFC shit. Let's look at the head kick again here. Oh. All right, so it was the foot that hit the jaw. It wasn't straight up the shin here, but... Dude, when he was laying down ground and pound, chasing the finish... Dude, Zongane was out, bro. Damn, what a fun first round, guys. That was crazy. Good win by Zongane and Shane. <laughs> Emotional Fuck, damage. Shane's coming back in the beer bet. Wow. Hey, the mic's working this time. All right, we have three title fights, ladies and gentlemen, next. That is right, three title fights in a row. We'd be spoiled here, ladies and gentlemen. We're spoiled here tonight. Great amateur fights, great pre prelims, and a great main card here, BFL 79. First of three title fights, bantamweight championship strap up for grabs here at Battlefield's Fight League in Vancouver, British Columbia. Ali Wasuk, 7-3 and three as a pro, going up against a 9-6 and six Tyler Wilson. But Tyler Wilson, 3-2 and two in his last five, and he's on a three-fight win streak. Also 3-2 and two in his last five is Ali Wasik, but um, he won two in a row, lost one. He did lose, or he did win his last one, though. So they each coming off a win, but three-fight win streak for Tyler. Ontario versus BC. Coquitlam versus Kingston. You know I have to root for BC, man. You know I have to root for BC. Ali Wasik again, 7-3. and three. Looks like he won their amateur belt. Loser team, loser shock. 0-6 and six and 1-0 and oh for the Lopez team. For the Mexicans. I bet on Ali. Let's go. Uh, he's, he doesn't have any KOTKOs. He's got three submissions and four decision victories. 7-3 and three in BFL. He's been in the promotion since 2019. He last beat an 8-6 and six guy. He also lost to Surrey City. Again, no shame in that. Beat Mitch Drizella. Beat Yalchin. Three and one guy, whatever. <laughs> he lost to Surrey City back in 2021 as well. Was on a four fight win streak before that. Three and three, five and three, one and three guy. I mean, he's a good regional guy. He's a good regional guy. He beat Mitch Giselle also on the amateur scene where he went seven and three. Uh, his opponent, Tyler Wilson. 31 years of age out of Kingston. Where, where did he fight before this? Where did he fight before? <laughs> he trained at TriStar. Oh, that's not his primary gym. Three KOTK of four submissions, two decisions. Never been knocked out. Okay, so he's so he fought in TKO when they were still around, and he's been fighting in BTC ever since. He had he did have one fight in LFA, but he did lose that fight. Beat a 7-5, 3-4, and, and 3-2 and and in his last three before then, a lot of canceled fights. Four fight losing streak in LFA, XMMA, BTC. Leagues he probably should have gotten wins in, but he does have some decent wins in Fighting Alliance. He beat a he beat an Ov who was four and two, another four and two guy. Oh, an eight and three on the amateur scene. He went two, four, six, seven fight win streak. I'm I'm going Ali Wasik. I'm going Ali Wasik. Locking it in. 
92. I mean, this doesn't mean anything. Let's be perfectly honest. They're whack. They're whack. All right, guys. Let me know your predictions in the live chat as well. Do, 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 do. We got Ali Wasik next. Uh, sorry, yeah, no, I don't because it's it's such a low promote, like low end promotion. None of the none of the links, quote unquote, uh, broadcast it. Shane's got Wasik. Dude would have been a champ if it wasn't for Surrey City. It's true. Rematch title, I'm sure that was. Well, I was like some nice highlight subs. I put a nickel on them. First five rounds of the night. Two-time BFL champion. But what is their grip percentage? Oh, we'll find out. We'll find out soon here, buddy, when the tail of the tape comes up. Wasik is now making his way to the cage. <laughs> TriStar Vancouver, that means nothing, dude. That ain't, that ain't the real TriStar. Oh, his one of his inspirations was GSP. No, a can really a Canadian fighter's uh, hero's GSP. Uh, Tyler bonus the Superman punch finish for 4K. By the way, no way. Okay, I'm writing that down. That dude, this is hilarious. Like, who suggests this shit? Like, I have so many questions. Superman punch in any round, 1K bonus. That is so... I love this shit. Honestly, the, BFL has climbed the ladder as one of my favorite regionals because of this particular game, which is pay attention to the bonuses. Honestly, I should we should rate them at like the end of every show that we do for BFL because this is hilarious, man. I'm going Wasik. So we got 20 seconds victory round one for Zangane. $1,000. Tyler Wilson, Superman Punch. Uh, Superman Punch KO, I should say, for 1000 What were some of the other ones? Four Suplex. And you get the title shot if you win this fight. Not sure if anyone got this, and if they do, does Confetti come up? I'm not sure. I haven't. I don't recall seeing anyone get these bonuses in BFL, or else I'd be honestly, or else I would have known about it. But now, like my my eyes are wide open, my glasses lens are are polished and clean. Hey, let me know in the uh, in the poll question: Is it the best regional in Canada? I think it's up there, and personally, I think it's surpassed Unified MMA. Unified every now has a great show with a ton of knockouts, but tonight, as you know, tonight's been good. Tonight's been really good for this promotion. We have the title fights next, so let's see if these can deliver. But so far, so good, man. I think it's better than Unified. That is who I officially voted for in the poll question. Ali finishes my three leg parlay. Let's go, activate it. Let's go. Unified was the only other I watched, and I like that too. Yeah, so Unified and BFL are the top tier ones. Wasik, by the way, the minus 140 favorite, and he only 88% grit. Only 88 grit percentage compared to Ty Wilson's 86 grit percentage. <laughs> what the fuck does that even mean, dude? It looks horrible. They done him dirty. I mean, I'm not one to body shame here, but bro, I mean, you're all hunched over. I mean, don't have a pump on at all. Jeez. Some mediocre grit right there. <laughs> Weird stats. Right? What the fuck is grit percentage? And how do they measure? I even tweeted BFL's uh, Twitter account. I was like, how do you guys measure freaking grip percentage? Hey, Kyle, thank you for uh, adding me on Twitter, buddy. Appreciate you. If anyone wants to follow me on Twitter, um, I'm not active on Instagram. 
I mean, City Life Project does have a Facebook account. So if you want to follow it there, we, we sometimes stream off the Facebook account too with big events and probably post more of like Kyle's music content just on Facebook. But I am totally interactive on Twitter. So hit me up there. Sorry, I'm talking a little quieter. My whole house went to bed. We've been streaming for four and a half hours. I'm just, I'm fading too. I'm tired, admittedly. Coffee's keeping me going. Excited for ACA tomorrow morning, though. We'll set up that stream before bed and, you know, bright and early tomorrow we'll be uh, streaming some crazy-ass Russian MMA, which you can follow along for free as well as they stream it on their website for free. Mm -mm -mm, mm -mm -mm. All right, Ali Wasik being introduced in the center of the cage. Again, this is for the title, ladies and gentlemen. Three title fights at the end of this card. First BFL card of 2024, BFL 79. Is this Tyler Wilson or Nick Diaz? Or sorry, Nate Diaz. They got the same body right now. <laughs> no, we're not streaming Power Slap. Rigo will probably stream Power Slap. Put me on record. Ali by Buggy Choke. I'll definitely be watching. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Appreciate you, Strainy. Oh, right hand by Wilson as he enters the guard of Wasik. Is Wasik already, <laughs> already pulling guard? Four minutes and 41 seconds on the clock, guys. Can can Wilson survive the ground game of Wasik? I don't think so. I don't think so. It's already tying him up here as Wasuk. There's the incentive. Superman punch for Tyler Wilson. Still in the full guard of Ali Wasuk here. Hammerlock sub? So Ali Wasuk finishes a hammerlock sub for two grand. For two grand. What the fuck? <laughs> you see that one activity? Still in the full guard of Ali Wasik is Tyler Wilson. I've never heard of that. So it's a made up sub that doesn't exist, so we can never get the money. This is hilarious. Like, I think this is incredible marketing, to be perfectly honest. Hemlock's a key lock. Yeah, I think so. I'm... All right, they're right they're back up on their feet. If so, that might be a little too easy for him. All right, back on their feet. Three minutes and 11 seconds on the clock. Uh, yeah, it's it's a an arm-wrenching hammer lock. Yeah, it's kind of like a Kimura. Two minutes and 58 seconds. They're on their feet still. Center of the ring. Ooh, a nice right hand by Ali Wasik. Yo, what's up, Wolf Chief? Good to see you, buddy. Two minutes and 44 seconds on the clock. Good to see you, man. Hope you're having a good evening. Wilson randomly looking decent. Outside low kick by Wilson. Yeah, Wilson's stand-up's actually not too bad. Bend their arm behind their back. Eagles hammer locks. Two minutes and 19 seconds on the clock. It's like someone's alarm's going off in, uh, in the arena here. Two minutes on the clock and Wilson utilizing that left jab. Ortiz Lopez fight is pretty close. Neither guy doing anything. Tio will probably sweep scorecards, but it could also see Ortiz winning if he does well the last few rounds. Nice, Mikey P. Yeah, there were some good prelim fights on that card. Ooh, trying to load up that right hand was Wasik. Swing and a miss. Outside, outside low kick by Wasik. Double left jab. Neither of the jabs 
landed, but ending the combo with a low kick was Wilson. Wilson goes for the low kick again, and Wasik tries to make him pay for that one. Mine's still working. Mine's still working. I just turned my volume up and down to see if the alarm was coming from my stream. Yeah, it's it's coming through everyone's stream. I thought it was maybe my friggin' smoke detector at first, too. Ooh, a nice counter right by Wilson. Dude, Wilson looks good on the feet. Okay, it looks like it finally stopped. Oh, we'll just start it up again. What the fuck is it? A fucking fire alarm? Are you kidding me, Canada? Too many people are smoking weed probably in the arena. At the event center, sorry. Everyone's getting high. 28 seconds on the clock. Calm, cool, collected is Wilson. Not rushing anything here as he's looking while well, he's fighting for the title. Four fight win streak, winning a title. Hey. Pretty good small goal to set. And a 10 and 6 record. I mean, shh, get into that double digits and wins, baby. Left jab inside low kick. Yeah, Wilson likes that. Sometimes doing that double left as well. I guess Wilson takes round one. Yeah, round one comes to a close, and uh, I would agree. I would agree. Dude, I know. What the fuck? I feel like it wasn't there before, eh? Now Wasik took that. I just don't think he landed enough strikes. Oh. Oh my god, what the fuck is that alarm? Do you spend half the fight showboating because he's upset? Ortiz is on his bike. <laughs> I wonder why the broadcast hasn't even like apologized for that. You gotta imagine like in the freaking um, event center right now. That's annoying as shit. It's a fire alarm, that's crazy. Must be horrible for the fighters. Dude, absolutely. Absolutely. Four minutes and 58 seconds on the clock here, round two. <laughs> Again, someone probably smoking up in the event center. Right? Inside load kick by Wasik. I just want Wilson to spam a Superman punch here. I want to see a bonus get given out. Nice kick by Wasik. Now Wilson, <laughs> making sure he checks those. Light on that feet with his lead left leg. It's BC, so probably. Out of autistic sensory overload, try and... Uh, to fight with that alarm going off. <laughs> Gotta take the activity. What activity? Three minutes and 56 seconds on the clock here. Some feints by both these guys. Come on, boys. We just don't want to see dancing for five rounds. Ooh, Wasik looking to try to load up a big right. When is the steel toe boot of MMA league started? <laughs> Outside leg kick again by Wasuk. And looking to clinch now is Wilson. Wasuk shakes him right off. She was saying, I was literally typing a message saying someone was smoking some herb, but you beat me to it. <laughs> hey, Shane, two BC boys think alike. Two minutes and 53 seconds on the clock. Wilson submitted a bad picture, so opponents <laughs> underestimate him. Wasik just really trying to set up that overhand right. 
Five fans are like, fuck the alarm. Fire personnel are like, evacuate the building. Exactly that. <laughs> Wilson is clearly losing. Wilson with the inside low kick. Come on, boys, scrap. Never heard of BFL. Oh, it's a it's it's a pro, but it's it's regional. And there are amateur fights on on the card as well. Low kick again by Wilson. One minute fifty two seconds. They're both just fighting way too conservative here. And Wasik finally getting the takedown. Yeah, so it's a, it's a British Columbia, Canada promotion. Um, as you can see in our poll question, those are the four big, well, the, those are the only really four notable regional shows in Canada that are currently active right now. And Unified MMA and BFL are kind of on the same level. And then the other two are kind of just a, a notch below, but uh, it's been it's been a pretty good night of fights so far. I would say there've been there've been worse BFL cards for sure, and this one's actually this one's actually interesting. This fight can this fight sucks so far, but overall it's been good, dude. They gotta they gotta get that shit together. I've got no bones on this. Me neither. Wilson has hardly landed five strikes and got one takedown with no damage. They legit got no one fixing it yet. Dude, someone just rip it off at this point. Oh, a nice takedown there by Wasik, but oh, Wilson right back up to his feet, lands a nice knee in the clinch. Probably on the roof. We'll get a ladder or something. This is an event center. They should have one handy. They just set up a freaking cage in the middle of the center. Yeah, it's probably up high as fuck. No, that's true. It's probably easier said than done to rip that sucker off. I get it. I'm telling you, though, if I was like five beers deep at that event right now, I'd be climbing up there. Mikey P. Oh, fighting words, fighting words. All right, we go to our third, but not, but unfortunately not our final round here in this title fight. Man, coming off some good scraps on this card. I, I really want to, I really want to see more from both these guys. Oh, did it stop? Get Kiesa up there, but he's always injured anyways. No way we got five rounds. I hope not. Finally stopped the noise. Wilson with the Superman punch. That that's all I'm asking for. That's all I'm asking for. Oh, they finally fixed the sound. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. All right, third round coming up here, ladies and gentlemen. Wilson looks so Canadian. Uh, his incentive is to get a KO by Superman for real. Yeah, if Wilson gets a Superman KO, he gets a thousand bucks. Let's get it. Round three. And Wasuk's is if he gets a hammerlock submission, he gets two thousand bucks. Uh, com commentator saying that Ty Tyler had a tough weight cut. He's probably going to fade late. Keeps spamming that double left hook and leg kick. Doesn't land, or uh, sorry, double left jab and leg kick. Doesn't land any of the jabs, but the leg kicks have been connecting. Looking for the takedown is Wasik, and he gets it. Wilson trying to get back up to his feet. Right foot planted, left knee planted. Wasik has a right hook and looking to get the back of Wilson. Come on. Finish him. Finish him, finish him Wasuk. I'm getting tired. It's past midnight Eastern on a freaking weekday. Uh, 
I've seen children with better takedown defense than Wilson. Ben Askren had a nice hammerlock video less than two minutes. He shaved his head to make weight, apparently. Jeez. Or right, back take. Back take here by Wasik. Back take here by Wasik. He gets the double hooks in. He's got the double hooks in. He's looking for the rear naked choke. Soften him up a little bit. Three minutes and 30 seconds on the clock. Three minutes and 30 seconds on the clock, ladies and gentlemen. Wasik with the double hooks in. After the map, back to the cage. Body triangle not secured. But a good job by Wasik for getting his back to the mat here, not the cage. So he can actually pull back here, but just has the double hooks in. No body triangle yet. Looking to get under the neck here. He's got so much time to work. Oh, I can't see if this is under the neck, but this might be tight. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. Wasik's got the choke. Wilson taps, Wilson taps, and that is it, ladies and gentlemen. That is it. Ali Wasuk. Ali Wasuk for the BFL Bantamweight Championship. I think that's who's back. I don't get two more rounds of it, so that is the real reason I'm cheering. Let's freaking go. It's over. I think Shinoyuki is the only fighter to win by Hammerlock in MMA. 3D parlay cash. Let's go. That was easy peasy rear, na rear naked choke squeezy. Current odds minus 160. Lopez plus 140. Ortiz. Damn. First of three title shots, ladies and gentlemen. We have two more fights left on this card. And again here, this is 165, super lightweight championship. So they have between 155 and 170. They uh, Between welterweight and lightweight, they have a super lightweight division here in BFL. It's actually going to be a good fight. 5-0 guy from Nova Unu against a Rufus Sport guy um, from the States. So this is the only matchup where there's not a Canadian. 10 and 2 Scotty Stockman against Brazilian Rodrigo uh, Sen Senyando. And no BFL Bantamweight champion. We have Ali Wasuk, who's now 8 and 3 as a pro. I'll come down to the judges. Legend, absolutely. I'm down two, so I have to go opposite view for these last two. Big right by Ortiz. They need to add more weight classes in the UFC. Yeah, even like, I think Adam weighted the women would make for some more exciting fights too. I got the Brazilian guy here. Damn, the boxing's that close. Tio has looked horrible, but partly because Ortiz has been moving great. He sounds just like Benil. <laughs> he does. Oh my god. Dude, he sounds so much like him. That is hilarious. All right. Just updating the ticker on the bottom of the screen. We'll highlight the next fighters here in just a moment. Just a little higher pitch. Yep. Saying he wants a big name, I deserve it. Yes, more weight classes are needed. Pretty lame fight in general, absolutely. Oh, sorry, there are way too many close rounds. Um, I can see it go either way, but it's boxing, so normally you'd have to imagine Lopez will win convincingly judges' scorecards. A pretty boring fight in general. The Brazilian was like minus 120, and the American is minus 105. Close odds. He sounds like a cross between Benil Darius and Danny Sabatello. All right, ladies and gentlemen, like I said, co-main event of the evening. Let's freaking go. 
Let's freaking go out of Medford, Oregon. We have Scotty Stock, man, 10 and 2 as a pro. Five and on his last five fights. Nine knockouts, one decision. Let's freaking go. Let's freaking go, dude. This fight is going to be a quick one. Zero and one in the PFL, four and oh in Primal Fighting Championship. Be the 22 and 29 guy. Oof. Be the 14 and 36 guy. Bear River FC. What the fuck is Bear River FC, dude? What the fuck? 1850. Who are these guys that he's beating, though? What the hell? If these ain't cans, I, I don't know what, what are, ladies and gentlemen. 22 and 25. Zero and two. Four and three. That might be his best win. It is his best win. What the heck is this record? Went five and one on the amateur scene. Dude, this is such a weird record. Look at these guys who he's been beating up. He's been beating up old men. Sorry, Scotty Stockman, but still. All right. Rodrigo Cincinnato. Five and one as a pro. Four and one in his last five fights. He's out of a good gym in Brazil. Two KO, two KO, two submissions, one decision. He's been fighting in Chuto, Brazil, which is a way better promotion than Scotty Stockman. Despite you know, Scotty Stockman had one PFL fight, it's not like he was a PFL fighter. Was facing guys of that level over and over again. Um, one in his last PFL fight, we beat a four and O guy. He yeah, lost to a ten and two guy and Chuto beat a five and one. Oh yeah, I'm going with the Brazilian too, man. Sorry, Scotty. Scotty doesn't know, man. He doesn't know what he's up against here. Scotty doesn't know that the Brazilian's going to choke him out in this fight. Shout out Eurotrip. I took a shot on the American. I really like his PFL fight. Give him Cody Garbrandt and see if he's UFC ready. $1,000 for a spinning back fist. No joke. That is Scotty Stockman's incentive. All right. I, actually, I really hope he gets the spinning back fist. $1,000 for Scotty Stockman if he gets the spinning back fist. Um, the one's more of a shot in the slight dog. Commentators gave it a draw for Lopez Ortiz fight. Grappler, boxer versus jujitsu scrapper. You should have how many more fights to go? Two more, including this one. Most exciting moment was the headbutt and Lopez failing or falling by the slip. Damn. I'll have to watch the fight after this. He's better than his record says. Okay. The Brazilian guy is real. I went for the American as well. Walking in. Rodrigo sends Inando lost to a guy whose nickname is Bean. Can't bet on that. <laughs> fair enough, buddy. Fair enough. Um, what the heck is Rodrigo's incentive here? I imagine it's some sort of submission. That's just so funny. The BFL has incentives. Cash incentives, man. Dana White, old school UFC style. He's got that spinning back fist KO in his last second one. Oh, shit. Well, honestly, again, even though Rodrigo Cincinnato is my pick, I kind of, I really want to see one of these. I want to see some straight cash, homie. 1K to check or to incentive to win by all oh, check submission. Yeah, they haven't, uh, they haven't shown his incentive yet. Goku Plata 1K, get the fuck out of here. Is it actually? I feel like he's got a way harder, uh, a way harder incentive. I'm not Hernan. I'm going to be doing ACA in the morning and say, guys, you got to start checking. Hernan, you got to start checking out the community tab. I post my full schedule there, buddy. Judges are sweating. Still no decision on Ortiz Lopez. Wow. Oh, commentator said it? Okay, let's go. Shane, I picked uh, Cincinnato. I picked the Brazilian. 
Dude, this shit is fucking wild, man. These incentives. Absolutely insane. He looks like a young Rodrigo Lima. He does, dude. It's crazy that Rodrigo Lima was on the Ultimate Fighter um, season that Paulo Costa was on. All right, nine, each of them have a 90 grit percentage. Each of them have 90 grit percentage, ladies and gentlemen, for, for whatever that's worth. <laughs> 90 grit percentage, I repeat. Um, Cincinnati is the slight favorite at minus 149. Stockman, plus 122. So yeah, it's close odds here. 90 grit. All right, co-main event. And again, this is a title fight for the super light heavyweight belt at 165 pounds. Five five-minute rounds if needed, ladies and gentlemen. So we haven't seen uh, the first title fight go the distance. Or we didn't see the first title fight go the distance, I should say. Damn. Eight fights of Stockman's have ended in the first round. Seven of them are victories. One of them was a loss. Fuck, this should be fun, man. This should be fun. A 10 and 2 scrappy guy crushing cans, but apparently fun to watch against Rodrigo Cincinnando. Three wins that have ended in the first round. Rodrigo struggled with the wrestler in his one loss. If he wrestles him, I think he'll take the comfortably, in my opinion, he's the better wrestler. Well, they gave it to Tio by one round. Ortiz did well, though. Out through and outlanded Lopez. Probably should have been a draw. But he had a boxing golden glove. Lopez looked horrible. Oh, damn. Oh, my God. He's from Sweet Home, Oregon. He wrestled them. I graduated from Lebanon 10 miles away. Oh, shit. That's awesome. That shit beautiful than a motherfucking... All right, guys. Round one, ladies and gentlemen, in the super lightweight title fight. It is starting now. In commentary... Play by play, reaction, and interaction with all you amazing folks in the live chat. So don't forget to vote in the poll question and smash that like button. All right, round one. Let's get it on. Get it on. Can't believe he wants Crawford. Oh, and some big shots being thrown by Stockman here. Big right hand, low kick by Cincinnato. Left in the body by Stockman. This is going to be a fun fight, guys. Swing and a miss by Cincinnato. A right hand by Stockton. Four minutes and 34 seconds on the clock. Cincinnato's look for the takedown. Stock, Stockman, good job defending the takedown. Stockton tried to throw him down to the ground himself, but now Cincinnato with the body lock and dragging Stockman to the ground. Already better fight than the last one. Absolutely. And Cincinnato with the backpack on Stockman. Backpack on Stockman. He's got the double hooks in. Boxing is still written in case anyone was wondering. I'm not surprised. I stopped watching. Damn, Crawford will crush him. Getting right now. Since Nando's, he's got the backpack on Stock Stockman. Double hooks in, but no body triangle here. Trying to fight the hands, but soften him up. Let's look for that choke, but no luck yet. That throw was a mistake. Any big names crush Tio? Three minutes and 16 seconds on the clock. I can never figure out who burns their legs more in these particular positions because they're leaning against the cage. Would it be Cincinnato? Yeah, I would say Cincinnato for sure, keeping yourself up there. But he's not squeezing hard here to keep himself up. Now he is with this lock, but 
He's landing actually some decent shots from the backpack here. Oh, man. There's actually some big right hands. It's kind of unconventional, too, because usually you're just fighting hands, little soft shots just to get them to move to get that. Oh, man, there's another big right hand, and it's, it's kind of pissing off Stockman here. Stockman's going to have to, like, shake him off somehow. <laughs> All right, Cincinnato now has the body lock to keep him up, so now he's going to be squeezing. Scotty doesn't know the Fiona and me. I don't think Scotty knows. Scotty doesn't know. Oh, look for the choke. Look for the choke. It's under the chin. It's under the chin. It's tight. Falls to the back. Dude, it's over. It's over. Cincinnato taps. He taps. Oh, oh sorry. Stock, Stockman taps. Cincinnato gets the choke. Cincinnato gets the choke. Scotty Stockman taps, dude. He, he gets he gets under the chin after softening him up with some big, big right hands. Body triangle secured on the backpack. Gets his arm underneath his chin, drags him back, falls to the mat, and he cinches the rear naked choke. And new super lightweight champion. Nice finish. He fell asleep. Let's go. It is over. Damn. Rodrigo de Lima, congratulations. <laughs> wow. Good choke, man. Good choke. It's not a go-go plata, but he'll take the championship belt. Didn't quite go to sleep. He was able to tap. Main event of the evening next, guys. 16 fights we've watched together. Five hours for BFL. I think this is the longest BFL stream we've ever done. It definitely is one of the biggest BFL cards we've ever done. I'm just seeing how long some of our other BFL City live streams were. What a great win from the Canadian Brazilian. All right. Yeah, so the last BFL event we did, we only streamed two hours and 36 minutes. Four hours was BFL 76. BFL 75 was four hours. BFL 74 was five hours. Okay, so yeah, they were actually pretty long. This is a long card, yeah. Well, it's just because we started so like with the amateur fights on the prelim. Like if we skipped all the amateur fights, it would have been four prelims and and eight main fights or eight fights on the main card, which is that that that's a pretty good, you know, that's a pretty run of your mill fight show. But with how many amateurs was there four or five amateurs? It was a lot. I can't, dude. It's illegal. Um, I'm watching on Fight Pass. We just do commentary and sorry for talking so quiet right now. It's it's super late where I'm at. I'm out on um, <laughs> Central Time and my roommates they're sleeping and it's a it's a weekday. God damn it! And there are still two amateur fights after the main card. Oh, okay, I was wondering because yeah, it's an 18 fight card, but two of the amateurs weren't televised for some reason. So that means that. These two fights will be on post limbs. Whoops. Sorry, guys. I I'm definitely not going to be streaming those post limbs. I got to get some sleep because in eight hours, I'm streaming ACA. Somebody probably already said it, but it would be nice if the UFC had this weight class 165. Yes, yeah, someone did say and it would be cool to have super light heavyweight. I'm sorry, super lightweight. Jeez, not super light heavyweight. <laughs> That's fucking illegal. All right. Kiesa interviewing the fighter right now. It's more revenue opportunity for Dana White. Yeah, and Adam White for the women. Who cares about 135? Who cares about 145? 145 is gone anyways. One, 125, 115, 105. Those are the fun weight classes for women's MMA. 
they afraid Kevin Lee would kill everybody. I'm um, uh, sadly at 165. He, I mean, that is his weight class. All right, ladies and gentlemen, main event of the evening. And again, these five hours have just flown by. So thank you all for hanging out with us throughout this entire fight card. All right. <laughs> They're showing the cold open that we've seen about a hundred times now. I'm not going to blame them. You guys have to hear the same songs from me every time. So there you go. <laughs> but uh, we do have Maxime Susi out of Quebec City, Quebec, Canada, up against the Vancouver boy, Radley Da Silva Snake Guy, who's hey, he's three and one, but he's four and one in his last five fights. If you if you include amateur, okay. Let's take a look here. Beat a five and three guy. Beat a two and zero oh guy. Beat someone making their debut, but again, he was zero and one at that time. One amateur fight as well. His opponent out of Quebec. Two KOTK, one submission, two decisions, three and zero oh in BFL. Knockout in the second round. Knocked out Nick Roulette in the second round, and unanimous decision against a five and five guy. Fought TKO and went five and zero oh as an amateur. I bet he's the favorite. But you know what? Fuck Quebec. Tabernak. We're going Vancouver. Locking it in. All right. Do, 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 do. That's his division, as he said, since Eagle FC days. We hit 35 likes. Let's go. Thank you, guys. Thank you. That was our like goal this evening. Hey, if we can get five more and hit 40, that would be amazing. When's Trent fighting? Uh, da, 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 da. He's fighting right after this, buddy. So I don't know if he's going before Valentin, but the, the, the first two amateur fights on this card actually weren't shown and they didn't happen. So they're going to be post them. So this is the main event. After this main event, you'll have Valentin sit and Jay Alvar uh, against Alvarez. And then after that, you'll have Trent McGregor against Rafi. Lafty. I'm not sure if that's going to be on BFL's YouTube channel or if it's going to be on uh, Fight Pass, though. I got Da Silva. I got Snake Eyes on this one. The Brazilian Canadian is actually the slight favorite at minus 130. There you go. I think he's last now. There you go. What's up, uh, Panther Pigeon? I used to have a producer pigeon. Susie, 83% of the Silva. Yeah, they, they, they know nothing. They know nothing, dude. They've been whack with their predictions all night. But again, guys, join us uh, in eight hours for ACA. ACA always streams live from their website and awesome fight cards. ACA 168 is in my top three for best cards in 2023. I have no idea. I don't have the amateur odds, unfortunately. All right, I'm out. I don't care about this fight. All right, fair enough, Matt. Have a Have a great night. And uh, see you tomorrow for a full day of fights. I'm excited. I'm excited. Both for this fight to hopefully end early, which means another good finish for BFL and some sleep. What's up, uh, Mickle Pickle? Love the profile picture. Love the username. Uh, who won the Martin fight? Um... Martin who I'm just looking through the Martin who buddy mm -mm. You know, like I'm looking through him like there there's no Martin so Martin on this card Do, 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 do. Uh, Roxy, it's on UFC Fight Pass. It's on UFC Fight Pass. All right, Radley Da Silva has entered the cage, ladies and gentlemen. Maxime Susi is now making his walkout. Maxime Susi does train at TriStar, so I mean, good gym, good gym. 
Bradley's the Brazilian Canadian I grew up with. Nice. That's awesome. Well, that was my pick. That was my pick. All right, guys. Keep your eye out for their incentives. What are the incentives here in this title fight? Susie looks dialed. Susie looks freaking dialed. Which is a little dangerous. Mm -mm. All right, Susie does like to keep the fight standing, though, so. Jaden Martin. Um, yeah, yeah. Oh, Jaden Martin. Sorry, he was on this card. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Sorry about that. Totally missed that one. Dude, yeah, he he knocked Luis Guzman the fuck out, dude. Sorry about that, uh, Mickle Pickle. <laughs> A lot of fights here tonight. Yeah, dude, that was a fun fight. He knocked him the fuck out, dude. They just threw hands for about 35 seconds and he beat the shit out of him. I heard it, but it's a weird name. Some capoeira spinning back kick. I'm not sure what it is. Jeez, the incentive. Yeah, so Mikko Pickle, he had a great fight. All right, Susie plus 105. He's the slight underdog despite being the champion defending here. And Da Silva minus 130. He's the slight favorite. Eight, but Da Silva's got no grit. Grit percentage of 86, whereas Maxime Susie has a 94 grit percentage. I'm sorry. If you're from British Columbia, you automatically have more of a grip percentage than anyone from Quebec. So that is incorrect. Roxy, it's like the Netflix of, of fight leagues um, that's owned by the UFC. So it's a streaming service of all sorts of regional fight promotions from the UFC. And was that for the Brazilian? I'm going to write that down. Capoeira Spinning back kick for a thousand bucks. Uh, he may be better at everything in every way, but where's the grip, bro? Where's the grip? Exactly that. That's my boy. Right on. Good to hear. 35 seconds. Sweet. Yes, dude. Hey, tell him that the City Life Project was losing their fucking minds on the live stream, getting so pumped, and uh, that we wish them all the best, dude. If you go back and see the Brazilian walk in the octagon, you'll hear it. That's okay. I, I like the way you described it. It's some name. I like the capoeira spinning back fist or back kick. Dude, this, this, ugh, I can't stand this announcer. Because his voice isn't like naturally just like a loud, thunderous voice, right? He has to really fucking scream. And and it just sounds like he's screaming. I think they'll show it on screen here in a second. The incentives? Yeah, I hope so. The haircut alone is criminal, right? Right? I mean, that's a given. That's why I didn't even bring it up because like, obviously you look at him and you're like, what the fuck is wrong with you, sir? What is wrong with you? Your hair's ass. But anyways. I'm not going to get, I'm never going to get a commentating job for BFL because I made fun of their buddy's stupid haircut. Like, what is this shit? I'm sorry. We see these dudes like these rat finks that are like bad but i feel like this is worse wolf chief yeah i mean I'm not a fan as you can see it is whack it is whack maxim susi here shadow box in the corner here uh sizenando one kimberly a uh, rear naked choke in the third round all right guys Main event of the evening coming up next. Don't forget to smash that like button if you're new to the channel. We do live play-by-play, -play, commentary, reaction, and interaction with all you amazing folks in the live chat. We've been covering this event for five hours and 23 minutes. 
If you're wondering why I'm talking so quiet, it's because my whole household is freaking sleeping here. It's it's past midnight. <laughs> so I'm just being respectful as it's not even the weekend yet. It is still, it's, it's Thursday. Now it's officially Friday, but it's Thursday. It's a weekday, but uh, we will be back 8 a.m. or 9 a.m. Eastern for ACA if you guys want to join us then. Oh, it was in the first round? Damn, well, there you go. Like I said, I'm fading here. I'm tired. Um. Yeah, sorry, you're right. Rina, whoops, Rina could choke in the first round. But yeah, because he got the back. For some reason, I thought it went longer than that. But yeah, first round. I don't even know why I thought it went longer than that. First round, got the backpack early and was, yeah, cinching in that choke. My bad, my bad. Emotional damage. All right, already looking for the takedown is Da Silva, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, a nice takedown by Da Silva. Pushing his right knee on the torso of Susie here. Looked like he was trying to pass into mount, but good job scrambling by Susie on the bottom position. Question mark kick for a grand. That's crazy. What is this, the video game? Three minutes and 39 seconds. I mean, it is developed in Vancouver. Shout out EA Sports. They put as much effort into it as they do the new NHL games. Smash pass. I think that has a different meaning, sir. Three minutes and 21 seconds on the clock. Susie just controlling the shoulder here of De Silva. De Silva's trying to pass into Mounties in side control. I mean, good defense by Susie not allowing De Silva to pass into full mount. But that's the plan here by Susie. He's in side control on the right side of Susie, and he's trying to get into mount. Knee again on the torso of Susie. Let's see if he can get this position. Still can't get it. He's not landing any strikes at all. He's really just focusing on getting into mount. Two minutes and 29 seconds. In half guard now. And again... Deucey's just holding on for dear life, hoping that the ref stands him up at this point. I'm convinced. Susie's not doing anything here. Ref, stand him up. Stand him up. All right, Susie lets go of the shoulder. Two minutes on the clock. God, for a main event, this is just not good. One minute and 54 seconds. In half guard, De Silva's trying to... All right, now De Silva's throwing some shots on the body of Susie. Oh, I just mixed up uh, when the fight ended. What round it ended. All right, maybe looking for an arm triangle choke now. Is it De Silva? Nope. I was going to say, I'll forgive him if he gets a submission this first round, but... They should be waking me up with the main event of the evening, not putting me to sleep, guys. Come on now. One minute and 15 seconds on the clock. Right knee on the torso of Susie here. Again, trying to use that to pass, but just can't do it. From side control, from half guard, just can't pass in the mount. Lopez, my ass, says Andrew. See, even Andrew's pissed off at the decision. Legalized knees to the head, right? I said earlier Isha Susi would get humped for 25 minutes. Yep. Ortiz should have won that. 35 seconds on the clock. Yeah, if we had knees to grounded opponents, it would be over right now. 
Honestly, if there's any province in Canada that would allow it, it was probably BC over Ontario and Quebec. BC, Alberta, and, Sus and Saskatchewan would allow it. Manitoba probably too, but let's be honest. There's, there ain't no fight events that are going to be held in Winnipeg anytime soon. I think TU took the early first three rounds by a hair. Would have given it a draw, I think. Neither fighter deserves to win. Oh my god. Neither fighter deserves to win this one either, man. End of first round. Basically, Susie, the champion, has to keep us on the feet or he's done. Has to keep it on the feet or he's done. To Silva, they're just showing that highlight of him uh, <laughs> throwing that spinning heel kick early, which didn't land, but... All right, guys, round two coming up here. Again, big shout out to everyone who's been watching. Big shout out to everyone who's been hanging out with us for over five hours. You all are amazing. I appreciate you all. I said we'd be showing some love to BFL, starting with the early prelims, which were amateur fights, all the way to the main event. We are in the main event, round two of this third straight title fight. We had some crazy incentives. We've had some crazy knockouts, and overall... This has been an awesome BFL card to start 2024. Round two. Let's get it. It'd be better if the main event was a little bit more uh, exciting, but maybe we see a finish here in the second round. Good job, bro. Sure, bro. Thanks, Melvin. Appreciate you. Thank you so much for uh, stopping by. We got a full schedule of streams tomorrow, man. We got ACA, we got UFC prediction video, and then uh, some other, or is it um, LFA tomorrow night? Saturday, we have Octagon and UFC, and then RWS Japan. If you see Rush Hour at 7 a.m., let him know that I'm pissed big time. What happened? Why are you pissed at Rush Hour? Uh, Roxy, it it's too sm it's too like low level of a promotion. I don't mean that in any disrespect to these guys. It's just, it's it's too low level of a of a regional show for sites to stream. You know what I mean? So unfortunately, I don't. I, it's not on any of the links that I have. That's why I have it on Fight Pass. Yeah, we've been doing a lot of Cage Fury FC, and I know it's a good Cage Fury FC card, and Money Moicano is going to be uh, doing color commentary with John Morgan, but we're going to do LFA. Not Rush Hour, it's about the match. Oh, I got you. You're pissed off about the match. All right, the fight is back on. Three minutes and 50 seconds on the clock in the second round. I think it was an eye poker shot to a nuts there. I was reading the chat, so I totally missed it, but we're good now. And De Silva trying to get the clinch. What is LFA? It's uh, the best regional show main feeder league to the UFC. But yeah, ACA tomorrow, UFC predictions video, LFA, then Octagon UFC on Saturday, and RWS Sunday morning, 1.30 a.m. Three minutes and 13 seconds on the clock. Looking for the takedown is Da Silva again. And look, if he gets on top of Susie, it's, Susie's done again here. Susie, good job defending the takedown so far. Susie trying to get that right single leg. Or sorry, uh, De Silva trying to get that right single leg takedown on Susie. Susie, good takedown defense. Good balance, good takedown defense. He hasn't taken him down yet. De Silva in this round doesn't take down Susi yet. As soon as I say that, he pulls him back and gets the not quite single leg because he moved up to the torso, pulled him back, dragged the legs out from under him and got the takedown. Yeah, dude, Pick'em and May is awesome. He's a good guy. Yeah, $9.99 a month will get you fight pass and there's some good stuff coming, including LFA tomorrow night. 
in the full guard of Susi is De Silva. Two minutes on the clock. Do we know what Susie's um freaking incentive is? I didn't hear that one. One minute and 41 seconds. In the second round. Man, we need to finish here. I can't see three more rounds of this. I, I won't do it. I won't do it. I mean, I will do it because I'm a junkie, but I can't do it. And two post limbs. Yeah, sorry, guys. If this was on the West Coast, if I was uh, on Pacific time, I'd definitely cover the post limbs. But we're going to bed after this. because so we got to wake up early. I told Russia GG to Lopez, but I should not have said that. One minute on the clock here. Back on his feet is Da Silva. Looking for another entry into that guard. A better entry, I should say. Hopefully into side control or half here. You can do it. 45 seconds left on the clock in the second round. Again, not the most exciting main event. I'll say that much. It's a quite boring main event, to be perfectly honest. Twenty four seconds on the clock. You can't knee to the head, but you can place your knee on their head. <laughs> 15 seconds. Oh, there's a nice left hand. And that's it for the second round. My goodness. This is just an awful main event. Come any sort of finish. I don't care if it's an easy submission. I don't care if it's just a simple ass guillotine on one of the entries or a great shot from Susie in the counter. We just we just need a finish. We need a finish, guys. We need to end on a positive note here. Like right now, he missed it. I thought it was on his chest there, but it very well could have been on his face. What the fuck? I was paying eleven twenty nine a month for Fight Pass. I literally just canceled so I could resubscribe for nine ninety nine. What a scam! I've never had to pay anything more than nine ninety nine. I used to pay seven ninety nine. Oh, Susie, this Capoeira dude just stalling. I know this guy ain't doing anything. He's making it a boring fight. I want to see a scrap. All right, round three. I can't believe we have two more after this. Hopefully we don't have to go into championship rounds. Round three. Let's get it all. He didn't put it on his face, but he, he was right there. He called them jaw crushers in wrestling. Oh, okay. Or we call them jaw crushers. Maybe I signed up in Europe or something. I have no idea. Oh, man. Maybe your VPN was on. All right. Four minutes and 41 seconds on the clock. And again, Susie, he needs to land some big strikes here. Thank you so much for joining, Gabriella. I appreciate you. And looking to close the distance again is De Silva getting the hooks in. Pushing Susie up against the cage. He's going to drop for a takedown here, and it's going to be more of what we saw, ladies and gentlemen. One year fight pass deal is decent, yep. I mean, I watch so many of the events that it's always worth it for me. Three minutes and 59 seconds. Maybe it's the US price conversion. Oh, maybe. I used to travel to London a couple times a year and signed up for Netflix there. May have done UFC as well. I only pay like seven USD a month for full Netflix because UK had a promo that grandfathered me in. Nice. Yeah, that very well could be the case. Oh my God, man. I mean, this ref at this point should be like, bro, this is round three. The people need a better fight here. Not freaking crotch sniffing De Silva on Susie. 
Max should have better takedown defense. Tristar is not what it used to be. Honestly, his takedown defense has been pretty good. Like De Silva hasn't been able to take him to the ground yet in this round. And we're two minutes in. And another good job by Susie here, but De Silva snatched up his legs. He's gonna pull him back. I think I pay six ninety nine for Netflix, but I don't think it's the full package. Oh, and De and Susie takes the back. Oh no, sorry, De Silva takes the back of Susie. Da Silva takes the back of Susie. He's ha he does have the right hook in. Yeah, he's trying to go full backpack here, but he's uh oh, he's kind of rolling off to the right side. All right, body triangle is secured. Da Silva, body triangle is secured. He's got the backpack here. Let's see if he can get the submission. We've already seen a fighter get a rear naked choke from this position. And we, we saw it in the last fight. It was Senzanando in the first round. <laughs> Working the backpack here. Two minutes on the clock and getting the rear naked choke. Yeah, I was just going to say deja vu from the last fight. Finish strong. Stick around for the next two fights. It might be exciting. I got to wake up early, buddy, and still eat dinner. So, if, hey, if they were two fights on the main card, nah. Usually I would, Melvin, but I got to eat and get some sleep and set up the next stream for tomorrow morning as well. So, Mike, got a dip. I'll see you tomorrow. Sounds good, Activate A. But Melvin, I appreciate it, man. And yeah, usually I go strong. Usually I don't bitch out, but tonight I got tonight I got to tap out. And I've been drinking coffee this whole time. It's still not helping. Which is good. I've had I've had trouble sleeping for the last couple months. So like the fact that the night the napitis has taken over, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it. Fifty-five seconds left in this third round. Okay, come on, come on, Susie, go for it. All right, some shots now to the side of Susie's head. Come on, De Silva, just go for it, bro. Forty seconds on the clock here. Oh, and he gets off his back, keeping the body lock. Live odds are only minus one fifty on Silva. Yeah, I just saw those come up as well. And Silva going for the takedown. Oh, and Susie threatening a straight armbar. Susie threatening a straight armbar. He's not going to get it. Looking for the Kimura. Oh, yeah. Now. Oh, it lets it go. And De Silva punishing him with back mount here. Punishing him with back mount. Some big shots. By Da Silva, but that's gonna be saved by the bell. And we got a fourth round. And we got a fourth round. And then De Silva lands some big shots at the end of the round to secure the round if there was any doubt, which I don't think there was any doubt, let's be honest. Wednesday night to see Everblades game. And they rob 6-3 and our seats is by the bar. And we saw the whole ice. Nice, dude. What else do you got planned in Florida the rest of this winter, Andrew? Yeah, Susie's just been so limited in this fight. He's had no chance to really employ his game plan, which is striking. All right, round number four, ladies and gentlemen. We have not seen a fourth round in any of the title fights thus far. Let's see if De Silva can finish it. All right, fourth round. Four minutes and 55 seconds on the clock. Oh, a nice right hand by De Silva. De Silva looking for the takedown. Susie, good takedown defense. He sprawls. Oh, no. 
Susie's going for a guillotine, and he dropped for it. Susie dropped for a guillotine here. Silva's not slamming him down. Four minutes and 22 seconds. Susie. Susie's back is to the mat here. Oh, it's tight. It's fucking tight, man. Tight enough that De Silva's like freaking out a little bit here. Oh my god, Susie might get this. Susie might get this. Was that a tap? No, that wasn't a tap. I don't think it's going to happen either. I don't believe. I don't believe. I think his arms are going to gas out here. Today is a chilling day and help to the community center. Nice. Tomorrow we're going to see a show than just sticking around the house. Sweet, dude. Yeah, I mean, he, he tried, bro. He tried. But now inside control is Da Silva. He tried, bro. He tried. Three minutes and 27 seconds and Da Silva is inside control. Von Flew. Three minutes and 13 seconds. Again, inside control right now is Da Silva. Three minutes on the clock. And is he doing anything inside control? Nope, not yet. He's not even landing any elbows in this position. He is pushing Susie away from the cage, though, make, which will make it harder for him to try to get back up to his feet. Uh, I am going to watch the Super Bowl. Um, I'm just my, my roommate. He works at a bar part-time, so I'm just going to go to the bar and hang out. So no official Super Bowl party. Just probably eat some finger food and drinks at the bar. Two minutes and 15 seconds on the clock. <laughs> Two minutes left in this fourth round, ladies and gentlemen. And it's, this has been the most boring fight of the fight card. Unfortunately, there have been some awesome knockouts. There have been some awesome sub submissions. Even in the amateur fights, there were some sick knockouts. And some decent submissions as well. But uh, yeah, this main event is just psh, boring as hell. One minute and 34 seconds. There ain't no crazy fight here, brother. There ain't no crazy fight here. Not in this one. Still good bars, uh, the best plan to be at. Yeah, it'll be good. It'll be good. All right, looking to get into full mount here is Da Silva. One minute and 14 seconds left on the clock. Oh, looking for the back mount. He gets the double under, or he gets the double hooks and how? Dude, that was too easy. Sousa let him get in there too easy. 55 seconds left on the clock. and Back mount here, or if Sousa turns, he will get the full mount. I can't. This is the. This is it. This is the last fight on the main card, Andrew. I can't just skip it. It's live. It's live, and we're four rounds into a five-round fight. We're gonna finish the race. And boy, this one was a marathon. Twenty-five seconds left on the clock. Oh, nice left elbow by Da Silva. Pushing the half Nelson. That was a good elbow by Da Silva. Where's more of that? Where is more of that in this fight? And that is it, ladies and gentlemen, for the fourth round. One more round of this, ladies and gentlemen. One more round of this. Six hours of regional Canadian MMA. That's what we do here on the channel. Damish, you're still up, bro. Yeah, dude. 
This is the main event. There's two more fights left on this card. It was an 18 fight card. Two more amateur fights after this in the postums. I'm tapping out. Good to see you, Idaho Skates, man. Uh, tomorrow morning we'll be live for ACA. Why on earth make this matchup right? Yeah, almost six hours of regional MMA. This is the 16th fight that we have called, but there's two more amateur fights that are postlums. Did that one guy win and shout out Ariel? I don't think he did. But I'm glad Ariel Hawani hyped up BFL. Um, someone has to, right? And, and someone other than us, because we're just a small, dinky YouTube channel. Shout out to Pick'em MMA, though. I know he was streaming as well. All right, fifth and final round. Thank freaking God, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, 9 a.m. Eastern. All right, nice kick attempt there by Da Silva. Come on, Da Silva. Knock him out. High kick by Da Silva. Blocked by the right hand of Susie. Da Silva just looking for his entry again. Ooh, Da Silva swinging a miss with that left. Wanted to tell you I ain't going to drive across Canada in June. Said I'm going to the Twin Cities. Dude, let's go. Keep me posted. I will roll out the red carpet. We'll hit up some awesome breweries who, like, you know, I'm friends with, who are partners with my uh, podcast. Dude, it'll be, we'll hit up some good restaurants. It'll be a lot of fun. Can't wait to meet you, buddy. Rochelle and Rigo as well. I don't think they were streaming this. Oh, a nice right hand by De Silva. Let's fucking go, dude. I can't wait. That's going to be awesome. Dude, I'm pumped. That's going to be so awesome. Maybe Denial can come down from Grand Rapids area and join us. I'll be here, brother. I'll be here. Three minutes and 42 seconds on the clock. There's a lot to do in the summers here, too. So that'll be fun, man. I can't wait. Let me film you skating a little bit, too, and we'll make a vlog out of it. Three minutes and 24 seconds on the clock. We'll hit up some skate parks. Get some content. Do you watch my brother and dumbass lots? I, I don't watch those. Three minutes on the clock here. And again, Da Silva's just looking for the takedown. Vlogs for days. Yeah, let's do it, buddy. We'll, we'll get some good content out of it. At least give me your predictions for the next two fights. Yeah, okay, we'll do that. We'll do that. I mean, this fight's... I'll, I'll keep calling this to next fight, but psh, it's boring as fuck. What a, what a buzzkill to end up... A damn good BFL card, to be perfectly honest. All right, at 160 pounds, this guy's making his debut. He's lost one. Um, I'm going Alvarez for that one. Trent McGregor making his debut. We'll go Trent McGregor. We'll we'll go your boy on the the other post. Locking it in. Locking it in. Are you uh, are you from Vancouver, Melvin? Looks like you are with that uh, V shirt you got going on there. I'm from Vancouver Island, uh, but moved to Minnesota now. Who's winning? Just tuned in. Hey, buddy. Um. Da Silva is winning. He's had more submission opportunities. He's had more control time, but it has been a boring freaking fight. It's been just like Da Silva fighting for the takedown, getting the takedown, and then sometimes get going for a submission. My prediction? Pain. Yeah, McShady. It's it's been a buzzkill of a main event because this card has been awesome. There've been some amazing finishes and some amazing knockouts, even on the amateurs. Even on the early prelims, amateurs, prelims, and start of the main card, but this one just, it's a buzzkill. Sean Crossgrove, by the way, it's great to see you, buddy. I uh, just checked in to tell you my travel plan. See you later, homie. Much love to you all. Hey, thanks for all the support, buddy. Um, I'll see you likely this weekend. One minute left. Thank God. Thank God. One minute left. 
I love BFL guys, but and if this fight was exciting and buzzing, I would I would be too, but it's just been an absolute five round snooze fest. McShady love the love the nickname. I might skip going to Quick Trip and just go to Mc, McDonald's. Speaking of mix. Haven't had dinner. It's way too late to cook something up. Quick chip's like 20 minutes away versus McDonald's. It's five. I haven't had McDonald's in four months, so. Might as well give in tonight. Oh, dropping for a guillotine again here is Susie. I mean, you might as well. 20 seconds left. You might as well go for it. I got no milk or craft dinner. I got nothing. I got to go grocery shopping tomorrow. I have canned refried beans and rice. That is it for the fifth round. Thank freaking goodness. Should be three more likes available with the Idaho Skatesman showing up. Yes, guys, come on, smash that like button. Let's try to get to 40 likes. Oh, geez, he's still around, dude. He's still around. I saw him in, um, in Pickham's chat last night, I'm pretty sure. McShady in the house for another like. Let's go smash that like button. All right, let's check on the poll question one more time. Do, 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 do. Again, big shout out to everyone staying up late and watching this with us. 38 likes. Come on, guys. We can get to 40. We can get to 40. We need two more likes. There's 25 of you watching. Smash that like button. There's two more. We need two more likes. I know we can do it. Two more likes. Let's get to 40. Oh, we're so close, guys. We're so close. 50 subs to 8K. Didn't even notice. Spoiler alert to Silva wins. Yeah. Um, I'm not I'm not sure. I don't really follow Eagle MMA. He just rips Canada too much. As Rigo said, don't listen to him. Again, guys, thank you so much. We we've blown past two light goals. I mean, a lot of you have been hanging out with us for six hours for regional MMA in Canada. 16 fights, dude. Every single one of you who stayed up with us are fucking awesome. Thank you. We have so many just fight junkies in this community. And I mean, those of you who stayed and watched with us for six freaking hours, psh, you're the real ones. You're the real fight fans. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. All right, we're awaiting the official decision. We know the decision. And I know there's two more fights, and nine times out of ten, I'll, I'd stay up for them, but I need to get some food in me, and then I need to go to bed because we have ACA in the morning. Yeah, unanimous decision. And new Radley da Silva in the most uneventful title fight I've seen in a long time. Andrew is here for most of it. Yep, 9 a.m. tomorrow. I'll pop my eyelids open with the toothpick if Fight Pass shows these last two fights. I think they're going to be on BFL's YouTube channel. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for BFL 79. If you want to stay up and watch the post limbs, I think they're going to be on BFL's YouTube channel. Two more fights here. The first two amateur prelims that they missed, these two fights will be, um, hopefully anyways, for you guys staying up televised. But that's it for me. 16 fights and what a great, other than the, in the, other than the title fight, the main event of the evening, the last title fight, I should say. It was a great card. BFL delivered on this one, in my opinion. Some great submissions, some great knockouts, some great finishes overall. And uh, I want to say a big thank you to everyone who supported us throughout the stream, everyone who hung out, all the new subscribers, everyone who voted in the poll question, everybody who liked the video. 
I love supporting my home province's fight promotion here, which in my opinion is better than Unified MMA, and you all think so as well. Hey, thank you, JD. Back tomorrow, 9 a.m. Eastern for ACA 170, guys. Thank you so much. Oh, freaking Canada. Like and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Peace. In your shoes, yeah. in the fiercest battle, I'll defend you. I'll defend you.